stand by for a turn.
May 2001! Welcome to space, everyone. Oh no, I still got the voice on. Girl, you know you're the only one for me. <laughs> How long is your nipple hair? I have to decide. Ah, uh, it's nip. Oh, fr no! Oh, Briggs. <laughs> no float oh, zone activated. Oh no. No float zone activated. And there's no frick and no float zone. Yeah, you can say it. She can say it all. She Briggs, I don't know what the rules are. I know Rad's not allowed to say it, but is she allowed to say it? And by the way, uh, my nipple hair is at least a solid 13 inches long. Hell yeah! All right. All right, here we go, Briggs. You you <laughs> got what you paid for, all right? God, son, I know it's Briggs too. All right, he's an activated the uh, activated the no zones. Guys, welcome, Miss Rad, back to the god dang uh, shuttle. Just <laughs> getting over a, a bit of a And as healthy as ever. <laughs> oh yeah. Sounds great. Model of model of health. <laughs> I don't think you've laughed this much in a while. Um, by the way, she has Pikachu headphones on. Uh, those are a loner from Baby Boy Rad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, otherwise, she would have had to use his little dinky earbuds. God dang, it's good to see all you rascals. Good to have you back in the shuttle. We're scooting our balls off to the damn uh, space station right now. I'm, I'm out of control, god damn it. Um, yeah, so uh, why don't you give us a little backstory? Now we live in Alberta, everyone. Yes. You're an Albertan now. Yeah, proud to be. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't hurt that you got a nice house now instead of an yeah. apartment with crack pipes and needles everywhere outside. Yeah. That's where we used to live. Now yeah. we live in a nice suburb neighborhood. I don't know why suburbs get such a bad rap on, like, TV and movies. Suburbs are awesome. Get your buns to the suburbs. God. Yeah, they really are. Yeah, I was looking through photos and video the other day of um, Simon at our old apartment. and. Mm -hmm. Uh, picking up one of his stuffed toys that he brought to a playground beside, like, a piece of foil that is obviously used to transport your drug or paraphernalia. Or make barbecued baked potatoes. It was pretty small, so it'd be a small, it would be a baby potato, if anything. <laughs> and then also pictures of needles that we randomly found while we were out there, so. Oh, God. I haven't seen a single needle since we lived in Alberta. No, Hell yeah. No, I haven't seen anything like that at all. And nice. The suburbs are indeed great. We already have yeah. little friends and... Oh, Great yeah. neighbors. We went to our neighbors for Thanksgiving dinner on Friday. Our neighbors Fantastic. invited us over for American Thanksgiving. I've never had American Thanksgiving before. There was sweet potato yams there, or whatever. I don't, I don't know what the heck that was. Yeah, it was sweet potato casserole, but uh, it was really good. It didn't use marshmallows, which is nice. Oh yeah, yeah, the marshmallow thing. All right, y'all got the, <laughs> y'all got parks and trees and shiz and the burbs. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> they tell you to bring your stretchy pants. They said, hey, as soon as I got to the door, they're like, turn around, and walk away, get those stretchy pants on. <laughs> Before you come back in here. And then I said, and by the way, get your neck brace on before we listen to our jams. Right, Desi? <laughs> Desi, how's your neck, buddy? He said, ah, God, the jams of the start rat. Ow! <laughs> uh, are you Canadian then, says Fudge? Yes, we're Canadian. We celebrate Thanksgiving basically October 1st now. I don't even know. It feels like it just keeps getting <laughs> earlier and earlier. It does. I think it's supposed to be the second week of October. Maybe? Yeah. Or the second weekend in October. But, it, yeah, it feels... I don't like the October Thanksgiving personally no. because I feel like November has such like a stagnant leg yeah. where well, you're just like waiting for something as the days get shorter and you're like, okay, it's really dark. Can we like have something in here, please? Yeah, waiting for something official, but both our son and your birthday is in November, so it kind of works for yeah. for us knuckle heads up here. But yeah, you, uh, you Americans get hard and heavy, and that's why uh, Black Friday never made sense to me. I was like, what the heck? Why do you guys yeah. just suddenly Black Friday in November? I don't know. What's going on here? But, yeah, apparently Black Friday just lasts all year round now. Yeah. They kind of just, I don't know, they keep trying to pitch it in Canada, and they forget that everyone here is broke and can't afford like, to I'm sorry, buddy. do anything. Did you see those all tiny right. potatoes I was making on my barbecue? These <laughs> tiny little ones? I only had this much foil. I had to reuse it. All right, let's catch up on the chat a little here. Uh, Briggs saying Shalabal obeys her own rules. Shalabal. Oh, Briggs knows all his uh, Silver Surfer <laughs> uh, backstory. Good job. Welcome to Burtis, is Rocket Monkey. I forgot, Rocket Monkey, you a Burton boy? All right, sick. Uh, yeah, it's not so bad. You know, it's crisp out here. Out here in the in the cold, uh, there's a crispness to the cold that is, it's like it hits you hard and heavy, but then as soon as you get out of the cold, or if you go into the sun, you're like, oh, feel, yeah, when you fly into the sun in your shuttlecraft. No, when you walk into the, <laughs> out of the shade, basically, it feels warm. 
But if you go in the shade, like our backyard is freezing as all hell, but you go in the front yeah. yard, like, I don't even need a jacket. Get this thing off like this. And you do it like this. Right? That's how you do it. <laughs> I do it. And my neighbors love me for it. Um, all right. Yeah, it's a nice crispness. But yeah, once you go inside, it's like, all right, I'm not cold anymore. Whereas in BC, I felt like you get in your car after being outside for a bit and you're like, it's not going away. Yeah. I can't stop shaking. And I'm the one driving. Frick. <laughs> all right. What do you think about that? I think it's definitely different because when you read the temperature on a screen or wherever it may be, mm -hmm. and it's like saying minus 20, minus oh, yeah. up to minus 30, you're like, holy geez, that sounds really cold. But then you go out in it and you're like, it doesn't feel like anything. In fact, I feel overdressed because it feels so warm, yeah. especially when you're in the sun. And it's just entirely different. Yeah. No, it's exactly. You look on the chart and when it says in the minus 20s, if that was minus 20 in BC, we'd all be dead. Yeah. It'd be like the day after tomorrow <laughs> with Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, get the hell in here. We're super cold. <laughs> uh, but yeah, here it, it just feels like it's it's crispness to it, all right? It's crisp like a diet Pepsi caffeine free. Yeah, but I also feel like we're some of the only people who actually go outside in the cold. Oh, yeah, the first big snowfall we had. We were the only ones out on yeah, the little snow no hill by like, the playground. <laughs> Is this, do we look like tacky out of towners right now? <laughs> Let's get this sled out. Let's we were go. Enjoying it. Yeah, the first, the first snowfall was like the day after Halloween. And, uh, no, first snowfall was in October. It was October 22nd. What? Yeah. Then it, did it all melt then? Yeah, it all melted. Oh, and then okay. November 1st was when we got more snow. All right. Well, that first snowfall we had, they're like, it'll be two centimeters, guys, which is like this big for all you Yankee doodle dandies, like two fingers, <laughs> two centimeters. It ended up being like a whole ruler. <coughs> all right. And it was thick because it was moist out that day. So we had some thick snowball prime snow. Yeah. Uh, we were the only ones out for that, though. Yeah, it was great to do some sledding in it. <laughs> Yeah, it was super did, fun. The next time Simon and I went on November 1st, you, you were not I was moving sleeping. in the snow. Like, it's not moving. <laughs> it's not working, Mom. All right, we got Art happening here. He's saying, y'all got parks and trees. Oh, that was Art that said that. That was Briggs. For some reason, Art and Briggs look the same. They're same color. I, that's all it takes. They tell you to bring stretch pin and they whiffed it. Yeah, not a single needle seen in Alberta since we moved. <laughs> Considering the essential health worker crisis in Alberta, there's a reason. Yeah, we got to reuse all those needles, buddy. Hey, get one. There's one. I got one. <laughs> Uh, all right, second Monday in October, says Rock and Monkey. And he would know, fellow Burton. All right, did you argue with the family for three hours? That's true American uh, Thanksgiving. Damn, we didn't we didn't experience the arguing. No, there's no arguing. Um. All right, uh, Black Friday is from Halloween to January 10th, says Desi Butt. Is it so crisp? Yeah, it was hashtag so crisp, or as I like to say, crisp is F-R-I-C-K. Hashtag, but I can't say it right now. Briggs has uh, banned me from <laughs> saying the word that I love so <laughs> All right, big old dump of snow, says Veiled. All right, 10 inches is nice wet snow. 10 inches is nice wet moist snow. You know what I mean? All right, uh, lol, says Art. Uh, they've got to sponsor you with uh, plugs like that. Uh, Christmas, yeah, I mean, Christmas, F-R-I-C-K. Pepsi, get on board. I'm the only one. I'm the last man standing in Diet Pepsi uh, <laughs> promotion. Come on, Diet Pepsi Caffeine Free. All right. It's, it's Art Idiot happening. That's what it looks like. I can't tell who it is. All right, now we're all caught up in chat. We're having a great time. Guys, we're going to do May 2001, and we brought our... Re Look how long my arms are! Ah! Ah! We brought our resident uh, expert with us here uh, because um, she's going to provide us with some much-needed context for the start of the show where we do the pop culture refresher where we talk about movies and music that also came out on the month of May 2001, and then I'm going to take us home and play the hell out of all the games from May 2001 because that's my uh, area of specialty. Um, but yeah, you lived it. You have context. I don't have. And it's weird that I'm up here talking to all you guys who know everything. You're like, come on. Darude Sandstorm. That's a song. I'm like, I know the song, but I don't know that name. I've never heard that name in my life. Oh, wow. Veiled already. Yeah, they already, uh, they, they gave me the shocked look uh, a few weeks ago. So, Good job, guys. Um, for anyone watching on YouTube, we're, we're going to both. We're going to both right now. Feel free to start leaving some comments about your favorite uh, time you heard Darude Sandstorm uh, in the comments right now. That would really help me out a lot. Uh, next up, <laughs> that time I was at that sporting event, <laughs> every time. All right, uh, well, let's see, what else up? So everyone, um, when you guys subscribe to this Twitch channel, you get one bit of extra content on the Discord. If you scoot your buns over to the Discord, uh, which I will provide the link for right now. If you're only on Twitch, if you, you can see this on Twitch, on YouTube, you're like, I don't know what he did. Wait, we're going to get YouTube hooked up. Just for now, I got to do it on the Twitch. Anyways, on Discord, Saturdays before the main show, which is Sundays, I do the producer's uh, review where anyone who's subscribed to this channel on Twitch and is also a lunatic enough so that they will combine their Twitch account with their Discord account. Uh, you have to share. I don't know. You have to share passwords. It seems sketchy as all hell, but we've all done it. 
Um, and so that way uh, you can actually get slotted into the producer's stream, which is every Saturday. And then you can just come in have a great time. Now, we had seven of us, I think, in there. Art was even there last night. I haven't heard Art's voice in like 20 years, and it felt good to hear it again, Art. Um, and then I blasted him for his Justin Bieber pants. God damn it, Art. Although I think you're wearing them in the correct way. Where it's like, you know, just freewheeling, not like Justin Bieber, driving up and down his road, getting arrested, wearing stretchy pants. <laughs> all right, well, it won't make any sense if you guys weren't there. And now, all of you guys who were there are like, all right, I get it. I lived it. All right, Bun Scoot, hashtag Bun Scoot. All right, first time I heard Darude Sandstorm was in 2002, and it was a Dance Dance Revolutions game on PS2. Well, goddammit, Insomniac. Now, get over to the YouTube channel and share that delightful anecdote so all the rascals who were scooting by going like, I don't need to watch that, they'll be like, what? What did Insomniac say? Oh, my God. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good. Are you good? Do you have anything else to add? Alberta. Um, Off the top of your noodle. No, it's great. We should have moved here a really long time ago. We've been looking. Yeah, I think our uh, real estate agent is funny. He's like, I think you guys are actually going to do it this time because this is the third time I think I've heard you say that to me. Like, <laughs> we're just going to move to Alberta, buddy. We're yeah. going to do it. Like, we'll go ahead and do it then. It is a lot harder than you think to move to Alberta, but oh man, we got flooped and fricked. Eh. God damn these armpits Jesus Christ <laughs> all right those are coming back down and stay in there for the rest of the show all right AC Slater pants I know grungy Nick they have a name there's like a brand name for them and I knew it at one point and I looked on eBay and they were all like 60 bucks for used AC Slater pants god damn it how bad do you want it you know what I mean that's not bad how much were these pants and these were 60 bucks too no and well, you can't see it oh you can't see Mistakes were made. Yeah. All right, guys. What we got to do is we got to get to the damn space station. Now, for those that are brand new to the show, yeah, we don't just fly through space and have a delightful time with each other. That's the intro. All right. <laughs> what we got to do is we got to get our buns to my space station. <laughs> I purchased with my life savings. I'm flipping out my pockets. Nothing in there but butterflies and moths. Butterflies. Wow, that'd be different. Moths. <laughs> <laughs> That's very majestic. Bright, shiny butterflies. <laughs> be free. <laughs> um, I bought a space station, a defunct space station with my life savings, and I retrofitted it like Ty Pennington. Move that bus! That's my one Ty Pennington reference per episode. Um, I uh, retrofitted it into a sick club, a nightclub, and you're all invited, all right, providing you wear neck braces. <laughs> Every single one of you better have a neck <laughs> brace on, or you're booted, you're going out the airlock. Anyway, just fly your shuttlecraft up there. We're going to have a great time. Now, I do also host a television program from this space station with our good friend, Fred Couples. He's meeting us there. He's in control room two. Uh, we got to get to the space station now. Uh, buckle up, everybody. I hope you have uh, your <laughs> voucher for your one free diet Pepsi caffeine free at the door. I know I got mine. Christmas Frick. All right, hashtag. Um, damn, they're limited. God or what? I don't know what the hell you guys Oh, hey. You can't do some high kicks without AC Slater. I know, yeah, and I always want to be prepared to do some high kicks. <laughs> You think anyone wants roundhouse kick to the face while I'm wearing one of these? Forget about <laughs> it. All right, name that movie. Um, all right, let's get to the club. I'm having a great time. And three, two, one, engage. Eh, inform Starfleet. We have engaged the bulk. God damn it. Oh, no, the music isn't going to play tonight. All right, well, just go straight in. Wait, no, we can do this. Engage the Borg. Hell yeah. Space. God damn it, everybody. We made it the club official. Welcome in. All right, we're in the airlock. Fred's back there in control room too. Sick, Fred. Fred. Kill it, bro. All right. Wait, you know, Fred always likes to greet us. You know, he hasn't seen us for a while. He's been holding the fort down. Uh, here we go. Yay. Oh, man, he's getting out of hand in there. Whoa. He double timed it. I think he's having diet Pepsi with caffeine with those types of moves. He's, yeah, well, he's having Pepsi withdrawal. That's what's going on there. <laughs> what happens? Jesus Christ. All right, good to see everyone. Welcome back to the club. All right, May. God damn it, we're five months in. Oh, my God. Woo! I'm almost halfway through the damn year. Wait, are you not? Go. No. 
Now go. Hello. All right. Locked it up. All right. This show is tight. Tight as frick. Wait. Mrs. Rad is freaking saying Grungy is a man of culture. <laughs> He's got the pants on lockdown. And Lurker Lou coming in. He said, Napoleon Dynamite, you've just earned yourself one free voucher for Diet Pepsi Cafe Free if you can get your buns up at this nightclub. Good to see Lurker Lou. I know you said, uh, is it work? You've been working? Oh, man. Well, feel free to scoot off to bed. Believe it or not, this show's really great to fall asleep to. I don't know if it's like it's like <laughs> the emo music from the late '90s. Oh, it's so sleepy. Oh, you gotta watch this guy's show. It's so sleepy. <sighs> Man, you were down in that water like crazy. You pace yourself, girl. I'm very thirsty. Pace yourself, girl. You're gonna have to borrow my water. All right, that's the end of the song. Let's get the uh, appropriate tunes on. Uh, why don't we? Okay, well, fine. I'll just do this. I don't want to play that song. God, it's a sad piano song. I'm not playing a sad piano song. <gasps> <laughs> sad piano songs? Mm mm. It's like that uh, Drake uh, meme. Sad piano songs. Sick freaking uh, international superstar soccer? That's the one. You know the meme? Okay. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Alright, before we play video games from May, 9, uh, May, May 2001, before we do that, uh, we have got to uh, get to the pop culture refresher. This is where we talk about the movies and music that came out this month uh, in a very short form fashion, and it's deadly serious. And says yeah, God damn, I know who you are now. You gotta get your buns over here for a dinner, buddy. And that's a fact. Uh, this is my actual <laughs> wife. This is a uh, uh... <laughs> versus your fake wife that sometimes comes on. I don't know. I talk about you a lot, <laughs> Mrs. Red, Mrs. Red, Mrs. Red. But like in real life, this is real life IRL. I'm fusing internet with IRL. <laughs> She's at. Uh, she's not even sitting next to me. It's a green screen. You're in another another room in the house. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, good to see you. Sis, yeah. Sis, yeah. Sis, yeah. All right. Diet, <laughs> double fist and diet Pepsi caffeine free. Heck yeah. Oh, you got an extra voucher. Sick. All right. Neo Turf Masters. Uh, greater than sad Hulk piano theme. Yeah, we don't need this. That's so sad. Uh, we used to have a joke. That reminds me of a. Uh, we used to come up with superheroes like. Uh, the, the Tick, you remember how in The Tick all the superheroes were like, yeah, he's a superhero, but there's something really fricked up about him. And we came up with like a bunch of heroes like that, like a guy that was called the Inflatable Butt. Or what was his name? Inflatable yeah. something? He just had a it balloon a for a butt. butt. Yeah, he could fly yeah. with like helium butt powers. But there was also the Incredible Sulk. And he was, the, the sadder he was and the more he was sulking, the stronger he got. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. Sad Hulk piano thing. The Incredible Sulk. Alright, the Mad Bomber who bombs at midnight. Oh, Veiled. That was a good show, wasn't it? God damn it. Alright, now we need the pop culture freshman for that. Fred! Fred! Hit us with that bass line, buddy. The bass line of the gods. I need it. I need it in my life. Alright, let's talk about some pop culture, everybody. God Yay. damn it. <laughs> ASMR! That's good ASMR. It's crisp as frick. <laughs> it's the only beverage proven to make you fall asleep. Because if I fall asleep in the middle of the show, call Mrs. Rad, tell her to wake me up. Frick. <laughs> All right, wouldn't like you wouldn't like me when I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, I don't. It's really awkward. And... Why are you crying at this dinner party we're hosting? <laughs> All right. All right, with this baseline, we can't lose everyone. It's May 2001. Follow us. <laughs> Back to May 9, uh, 2001. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is... Uh, why did I start with this one? God damn it. I'm already whiffing it. <coughs> All right. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, he's back. Martin Lawrence is back for, like, the fourth time. He's been a petty criminal trying to steal a jewel. And this time, he's gone too far. He's trying to steal a jewel from Danny DeVito. Ooh. And yeah, now you know you fricked up. <laughs> Come on. You want a piece of Danny? All right. Uh, do you even remember this one? I feel like I might have seen it, and what? I might have seen it in theaters. Wow, you subtly saw a lot of movies in the theaters. <laughs> I think I saw this with my cousin as well. Oh no, the very same cousin you took to Angel Eyes? That is correct. All right, well, did this one, did you, I don't even know how you can tell this movie apart, because there's three I, movies exactly like this. There's I don't Blue remember Street, anything. And then, uh, honestly, the sequel to this movie, what's the worst could happen? that could happen? That's like a phrase people say, right? What's the worst that could happen? There's also another movie Martin Lawrence was in with Tim Robbins called Nothing to Lose. Uh, is Correct me if I'm wrong, but it, isn't that the exact same term interchangeably? Nothing to lose. What's the worst that could happen? Nothing to lose. What's the worst? It's the same movie. He steals a diamond in one. Yeah. And I don't know what the hell he steals from Danny V. He steals his <laughs> silk nightgown or whatever, you know, I don't know. It's a really hot <laughs> item there. I mean, I know there are no, what the hell was it? Sivarici pants. He stole my Sivarici pants, officer. <laughs> He's running out the door, putting them on. Frick. These things are hot. 
Well, I can't believe I don't remember anything about this movie, but I'm very certain that I saw it. Well, Grungy Nick was the only guy last night that had seen it. And he oh. said, uh, he said this movie, I think it was Grungy Nick. Uh, he said the whole damn thing was, um, like all the best parts, they condensed the whole movie down to like the uh, minute and a half trailer. And everything else was just like <laughs> dead air. <laughs> you know, they lied to us. That's why you don't remember this movie. No one talks about it anymore. No. Except on this program, we're bringing it back. <laughs> that, and that's the most I can even say about it. You look at that lineup, Martin Lawrence with Danny DeVito, you're like, that's a slam dunk. That's a freaking, that's from like half court slam dunk. No, no, they whiffed it. <laughs> and you know what's, you know what was getting bad when it's just the plain white background? Yeah, and they obviously were not in the picture together. Yeah, I mean, if it's not Martin Lawrence and Danny DeVito hanging off a cliff and it's all like uh, airbrushed and they're, you know, uh, you know the one I'm talking about? Not nah, goddamn. <laughs> I was just thinking that Danny DeVito looks like my dad. Your dad has never smiled in his life, though. That's so. fair, yeah. <laughs> if dad... my dad ever emoted, this is how he would look. Yeah, your dad does not watch this program either. All right, tell him, uh, tell him about. <laughs> I can't use your story, but there's another good one you have about. Uh, you've never seen your dad's. Yeah. So one day I was thinking about stuff randomly. I was gardening outside. And it occurred to me that I have never seen my dad's teeth. I don't know what they look like. And it's because he never smiled. <laughs> so <laughs> I have no idea still what they look like. I'm not sure to this day. Like, who's, yeah. whose teeth do I have out yeah. of my parents? Yeah, you can't even I'm tell. I'm going to have to assume it's my mom. I've seen him make a tiny smirk whenever he looks at baby boy rat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and that's about it. <laughs> you don't get to look at these. No one sees these. <laughs> As I don't know if he has teeth. I can neither <laughs> confirm nor deny. He might be a gummy Joe. He could Jake. be. He's always been that way. All right. <laughs> and that is uh, nothing to lose to what's the worst that could happen. All right. Next one up. I might be the only. I changed my pick of the month, everyone, from Ooh. last night. So this one is no longer my pick of the month. And you know what? It's because I think it came out in 1997, and then I don't know why it was listed in... Oh, God! <laughs> All right, this song always gets me jacked up. Starlad, get in here, buddy. It's good to see you again. Uh, does it even have... Yeah, Rocket Monkey, we've confirmed. No teeth. <laughs> Gummy Joe. Um, yeah, this one might have actually come out in 1997, but I only saw it in 2001, so... Eh. All right. How are you not sure about the date? Didn't it say on the internet? Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, directed by Kiefer Sutherland himself. That's why he's on the cover. He's not the main character. What an ego trip this guy has. Um, yeah, I think it was probably an art house film that was done in 1997, and then probably got it got released? its release on VHS in 2001. I see. All right, who cares about your pick of the month? What's Dan's pick? Uh, Dan's pick Ooh. is coming up later. What's the best one? What's the best he could do? Oh, yeah, we know which one. Okay, Dan's pick's coming up next. Don't you worry, Art. All right, so this one has Vincent Gallo in it. You know Vincent Gallo. He's uh, yeah. uh, Buffalo, Buffalo 66. 66. That's yeah. sick. And so I had only ever seen Buffalo 66 and this movie, and I was like, Vincent Gallo's rolling a streak two for two. And then uh, apparently there's some other... I, don't, I never saw Brown Bunny. Uh, Grungy Nick's like, Brown Bunny? You seen that one? Ebert said, Grungy Nick... Uh, according to Grungy Nick, Ebert said, Brown Bunny is his least favorite film of all time. And that includes wow. uh, UHF, which he raked over the coals, and Freddy Got Fingered, which he also raked over the coals. Ebert is such, what an ego, ego trip that guy's on to. Um, anyways, no one's seen this one, so I'll just move on. If you see it, check it out, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. well, I just mm -hmm. wanna know, did Vincent Gallo do anything after Brown Bunny? That's a good question. I don't think he did. Because I feel like that got made and it had its little like controversy, and rightly so, it was very strange, but. I don't know if you did anything after that. Art saying, whoa, who said anything bad about UHF? Art, if you watch the UHF running commentary with Weird Al, best running commentary I've ever seen in my life. Did you watch it with us? Yes, I did, yeah. Incredible. He's he, it's, <laughs> it's better than the movie. It's like the sequel to the movie. Um, maybe not better than the movie, but it is awesome. Weird Al remembers everything about the movie, and he has anecdotes for absolutely everything. And Michael Richards even scoots in for like five minutes and then scoots off again. It's super bizarre. <laughs> um, but yeah, Weird Al said that Ebert hated the movie and said uh, this is the type of he read Ebert's whole review uh, during the credits I think and Ebert said something along the lines of uh, this is funny for people who like to laugh at things like sudden gusts of wind uh, along those lines <laughs> and then Weird Al said Jesus Ebert did I run over your dog <laughs> it's a really good commentary anyway so yeah Ebert really didn't like UHF which is why I brought it up Art, and now we've come full circle alright yeah, UHF is so good though alright who's this Ebert guy think he is. All right. Look, That's you it. get to drink for the fire hose. 
<laughs> Literally would have blown the kid's head off. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe not, maybe not quite, but he wouldn't be walking the same. All right, next one up. Be there. Yeah. All right, next one up. This is Dan's pick of the month, to every, uh, everyone. The man who cried. Dan just can't stop crying too. So he was crying before he even turned the movie on. That's how much this movie made him cry. Uh, it's a big lineup. <laughs> Johnny Depp, uh, Christina Ricci, and then I can never remember his name. Something Torillo. I can't. Dan, how dare you, buddy? <laughs> I'm moving out. <laughs> Hey, you gotta watch out because I might start doing these giant uh, Fred Kwando uppercuts. <laughs> All right, AKA Sleepy Window. Yeah, apparently it's got the entire cast of Hidden Window, basically. <laughs> I think the man who cried and Sleepy is Hollow. Uh, the Incredible Salts show. That's what it'll be called. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I must have done so many voices last week, everyone, because my throat is still sore. Not like sore throat. <laughs> like I feel like I damaged my esophagus. God damn these voices. All right, Secret Window plus Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, I forgot the Sleepy Hollow bit of that because Christina Ricci, right. All right, uh, he's pretty great in a lot of what I've seen him in, says uh, Desi. Uh, which guy? John Turturro. Okay, Turturro. Even even Transformers. I remember that was it for me. I was like, oh, buddy. You had a good streak going there. The guy we're talking this guy, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Remember him in Transformers? No. Remember when Bumblebee was like peeing on his head or something? No. Like, this is too much. I've seen too much. <laughs> All right, Ebert somehow cuts deep. The gaming community never, never single recovered from him saying games can't be art. Yeah, can you imagine that? I, you can go right now onto YouTube and type in Siskel and Ebert playing on the Sega Genesis Activator. It's like a hexagon on the ground that you stand in and you start moving your arms and little sensors on the different angles on the octagon will do moves. Whoa. And both of them have a fight with each other. Two activators plugged in. Siskel and Ebert are both going, no wonder he doesn't think games are art. Why did you play? Eternal Champions for Sega Genesis on the goddamn activator. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, check it out, I'm not even joking. All right, also rad <laughs> typing in the stream uh, is muted. It's hilarious. The stream is not muted. I can oh, literally hear If it's typing. muted. All right, me and Ebert were regulars at the same Chicago bar. All right, oh. yet Al Alec the Blackest of Blackhearts is coming in here. Good to see you, Alec. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. Oh man, that's a familiar name. All right, I can literally hear you typing. Yeah, goddamn it. All right, can't stop crying. I'm sure this is a very uh, tear-jerking film. Can you imagine if you watch this movie and don't cry? What the hell's wrong with you? That's why I've never <laughs> seen it. I refuse to watch it. I roll, I roll hard. All right. And the next one up. No one's seen this one either, but I had to mention it because uh, it's got Sam Neill and uh, Patrick Warburton in it. Uh, the Dish. Apparently, they had something to do with the moon landing over in Australia. I don't know. I can't. I I was skimming through it pretty damn fast. Oh. It looks not very good. Doesn't look oh. worth watching. The whole movie is like filmed in one room. It kind of feels like, not literally, but it feels like. It. Did you ever see the movie the, about the Avro Arrow? It might have even just been called that. I don't know what the hell you just said. We had to watch it in high school. It was about Canadians and their part in the oh. Air Force and how we built. <laughs> this is terrible. A terrible synopsis. They built a plane. <laughs> And I don't know anything more beyond that because it was so boring and like I don't like flying so I'm like zone this one right out and also it was Canadian content so I'm like I'm, sur oh, I'm surprised gone. it wasn't just a whole documentary on the Canada arm. We really roll deep on the fact that we're like, Wah. I don't know if you guys know this but That's we Canada developed arm. the Canada arm. <laughs> I don't know why someone need to invent that. And it pivots every part. It's the Canada arm. I don't know. Did we even invent it or did we just we, build it? Why would they call it the Canada arm if we didn't invent it? Maybe we just built it. All right. Well, that would be much sadder. Anyways, no one's seen the dish. <laughs> All right. This one is more significant for uh, several of you, including our very own guest in the program here, Mrs. Rad. Apparently, this is the first ever DVD you saw. <laughs> That's just Shrek. embarrassing. <laughs> Shrek. I'm sure you're not alone. Guys, if, you, if this was the first DVD you ever saw, get it in the chat right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first ever DVD you ever saw. Explain to me how that happened. Did you rent it? What? Where'd you rent it from? What video store? It was at a um, an ex person's house, and uh. he was from a family with seven kids, mm -hmm. and so this was a movie that they owned, and they had a DVD player. So that's why they had seven kids. They could afford things mm -hmm. like DVD players, and so we watched it um, while the kids weren't even around. We just I'd never seen a DVD before. They had a DVD and. We watched it, and then that was that. 
And I wasn't. I'm. I'm I've never, I haven't been into like kids movies for a very, very long time. Was this a kids movie though? It felt like every everyone was on board with this one. It's a kids movie for sure. All right. There's well. singing in it. Oh God, was there singing in it? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm out as soon as they start singing. I'm out. I don't. Aladdin is about as close as I ever got. Being like, All right, yeah. I'll get on the. But a whole new world. I'm out. I zone out for that whole. That yeah. Whole you can song. skip that entire section. Yeah. All right. It's fun for adults. Eh. Eh. All right. Uh, thank you for the chat that let me know the the chat was frozen on the screen. I don't know what the hell's going on. If it's frozen, what the hell am I supposed to do? All right. We can just go to restream chat. Then you don't get any colors. What the frick? Maybe it's is it this over here? Is that? Uh, no, that wouldn't do it. All right. But I can refresh it anyway. <laughs> I'm I'll pretending like... I know what I'm All talking right. about and I don't. All right, Lurkalu coming in saying, "Hey man, Shrek is more than a film. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> All right, Shrek is love. Shrek is life." It's Shrek, I'm a donkey! And that is also part of love and life. <laughs> um, all right, it was fun for adults too, says Grungy Nick. Yeah, we saw Shrek 2 in the theater, I believe. Did we? Yes, we did. Ooh. Yes, we did. I'm Who telling dragged you. dragged us to that? I think it was just, that was the point. God damn, I got one of these mustache hairs going straight in the nose. <laughs> that was back in the day where it was like, whatever came out, we'll go watch it. We get a frozen yogurt. Let's get, uh, let's I don't get know our mind. would do that. Hey, C-Roy, that's a sick emote, buddy. That's for the hardest foam crew. I dig that. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Rab, what do you, uh, what does this button do? <laughs> Self-destruct sequence activated, frick! Oh no. I know I shouldn't have put that right on the dusty table. All right, for those of you guys wondering, oh, he's got the other one too, see right nice. I'm digging it, buddy. All right, um, yeah, if you guys are wondering why it's so dusty in here, it's because Dan has been in charge of the space station, and apparently he's employee of the month. Uh, he's been in charge of this thing for six months, and all that's all it took for it to go to crap. The whole thing went to crap in six months. <laughs> Anyways, I remember seeing Shrek. I don't remember loving it, but, um... That's right. Last night we forgot to watch Chris Farley's audition tape because apparently there's footage or v audio out there of him oh, like for Shrek himself. Yeah, auditioning for Shrek. Interesting. But I'm still not convinced. Everyone, I want I need to go over that with a fine tooth comb. Like, is this actually Chris Farley or just a guy doing a Chris Farley impression? And now it's like an urban myth. I don't know. That's I've seen that. Yeah, Starlight. I've seen it too. But I need to watch it again and really analyze it. Really analyze it because I could just be getting fooled here. Like Grungy Nick, you telling me there's an alternate ending for the mist? No, there isn't. You you got me, buddy. It's son of a. Because I went in there, I'm like alternate endings for the mist, and it's just a bunch of fan remakes where like the guy just gets out of the car before all the nasty things happen. Oh yeah, my god, come on. Half emotes. Yeah, I dig that. All right, been on the new Pokemon grind this past week, Alec. Um, is there a new Pokemon game out? How many damn Pokemon are there now? Yeah, are we talking 30,000 Pokemon? God damn it. I uh, did a speech on Chris Farley. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we Farley was on the list of names for our son. And so we, yeah. his middle name is Thomas, and it's after like three separate things. Tommy Boy Tommy Boy's and one Tom one. Green and the drummer from Meshuga. Tomas. Tomas. It just had a nice ring to it. We really didn't like, all right. Yeah, we spelled out Tomas. And it didn't look and right. And it didn't yeah. look right. <laughs> Uh, but uh, something I remember about Shrek is that the cast was on Oprah, and I think it was Eddie Murphy or who let it slip that they recorded all of their voice audio oh, right. at home. Yes. And people were peeved after yeah, that because they're like, "You got paid twenty million to sit yeah. at home and record your voice." Yeah, in their pajamas. <laughs> God damn it. All right, uh, the entire national dex is uh, finally surpassed one thousand. Whoa! All right, so they got one thousand Pokemon scooting around here. All right, uh, what else snap everyone out of the air hatch. Yeah, okay, so this is interesting. Starlight said, I remember doing that as a fact in grade five. I did a speech on it. So apparently you did your research and it is fact. Is it, I know it was fact that he wanted the, or he was like in talks for it, but did he actually record that, that clip? If it's fact, I'll take it as fact. I still want to be, uh, I don't want Grungy Nick busting my chops again. Alternate ending for the <laughs> mist, my Aunt Fanny. Anyone's ever seen, no one's ever talked about the mist while the Shrek, Shrek has been on the screen. <laughs> never happened. The Mist is the darkest ending of any film ever. <laughs> For yes, some reason. it is. Is that Shrek pointing a gun at Dan, uh, Dan Yongstreet, or is that... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shrek, he, the yin and the yang, like Lurkaloo said, you have life and love on one side and Dan on the other. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, also, I forgot to use this Danny DeVito emote earlier. Why do you have a Danny DeVito emote? This guy has so many emotes, God damn it. <laughs> Uh, the alternate ending was the ending put in. <laughs> Wait, so they said it wasn't dark enough? They're like, you know what? I think this car scene could be a tad bit darker. We went with the happy ending, but we chose this one instead. <laughs> the audience that they played it for was like, this is too light. Can we make it somehow heavier? And they played it for a bunch of goths and black metal uh, musicians. <laughs> they said it wasn't dark enough. We should have the dad shoot his cape. 
<laughs> no, no, him. have him wake up first. That'll be great. <laughs> Doesn't even just ice him in his sleep. Wait till he wakes up. I would have been like, oh, sorry, son. Don't worry about this. Wait till you fall asleep again, son. Aren't you tired? Oh, it's so sleepy, right? Go back to sleep. <laughs> oh, by the way, your mom's dead. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> I wouldn't allow it. All right, no, Rad. Uh, why do you not have a Danny DeVito emote? Well, I guess, yeah. You know, you guys call me on it. You call me on it. What am I supposed to do? All right, I got nothing. Empty handed here. Frick. All right, Shrek. Uh, that was a big movie. Uh, do you guys also remember... It wasn't Eddie Murphy's first time doing voice acting. Do you guys remember his TV show, The PJs or The Peaches? Right, that where he was called? a like maintenance guy. A maintenance man. Yeah, that show was terrible. Yeah, I don't think it lasted very long. <laughs> don't let the bed guns bite. <laughs> Sleep nighty night, son. Oh god. All right, <laughs> next one up. Oh, here's one everyone can enjoy, right? Well, not rad in 2001, because this was a chick flick. In 2001, A was Knight's it? Tale. Yes, it was. Oh, I don't know about that. I, in the producer's review last night, we were split like like three out of five of us said, <laughs> yeah, this was a chick flick back in the day. Uh, so I didn't see it. Missed it up. Missed it entirely. But I do recall the fact that it had modern music in it. It really put me off. Oh, he's so supposed you to be know a, about it. He's a jouster, and he's supposed to be jousting, but then We Will Rock You plays. Yes. That doesn't make any sense. That's why, Grungy Nick, when you and Chicken Tendo were talking about... Uh, the fact that you were watching another movie, I can't remember the name of it, um, but there's another movie about jousting, but it takes place on like an actual Ren Fair. I'm like, was A Knight's Tale just at a Ren Fair the whole time? I was about to turn around, like full 180 on it. Like, this would have been crazy if it was at an actual Renaissance no, Fair. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was actual medieval times, but uh, that would have made so much more sense. It would have been so damn clever. That might have been a lot better. People I saw this in a drive through Or no, not drive through drive in Drive in. Drive wow. in. And you know what played after A Knight's Tale? What? The Animal with Rob Schneider. That's a twofer. Oh, you got your money's worth that night. I fell asleep, I think, during The Animal. It was a star, the girl from uh, Survivor was in it. Like the TV show the Survivor? TV show. Oh. They tried to, like, cross her over. Nope. No, that didn't work. <laughs> George A. Romero directed a movie, the other movie that Grungy Nick and Chicken Tendo were talking about. They have a show. I'll just, I'll plug it right now. I don't remember the name of it, Grungy Nick. Give me the name of that show you guys do. Uh, where the two of them just talk about uh, movies, and I think it's on Chicken Tendo's channel, but they were talking about A Knight's Tale and also Knight Riders from 1981, which is the movie about a Renaissance fair. Huh. All right, uh, and apparently in 1981, George A. Romero of Dawn of the Dead fame directed this movie, so it was probably actually well directed, or at least somewhat noteworthy. All right, M. Night Shyamalan's A Knight's Tale. That would have been the twist at the end. Yes! <laughs> That's the 2001 twist. And then it just shows him getting his uh, oh, Geo awesome. and drive home and go to his apartment and get some freaking uh, Chinese food on the way home or something. <laughs> and it's a sad ending. Sadder than <laughs> the freaking mist. Then I would have liked the movie. <laughs> you didn't like this one at all? No, I hated it. Oh. <laughs> you did, but Heath didn't carry you through to the end? Heath never really did it for me. I think he's several years older than us. That's enough for me to not be interested. Like, eh, he's too old. <laughs> Heath doesn't have, like, he's not on paper. Like, he's not gorgeous on paper, but Heath has something going on. Mm. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm not seeing it, sorry. <laughs> I'm not saying he's bad. It's just, I don't know. He's no Sean Aston. Okay. All right. I think we Her all know this. Mrs. Rat is skewed, which makes me wonder where the frick I sit. <laughs> oh man, Chris Farley, he's so hot. Oh man, Will Sasso, he's so hot. <laughs> I never said they were hot. I just thought they were funny. I want to, I want to <laughs> grease them up and get down and dirty. This sounds like me. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that one might have been added, ad lib. All right. After killing a fellow employee, oh yes, Starlight, that was the seven. <laughs> He killed him at the joust at the Renaissance Fair and then got Chinese food on the way home. <laughs> Another day at the Ren Fair, all right? <laughs> this is medieval times! That's Wong so done scooting in here! Ah, oh, Wong done, good to see you, buddy. <laughs> the Diet Pepsi is crisp as frick. Hashtag. Uh, Diet Pepsi, call me, buddy. Come on, I'm the only guy in the world <laughs> propping up Diet Pepsi caffeine free. I don't even know why they make it anymore. They're not making any money off it. Oh, goddamn YouTube coming in here. If you're on YouTube, do not click 69mega.com. <laughs> God damn it. New AI, 84% will find a girl for you. All right, someone help me out here. How the hell do I moderate YouTube <laughs> chat for the love of frick? They're blowing it. 
He just gets away scot-free because no one knows how to moderate YouTube chat. Look at this garbage. Look at this garbage over on YouTube right now. What the frick is going on here? Ah, god damn it. All right, well, good <laughs> to see you, uh, Wong Khan, if you're still here. All right, it was made. It's called The Village. I like The Village. Don't let anyone, don't let anyone tell you The Village is bad. The Village is good. Yeah, right. I liked The Village, and <laughs> sometimes I'm like, maybe they were onto something there. We should all just be go back. Oh, yeah, it wouldn't work. <laughs> wouldn't work. All right, Rocket Monkey saying, Heath had a killer smolder. I like that. That is, I like that. I'm going to use that. Man, Keith smoldered. Or Heath, not Keith. Keith, Heath. It's not <laughs> Heath a real name. Ledger. It's not a real name. <laughs> what? Don't go. Why are you posting the actual link in there? <laughs> don't click on that link, everyone. No, don't. I was making a joke. Like, yeah. the real number for 911. Oh, my God. 912. <laughs> I don't think she's been on the internet enough. People will <laughs> click those links and they'll get a virus don't on their computer. click the link. <laughs> That's what she's doing on the phone. She's giving you guys crazy links to websites <laughs> that'll put you on a list and get your computer black uh, bricked. Isn't bigfannies.com? <laughs> That's a real website, goddammit. Don't go to gargantuanfannies.com yet. Oh. That one will frick your computer up. They don't go anywhere. All right, well, don't be like, frick, I'll click them. <laughs> Why not? That seems sick. All right, next one up. Nice tail. I, it also has the guy from uh, Dark City in it. Did you remember that? The main guy from Dark City was like the Black Knight in this, the main bad guy. Who's the dude in Dark City? I don't know. He's just like an Australian actor. I don't know what else oh, he's really been that in. that guy. Okay. Mm. Well, then this was must have been an Australian film. I bet Heath you it Ledger was. is. That dude is. And yeah. the chick who is in it is also Australian. There you go. We wrapped it up. Filmed in Australia. <laughs> Fact. A man was killed and then he went home for Chinese food. Fact. <laughs> All right. Next one up. Uh, this is... Do I have to make this my pick of the month? I don't know. It's game time decision. It's either that one or that one, which I haven't seen. Can I pick a movie I haven't seen for pick do of the month? Do you want to do your pick yet, or do you want to go over that one? Well, I don't know, because I don't know which one's going to be the pick of the month. So if this one's not the pick of the month, then I'll do it right now. Well, you know that the one I'm pointing at isn't the pick of the month. So you I know, I know. Out. We're just prolonging the inevitable at this point. Fine. Mrs. Rad is busting my chops. <laughs> well, we'll do the next one. Now, Mrs. Rad also saw this one in the theater. I did. Um, I think you can probably explain better what the hell happened here. Angel Eyes with Jennifer Lopez. So you and I watched the trailer for it, mm -hmm. and I said, this is the theatrical trailer because there's no way I would have seen that movie. Yeah, you cut it off immediately. You're like, this is not the trailer I saw. We need to watch the TV trailer. <laughs> so we watched the TV trailer, and it makes it seem like it's a thriller where Jim Caviezel is, like, stalking Jennifer Lopez, and she's, like, some toughened cop. So I'm like, oh, a thriller where she's, like, going to kick the guy's ass in the end or something like that. And then uh, I convinced my male cousin and his male friend to see it with me. And it ended up being like this big love story. And I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't want to see it either. That's always got, that's got to feel the worst when you are the one who instigates the whole like, yeah, we're we'll go check this one out. Cause you're like, <laughs> I know about movies. It hurts your movie cred where they're like, well, we can't really trust what <laughs> Mrs. Rad says about movies anymore. Do you remember that time you uh, told us to go to yeah. Angel Eyes? Like Grungy Nick, do you remember when you got all of that birthday party to go see Wing Commander? How long did it take to get your cred back after that? <laughs> like that hurts. It stings. Damn, the shirt is riding up on me. Yeah, it's a tough one to recover from, uh, but I will give you full I'll exonerate you big time here because, yeah, the theatrical trailer shows that it's a love story, clearly. Mm -hmm. But then the TV trailer, it's like dark music. It's like, boom. It's like Jim Caviezel. Oh, and she's like following him and he's walking down the street and it's like, who's the bad guy here? And she's like, what are you doing? What are you, how did you find me? And it's like, it looks like Jim Caviezel's into some really dark stuff. Yeah. But he's probably just like, I had to change my name because ex-girlfriend just kept coming after me or something. Is that the story? Is that the twist? I have no idea. Right. I cannot remember at all. But, yeah, in the, in the TV trailer, she says, who are you? So it's like, oh, it's like some thriller where this guy's a maniac and no, not yeah, at all. I want to watch a movie with a maniac in it. I can't watch a nice movie where two people just fall in love. Where's the maniac? God damn it. <laughs> Is there a goddamn maniac? Oh, wait, who's the damn maniac here? That'll play. Shorty Straw's the goddamn maniac. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shorty Straw, get in here, buddy. Woo! Hot and heavy. <laughs> yes, this is happening. <laughs> this is goddamn it. Yeah, Shorty was particularly bummed out last week when Dan screwed me around so bad that you couldn't be on the show. She was supposed to be on last week uh, when all of my keyboard shortcuts evaporated right before the show started. I'm like, I can't even change the scene anymore. I'm, I'm hooped. Yeah. Anyway, Shorty, goddamn it, you rascal. Let's go party our balls <laughs> off. Guys, now, whenever anyone orders uh, some million dollar birthday fries at my restaurant, we get out of our minds. And Shorty Straw just ordered some million dollar birthday freaking fries. God damn it, you did it. Shorty! 
did it, did it, did it. You're a man. Bound to down the den the den. All right, hell yeah. Now you know what, Shorty? Because <laughs> it's you, and because I like you, buddy. Get in here, Freds. Get him in here. Woo! Confetti. God damn it. All right, these riffs are hot as frick. Thank you, Travis Morgan, for these riffs. We're gonna double swizzle. And Fred just knows what's up. He taught us everything we know about swizzling. And here we go. Bum, 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 bum. All right, here we go. A double tiny rad. Why not? Let's see if it works. We had to borrow those from Baby Boy Rad. <laughs> uh, otherwise, she would have had to use earbuds, and that's just not going to work. It's not going to fly. Not on my show. All right, yeah, it's braided down to six inches. Good. Yeah, if you start with 15 and braid it down, tight braid. I need it tight, <laughs> tight curls, because I want it to be curly after. Crimped. I crimp my nipple hair. <laughs> Do you have a crimper? <laughs> with the crimper. I just like the way it looks, that's How all. How much Come nipple on. hair is there? A lot. It's thick, like thick. this strand of hair. Yeah, very thick. <laughs> Thick nipple hairs, right? <laughs> Norse braid with the metal bead at the end. Ooh, very fancy. That's what happens when you're Norse. Norse is <laughs> All right, Shorty Straw's been going hard and heavy on the rad challenge. I think we're just going to have to call it the Shorty challenge now because he's got the lowest score, I think. Shorty, are you back in charge? Are you taking the Germans down to Pound Town? All right, because we've been playing Nagano Winter Olympics trying to beat the bobsled uh, world record. Mm -hmm. All right, because now Finland has a bobsled team. God damn it. <laughs> John Candy's their coach. I wish. All right. Um, nipple hair crimper. Uh, yeah, Shorty's got a great uh, low score there. So we're trying to go to speedrun.com and just get that score as low as frick. I can't compete yet because I can't do the... Shorty just feels wrong. Doing the roll method with speed pressing. I can't do it. I need one finger, one press. <laughs> I just can't get the rhythm. I can't, I, got, I can't feel the rhythm or feel the rhyme. So look out, everybody. It's Shorty time. <laughs> All right. Didn't he just recently do a commercial with Ryan Reynolds and um, Rick Moranis? Oh, really? Uh, wait, why? Desi so Butsing he's okay. The last I heard of him was when he was in the incident, which was unpleasant. Some and random guy punched him in the face on the street, last and it's I like, heard. Can you imagine if you're famous enough that every time you get punched in the face, it's just world news. <laughs> uh, Rick's probably like, come on, I took it like a champ. Now it's world news. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, I hope so. He's a treasure. A uh, one finger guy, I respect. Yeah. Uh, well, I just can't get the rhythm going. I can't feel the rhythm or feel the rhyme. All right, go back and read my comment under art. <laughs> Honey, we shrunk the rads. <laughs> okay. And then where did Rick Moranis go? Okay, now it makes sense. Like, I don't know how we got to Rick Moranis, but... All right, let's get back there, everyone. We're having a delightful time with all of these rascals. This playlist is way too big. I need to prune the hell out of this thing. Like, Edward Scissorhands here. All right, why don't we start here? <laughs> did you say that because you're pruning the list? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is yours. I was, I was looking through the list for something in reference to Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> I hear a laugh right now. Yeah, are you sure you weren't a trucker in another life? <laughs> <laughs> I quit messing around and having a great time. I hate it. I this, want my voice back. We go to the library twice in like the last month or two months and both times have been sick. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get sick though. <laughs> 
It's she, not fair. She thinks it's because I eat too much hot sauce and it makes my nose run. Yeah. It gets all the germs out. Hey, men's fitness fact. All right. Get your hot <laughs> sauce going. All right. Hotter the better. Get that nose running. All right. That's what I got to do. I know. You got to get on board. The pain train. <laughs> All right, uh, that was a uh, Angel Eyes. We were going to watch it, but then I couldn't get it on the computer upstairs. So we decided to watch the next movie. Guys, I'm going to do it. It seems like I shouldn't. Pick of the Month is going to be a movie I haven't seen all the way through. I think you guys will agree with me on this pick, though. All right. Next one up is the one movie that Mrs. Rad and I did watch all three hours of it. God damn it. Over the course of three <laughs> nights. It took us three nights to get back and keep watching it, but we did it. Pearl Harbor. Almost a pick of the month. You guys might have thought, oh, come on. Pearl Harbor, is, you can't call that one a pick of the month. Michael Bay, you can't have a Michael Bay's pick of the month. It was decent. It's not even a bad movie, but it was just long. I think if they'd cut this thing down uh, and made it appropriate length, like an hour and a half, probably would have gone down a lot smoother. But I think the big artistic choice here was that Michael Bay or whoever was editing it was like, you know what we're going to do, man? We're going to make the action sequence the exact same length of the actual raid on Pearl Harbor, which is like, that's a, actually very cool, mm -hmm. if it is true, because I swear the action sequence was like one to one, an hour and 15 minutes long. An hour and 15 minute long action sequence. It must have cost a hundred million dollars to make just that action sequence. Uh, they did get Josh Hartnett's hair correct in this film. It's one of the first <laughs> times he's ever had a normal haircut. I'm proud of him. Proud of you, Josh. He did it. Good I know he was like, oh, no, no. he was crying. He was the man who cried uh, when they were trying to cut his hair. Like, Josh, it'll look way better on film. If you just get rid of the Lloyd Christmas with the wings <laughs> on the side. Just don't do that. Um, you saw this one back in the day? Is that yeah, right? I saw this one back, I think, probably shortly after it came out. I didn't see it in theater. I saw it in, on video, but... You guys had both tapes? I don't Cause know. Because it was a two-taper. No, we rented it. I Maybe. I don't, I don't even remember the logistics around it, but I did see it, and now seeing it again, I know I misremembered, like, so much of mm. it. Or, if, at the very least, my interpretation of it back then was very different from what it is now. Right. A, a three-hour movie is just a lot to ask for, like, a 15, 16-year-old. Like, I can't do that. I'm not a movie buff. What the hell am I doing? And the whole movie, just the theme song is playing from start to finish in this movie. Yes. For three hours long. Yeah. Except for the action sequence. I would almost say that you don't need the love story was... It was not necessary, as it isn't in most movies. <laughs> yeah, I agree. They didn't need that love story. No, because it... It just made, like, I get that they were trying to get you to, like, have empathy during the scene, which is not very good. But it's like, it, that, all of that didn't need to be a thing. No. Yeah, it, it's the same thing with Top Gun, right? Same thing. Like, you know, it, or it's the same thing in TV shows. This always happens in TV shows where it's like, uh, take Brooklyn Nine-Nine, for example. All right. Uh, Andy Samberg, he's killing it. He just gets yeah. to do his thing for, like, the first four seasons. And then, Santiago, we got to have a love story with you and Santiago. No! He fine. And then it ruins it, man. And the, the whole show went downhill after they started dating, in my opinion. Ah, oh, damn, she point. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's Ben Affleck. He's good, right? Yeah, uh, Mrs. Rad was uh, talking before the show started. Like, they have him pointing his chin so far to the camera. Bigger, buddy. You gotta just look like Gaston. Mm. Yeah, Ben Affleck doesn't... I, I don't know why they didn't just have, like... Her and him falling in love, and the, but why do they have to throw Josh Hartnett in there? Why do they have to complicate everything? Yeah, just to make us feel bad. That's the thing. That's the <laughs> thing. Like it's, it feels to me like when they introduce a new character in a TV show, where it's like, hey, step by steps, not bringing in the numbers. Bring Cody in. Cody's <laughs> gonna make everyone laugh, and then everyone loves Cody because he's the only one that can like yeah. be funny. Uh, well, maybe that's a bad example. In this case, with love interests, you're like, oh, we don't have enough to play with here. Have them fall in or Chandler and Monica getting together. I thought that was a big whiff too. Chandler was never funny again after him and Monica got together. <laughs> that is fact. Hey! Prove me wrong, kids. <laughs> Shorty Straw gets it, though, when he is talking about Ben Affleck. Nah, <laughs> he sucks. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, Josh Hairnet, am I right? Mrs. Rad in the chat. God damn, how are you pulling funny zingers <laughs> while you're chatting with me? God damn it. Is that how long I go off on rants that you can do funny zingers on the other <laughs> phone? All right, Shorty's saying, all right, I know the... Uh, I know he must uh, most be the pissed where running the dick fart jokes or beers beating him. I don't know. Okay, I missed it. I missed it. I can't read it. I don't <laughs> mind Ben Affleck. There, I said it. Wow. I think uh, Ben Affleck annoyed me because so many of my friends were into him. And one of my friend's sisters had a poster of Ben Affleck from Armageddon. Is that the movie he was in? Yes, Armageddon. He was. Where he's supposed to be like, uh, oh, what do you call it? Like, uh,. Not like rough and tumble, but you know what I mean. Like, 
Yeah, Ben Affleck doesn't. Uh, I'm in work gear. Uh, okay. The toughest Ben Affleck ever appeared to me was in Mallrats when he punched Brody in the stomach. Or, yeah. or no, the other guy. Remember, he got him in the like back hallway and just punched him in the stomach? Ben Affleck looked huge there. <laughs> He's never looked intimidating ever again since then. No. All right, didn't Josh Hart, uh, Hartnett tell Hollywood to go frick itself? Did wow. he? Did, wasn't he in a show recently, like within the last few years? It was some horror show. Yeah. yeah. Penny something something. Maybe he's out, out of Hollywood and he's down to Georgia to film some more TV shows. Because <laughs> every TV show is filmed in Georgia now. Yeah. I love how chat's always ready to bury Rad in Mrs. Rad's defense. <laughs> 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 well, good, the, the good news is I don't read the chat appropriately when I have a guest, so. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I swallowed a french fry sideways or something. It's cut my jugular. I'm sorry to hear that. All right. Oh, wait, before we move on. Yep. Pearl Harbor, the fashion, did you enjoy it or do you hate it? And what? I want to know from you guys, too, because Mr. Rad really tends to not like, like, 1940s style. Because I'll always try to bait him, like, do you like that? Because I like it. Like lady stuff? Yeah, the oh, lady no. stuff. No, no, no. I know you hate it. Yeah. I don't <laughs> like when they curl. Like, you watch this one YouTube channel where this girl literally got her hair cut into a triangle. Like, no. <laughs> this is no good. That was not a good haircut, but uh, the hair and the styles back then. But also funny watching it back, like. They didn't have clothes like that back then. Yeah, right. She's only a nurse. She's not making that kind I guess. of cash. Well, Kate Beckinsale, that's who it is in this? Yes. Yeah, she did. She played the the attractive lady well in this, I thought. So if you're talking about Kate Beckinsale's uh, style, uh, okay, fine. She did not turn her hair into a triangle, so that's... <laughs> I'm not asking for much here. Don't get the Q-tip haircut that they always do on the home or the makeover shows where they're like... You haven't seen your mom in two months, kids. Well, bring <laughs> her on out. Mom comes out with a Q-tip haircut. <laughs> they cut her hair short. Like, God, no. And the dad's like, it looks great, honey. <laughs> so She'll have more time. <laughs> way less time yet crimping her hair. And dad's busy. <laughs> and we want a free nipple hair crimper in the process. <laughs> All right, Wong Tan saying, this movie's long. Was it actually two DVDs long as well? Oh, my God. I don't doubt it. Three hours. And plus, they probably had extra content on it. And commentary and yeah. all. Yeah, well, actually, the, I would actually like to watch how it was made because a lot of, some of those sequences, there was explosions behind Ben Affleck and Josh Hartnett, and I'm looking for, like, the green screen fuzz around the side of them, and I couldn't see it. It's like, did that actually explode behind them? I'm like, sure it was probably practical Jesus effects. Christ. Because it was long enough ago. That's why when yeah. Mad Max <laughs> came out and everybody was like, you know they're using practical effects? You mean how movies were made for, like, a very, very yeah. long time? Is that That's what true. you're so impressed by? <laughs> I guess, yeah, we've been spoiled here. Freaking, what was it, Star Wars. They really uh, lowered the bar for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> you can film Star Wars from the couch in your house. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Just put the green screen behind. Yeah. Sick. We're in Star Wars right now. Woo! This is crazy technology. All right, it was a tad much. All right, and he came back for a show but didn't remember seeing Megan's his hair. Yeah, Josh Hartnett, he was the one that got away. It's, you know what? Because they wanted to cut his hair. <laughs> <laughs> get, that, get that scissor away from me! <laughs> yeah. Bowl cut! That's gonna fly, all right? They just wanted to push it out of his face. Let's just we can move it back. We don't need to cut it. Wow! Okay. Josh Hartnett, you were the chosen one. <laughs> you blew it with that haircut. He was in 30 Days a Night, wasn't he? That was good. Yes, he was in that. That was a good movie. All right. Now, we got a couple of... Uh, we got to clean up some loose ends here. We're already an hour and ten minutes. And what do I care? Now that I don't have to... Now that I have my own room, I can go extra late. But you probably have to go to bed soon. So we'll <laughs> I have try and... my own room. I have, a, I have an office with which to uh, stream from. All right, Sorry. we uh, we got to clean up some stuff here. Speaking of Josh Hartnett, in March 2001, 2001, one, one, one. Uh, I forgot we missed one movie that I did remember seeing trailers for on the internet. So we're going to talk about it right now, even though it is the May 2001 episode. We got to know. Josh Hartnett was in a movie called Blow Dry with uh, Rachel Lee Cook. And you will notice he brought his haircut back. That's the haircut, everyone. Yeah, it looks kind of like it's normal here, but you got to see it in action. It is not normal. It is Lloyd Christmas with a little bit that flips out on the side like this. It's not normal. All right, I just wanted to let you guys... It, I stumped Grungy Nick with this one. He's like, I, even I don't remember this one. Damn! You didn't see it in the theater? You didn't recommend a whole birthday party of teenage boys go see this in the theater? This is not... This is like an art house movie. Like Birdhouse. It feels like it should have... You'd watch a double hit hitter, Birdhouse, and then Blow Dry. Or Bird Cage. Is that the one where... Oh, with Robin Williams? Yeah, they're all a bunch of, like, catty dancers or something. Oh. Birdhouse and then Blow Dry. Double hitter. You're still calling it Birdhouse? Bird Cage? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Somebody wants... <laughs> all right. 
I just want to let you guys know. Now, we actually missed a couple in April as well. And I'll be damned if we're going to miss two months worth. Frick. Do you guys remember back in April 2001, Stallone was in an F1 driving movie called Driven? Oh, I know for sure you forgot. Until you saw this image, you're like, damn. <laughs> I thought I'd forgotten about that. And there's a reason for that. Because Stallone is not the driver. He's the, He coaches a young driver. That's where it whiffs it. Oh. I mean, he is a former F1 driver, and he does do an F1 chase sequence through, like, the streets of San Francisco or something, and it makes no sense. But, uh... doesn't need to when it's a car chase. I guess, yeah. <laughs> it, it doesn't at all. All right, he was uh, the least believable hairdresser with that awful haircut. Yeah, can yeah. you imagine if you go into the hairdress... Okay, Grungy Nick's talking about blow dry. Yeah, can you imagine scooting it... Wait, blow dry? There we go. Can you imagine scooting into the uh, hairdresser's place, and that's the guy cutting your hair? <laughs> How do you get out of that? I just want it to look normal. Can you make it look normal, please? I just... <laughs> Don't worry, kid. I got you. <laughs> Bowl cut. Oh, man. <laughs> Anyways, Driven, I watched uh, some of it. It's actually good. I feel like you could call it a good movie. Not a good movie. A good movie. Who was the person he was mentoring? I don't know. Some rando. I didn't even recognize oh, him. Oh, really? Yeah, randos. I know this movie well, says Shorty. <laughs> Driven, uh, Driven is Rambo and in Indy. Exactly. <laughs> it has to be. Man. Stallone was the Rambo of actual army guys, and then he was the Rambo of arm wrestling, and then he was the Rambo of boxing, and now he's the Rambo of F1 Indy. Or was it Indy or F1? Is there a difference? All right, give me uh, the Mo from Three Stooges. On it! Oh, but maybe. If he's walked away from Hollywood, maybe he's just one of those people who's like, he knows that he's serviceably attractive, and so he tries purposely to make himself less attractive. He's like, is this all of this? Everything is just like pomp and circumstance, and he's rebelling. He's a rebel. <laughs> he's like, I'll never change his haircut. He's probably a gray-haired old man now with that haircut. <laughs> never going to change it. All right, next one up. Uh, we also forgot one uh, from um, April, which I do want to talk about again. A Crack in the Floor with Gary Busey. The only reason I'm mentioning this is because at this point in time, 2001, it was like the start of this era where people would start filming their own movies on like digital cameras and they would get to the video store, but they would have a cover that makes it look like, I think that's a normal movie. It probably went to the theater. No, this movie did not go to the theater. A Crack in the Floor with Gary Busey <laughs> did not go to the theater, but look up at the top there. Up in the top right, do you guys recognize that dimple? I know for sure you recognize that dimple. Yep. That's a Mario Lopez uh, lim uh, dimple. <laughs> Limple. Um, the only reason I want to mention this is because Gary, A, Gary Busey is not in this film. He's in it for like five minutes at the very start, what? and that's it. That's why we rented it. But Mario Lopez has a line in this movie which will live in my brain forever. Uh, they're talking about a guy who had frostbite, and uh, he had to get his nose, his nose fell off or something. And they're talking about it while driving up to the cabin, you know, because it's one of those kind of horror movies. And Mario Lopez is like, oh yeah, but at least that time, next time he's giving a 69 and chick, he won't get his nose caught in her pooper. That is verbatim. <laughs> That's Mario Lopez. Classy. <laughs> you always thinking on the bright side, all right? And we're talking about Mario Lopez in AC Slater pants. That's where he is right now. He's talking about the the pros of not uh, having a nose anymore. All right. <laughs> all right. God bless you. I like what Reggie Nick said because I thought the very same thing. I was like, is that Jake Beastie or Gary Beastie? I can't tell. That hair is just. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this was the sequel to Hider in the House, where it's just Gary Busey now hiding in your basement and looking up through a crack in the floor, looking Whoa. at you. For those that don't know, Hider in the House is where Gary Busey went into a house that was being built and created an extra room in the attic where he uh, lived, and a, a family was unaware. It's creepy as frick. That's a big guy, too. Yeah, you know, like a six foot six guy in your roof? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Crack in the floor in your ceiling. That's That was the working title, and they, uh, yeah, they worked against it. <laughs> they thought, no, nah, that doesn't work. All right, now, you guys know damn well if Dolph Lundgren's coming out with a movie in April, I'm going to talk about it. Agent Red, Dolph Lundgren, he's back, goddammit. Put another foot on that statue in Sweden. Gold encrusted, jewel encrusted, <laughs> sprinkled with gold powder. Dolph Lundgren's awesome, and I didn't see this. I'm whiffing it. And you're all whiffing it, too, because I know for sure none of you saw Agent Red either. Don't you want to see Dolph Lundgren in a submarine? <laughs> Don't you want to see Dolph Lundgren in a submarine? Not Where do you want to see Dolph Lundgren then? Uh, any, using any of the education that he has. I'd okay. love to hear him talk about some of that stuff. Do you know what? He was actually in Kindergarten Cop 2. Yeah. But he'd be, I'd want to see him Come on, we lecture. locked it up! 
I want a lecture. Oh, you want him to be <laughs> like a college professor? I want to see a lecture. <laughs> so in conclusion. <laughs> All right, and that was April. We missed we missed out on those ones in April, so we had to we had to write the wrongs. Now the pick of the month, everyone. I've only seen about ten minutes of it, and it looked quality enough to me. And I feel comfortable saying this is better than Pearl Harbor. Guys, prove me wrong. The Mummy Returns. Am I right or wrong, everybody? Frick. Frick. <laughs> Rachel Weiss actually fixed her eyebrows in this movie. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you remember, but they were boned up in that first one. Yeah, because it was supposed to be the 1920s. They were gone. They were gone off her face. Yeah. Looked like a troll. <laughs> Can't do that. Give the lady her eyebrows back. Mummy Returns is great. And Yay. are we saying pick of the month? You guys, we've seen all the movies that came out. Pick of the month worthy? Because I'm going to do it. Ugh. Pick of the month. Lock it up. I want to see Dolph as the evil Russian Darwinist in God Isn't Dead 4. Says Grungy Nick. Do it! Oh, wait, we did it. We locked it up. <laughs> I barely remember Mummy Returns. I know I've seen it. You've seen this? A couple of times, It's the one yeah. that starts with The Rock just mowing people down in that big fight scene. Uh, yeah, I've definitely seen it because I remember that girl and the guy, the bald guy. Yeah, I can't believe they brought the bald guy back. Someone, how did the hell, didn't they banish him? They beat him in the first movie. Why is he back? Why he I, never I don't him? even remember anything about the first movie. Oh my gosh. I feel like this whole series <laughs> has a pacing issue. And like, I don't know. We got a lot of cool ideas and we have no idea how to put them together. Just throw them on the plate. It's like a buffet. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. just a lot happening. Mm -hmm. mm. Like this happened. And then also this. And now this. This also yeah. happened. Okay. Oh, so we're saying this is The Rock's first film. All right. He looked really out of place in this movie. He looked like he fell right off the right off the ring, you know what I mean? <laughs> so does that mean Vince McMahon was involved somehow? Because they're using The Rock, right? Is Vince McMahon behind the set while Rock's filming? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, Rock! Do it like he's like his handler. I've been thinking about The, the Rock lately. Not The Rock the person, but just his sayings. <laughs> and then how offensive it is when you're like, it doesn't matter what your name is. <laughs> That's like the best burn ever. Yeah, he gave uh, uh, Bill Gates a sick burn. Uh, King Richard made us watch that the other day where he had to do like a a thing for the Microsoft Xbox like announcement. And yeah, he, he did the same thing. He like cut Bill Gates off right in the middle of his talk. <laughs> doesn't matter what you think, Bill. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Rock, yeah. <laughs> All right, Vince has been a uh, mummy for years. That's <laughs> crunchy Nick. Yeah, I don't know what's keeping him alive. He's, he's uh, made a deal with the devil. All right, pick of the month, everyone, we did it. Now let's blast through the music, because there's uh, not a lot going on in music. Well, you guys will probably like some of these ones, but old Rad, a lot of these scooted right by Rad. I was busy at the time. It was 2001. I was graduating. All the while. Yeah, you were so busy at school. With the how many days were you absent? I was playing a lot of video games. Uh, Weezer was coming out with, uh, what's this song? Everyone will know. Hash Pipe. Yeah, Grungy Nick had to inform me that Hash Pipe is on this one. Mm -hmm. uh, That's the one, I right? used to play that on the radio all the time when I worked in the warehouse, yeah. and I'd be like, ugh, this one again. All right, for those wondering, there's the link. If you if you absolutely must check it out, go check it out right now, Hash Pipe. Uh, that was before hashtags. I remember hashtag came out, the term hashtag. For a good, like, five years, I had no idea what it was. Like, I know people are using this word, but I don't know what the hell you're saying. Uh, related to hash pipe at all? I don't know. <laughs> all right, pick of the month for music, says Grungy Nick. Yeah, it probably is. I didn't get a chance to listen to the whole album. That song's pretty good. Weezer's pretty good, as it turns out. Oh, Wheezy Windbag Weezer. <laughs> um, but we gotta go quick. Uh, we got the song. You couldn't exist in that year without hearing it. Yeah, you can imagine not hearing that song. You'd have to be really deliberately trying to avoid that song. <laughs> I think so. Because even in the grocery store, you hear stuff. But I, I really don't like the riff in it. As like, soon as like I hear either. that riff, like... But you know what? The high-pitched vocal saves it. That's where I'm like, oh, okay. I'll get I'll get down with high-pitched vocals. You know? Weezer has it in them. They do some fine work. Yep. And so do the ladies of Tattoo. It's all in Russian. This is the this is before the uh, the cog in the machine just scooped them up and started mm -hmm. writing the songs for them. I think they were writing their own songs at this point. This is before. Uh, which the song of theirs that you were? Some girl, I, what she said. I don't know. All the things she said. All the things she said. Okay, <laughs> it was close. Very. I was getting closer, everyone. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be. <laughs> um, but before they had like that song's actually pretty. That's a good song. Catchy. Everyone remembers that song as soon as they hear it. But before they were doing that song, I think they were writing their own music, and I think they were just using the stock settings on their keyboard, click, and then just you know where it's like, 
That's what it sounded like. That's about as quality as this is. It sounds great. Yeah. So they, they still had some maturing to do, but it really is only a year away before they do have that single that everyone's heard. I just felt like you guys should know about that. Next one up. <laughs> I'm sure everyone now remembers where they were when Sum 41, All Killer, No Filler Whoa. came out. Now, uh, a month ago, last month, the single for Fat Lip came out. Now that you get the, that was just a dip your toe. Now you're dipping the whole damn leg in. <laughs> right. Oh man, it's warm. Let's go in there. Now the other song that came out with this one that you probably all remember is In Too Deep. I don't remember how it goes though. God damn it. What? In Too Deep. Yeah, all right. That's why I have her on the show. I would have just sat there for a while going like, I don't know how it sounds again. <laughs> Wasn't that in American Pie? Or would American Pie 2 have been out around this time? It couldn't have been American Either Pie way, 1. Either way, I think some 41 song was in American Pie. Yeah, well, that makes sense. I mean, that just, that makes sense. Now, I'll tell you guys, you know what's nice about this? They did actually dip a pinky toe themselves into the punk drum beat. <laughs> For a couple tracks in this album. And that was what I was listening to. I went through the whole album super fast last night. Come on, dudes. I know you can do it. Don't, don't bone this up, boys. And they didn't disappoint. <laughs> so this is just pop punk. This is like... Blink 182's little brother is what it feels like. Okay. And where are they now? Actually, the name is exactly the same. Blink 182. Sum 41. You guys really didn't. <laughs> you weren't trying that hard, were you? God damn it. Now I take it back. Sum 41, get fricked. Hard swings on the show. All right, next one up. Hey, man, Wayne Static's back, and his hair is even taller than before. I think the last time you were on the show, we also talked about Static X. Oh, did we? You're back. God, we can't get away from goddamn Static X. It's all right. I have no comment. I have not heard this album. <laughs> All right. You know what? It's been a while since we've talked about this last one, everyone. Oh, man. <laughs> I wouldn't have got that reference if I didn't do the producer's review show last night. Like, uh, it's been a while is the one that you should probably talk about. Like, what? And then I had to listen to it. It's been a while. It's been a while. Parental advisory. What for? Uh, don't they swear at some point? Oh, for swearing. Is that all we need now? Yeah. A swear will get you with that stamp yeah. on there? He says the S word in It's Been a While. He oh had to God. edit it in the radio. He did? Yeah. And we were talking about that with all the rap albums that came out and then the radio hits that would come out for the rap albums. Yeah. I can't. There's no flow. If half the lyrics are disappeared, there's no flow. Yeah. It's like failing in Guitar Hero. That's what rap sounds like on the radio. Yeah. All right. Well, I thought that um, I told you this last night that... I heard the Stained song while I was working over the radio, and I thought that it was Fred Durst unplugged from a Family Values tour. They did that. The singer for Stained and Fred Durst did that. Veiled made me watch it last night. They were sitting on a stoop. There was like a set. And they're both I sitting was on right. some stairs. <laughs> it's been a while, Fred. Do you agree? It's been a while. <laughs> and he's sitting like, on yeah, a scoop I makes it agree. sound like Sesame Street. I freaking agree. <laughs> And it was sick. <laughs> Family Values Tour 99. <laughs> All right. Parental advisory was just because this album sucks. They're like, oh, by the way, if your kid buys this, he's a goddamn loser. All right. So, uh, cut your losses. Uh, go, move on to the next one. That kid's a uh, lost cause. He bought a stained album. Uh, stained the first album. Everyone seems to like this first. The first album Stained did. I think this is when he's like, hey, I'm a country singer now. Right? Oh, this is the second album? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I don't like Stain's guitar tone. I don't like a lot about Stain. Everything about it kind of just rubs me the wrong way. Huh. Um. But the It's Been a While was like their song. So I wonder why yeah. they had to get softer. But it definitely appealed. Because they didn't have they didn't have the freaking grit, man. You got to soften up. You yeah. stay gritty your whole career or you get to frick out. <laughs> I run a hard, tight ship here, goddammit. You guys imagine if I just started singing ballads for you right now? <laughs> I was just about to bring up ballads. Like, why did all of the albums in the 80s have ballads? Why does any album have a ballad? Why does everyone make a single a ballad? Are you out of your mind? Make it the fast one. Yeah. You oh, think yeah. New Kids on the Block? Well, actually, did they do that? I know they had freaking Step girl. by Step. Step by Step was fast as frick. But then, uh, you know, they're not going to make their signal some dumpy... Actually, they probably did. Grudgy Nick, oh my gosh, Green Machine by Sugar Ray? That was like a good song. And then they come out with... Oh, yeah. Every oh my gosh. How did you guys go from being like so hardcore? <laughs> yeah, because they didn't have the grit. They were phoning in the grit. For the chicks? Well, the, the chicks need to GTFO. Yeah. 
or be, or be BTFO. That's right. All right, King Richard, get the freaking here, buddy. Good to see you, buddy. All right, no air time. The pressure was uh, good as well. Uh, the other thing was people used to say they would call you a stain back when this album came out. Hey, get out of here, you stain. That was the colloquialism. That was, that was your school. That was my school. That was a weird thing. <laughs> and if you wore a black pullover, whether or not you were a goth, you were a goth stain. I got called goth stain all the time. You'd get people drive by, dude bros, in their freaking sweatshirts with the white stripe across the middle. <laughs> goth stain, eh. You're describing them perfectly. <laughs> goth stain, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Just, Dan, you're, you're the goth stain. <laughs> all right, Martin Rath was way too busy doing uh, dance offs with random kids in the streets. That's a great video. <laughs> he was also getting his eyebrows, uh, what is it, what do they call it, threaded? Threaded? Yeah. Yeah. His eyebrows are <laughs> precise. All right, next one up. <laughs> As we listen to the next freaking album here, Dan's pick of the month, everyone, is Mushroom Head. Ooh, Mushroom Head XX. <laughs> uh, Mushroom Head is, is watered down uh, Slipknot. Water wait, wait. Is Mushroom Head the band from, uh... No, that's Mudvayne. Oh, Mud that's so good, though. This big! This <laughs> big! <laughs> big <laughs> paper towel. This big! Big! All right, uh, no, that's Mudvayne. Mudvayne is actually respectable musically. <laughs> Visually, they look absolutely ridiculous. I think I'll have to find that video for everybody so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, yeah, number one hardcore scream of 2012, I think. Yeah. Is and it's not... It's not even from 2012. Yeah, also a little sprinkle of ICP in there too, right, Grungy Ning? ICPPs everywhere. <laughs> and we were uh, joking last night. Look at the one guy in the back right there. He just refused to put on the mask. Mm -mm. I want to look like dancing. All right, hey, we'll be like Slipknot, only we all have bondage masks on. Guys, that is so lame. Is the album any good? Like, is their music any good? Mushroom Head? Yeah. No, it's the type of stuff where it's like, you can tell when you're listening to something where like the scream is like, Rah, rah, and they, they sound angry. This one is like, meh, meh, like Dan. That's why it's his pick of the month. Meh, meh. Everybody, <laughs> don't forget to eat your mushrooms on your pizza. Err. That's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Rad's got the link. I do indeed, my friends. Oh look, Marshmallow copied those X eyes. I don't know that. I don't know what that means. But you know what, King Richard, take him down. A, just a peg. Slip that wannabes. Yeah, it's exactly it. But they did. What Mushroom Head did well was they did. They had like a really fancy jewel case on their CD. You, like you'd walk through the record store and theirs was like extra big for some reason. I don't know what was going on. I don't know how much they paid for it. They thought that was going to turn us. Not a chance. <laughs> it worked for Dan though. Was it one of those ones that was always hard to open? I don't, I never opened it. Oh, oh my God. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Sorry. All right. Most brutal metal scream of 2012. That is a link you can click on. I most, promise. yeah, this one, I'll vouch for it. Um, <laughs> look how many views it has too. It's impressive. It has 41 million. <laughs> <laughs> and like the the guy, I started following his channel because I thought that was so funny. And he has he had a video that you and I quote, and like probably <clears throat> no one else has ever seen. Like, what a beautiful and dry day is oh, what yeah. the description of the video said because he just went outside and it was pouring rain. And it's like the sarcasm is just on point. What I've learned from that channel and that video, bro, yeah, you can get the frick in here, buddy. Good to see you, dude. <laughs> Freaking brain busters galore in here. All right, um. Most Brutal Metal Scream 2012, and then you hear that song. That's like, when I first heard that, I realized what YouTube could be, where it's like, you play with people's expectations, like, yeah. list it something, get them to go in there and think it, and then it just dumps all over their expectation. Can be very funny. And I'm the freaking baby! I don't know what that means, Jaden, but get the frick in here. <laughs> oh, I'm in, I'm the freak in, baby. Okay. <laughs> I got the frick in. All right, next one up. Is it when it came to it's it? That's not even on this album. I know, but that's the only, that's my <laughs> reference for Missy Elliott. So addictive, everyone. Parental advisory. <laughs> yeah, there's like 20 tracks on this album. Remember, we kept like going and going and going. I, it seems like she's done quality work, but I just can't like Missy Elliott. I don't know. You I shouldn't. Can't do it. All those dance moves, they seem so aggressive at me. Like. <laughs> But you only watched that one video. No, it's every video I've ever seen of hers. Mm, okay. I've seen quite a few. <laughs> Did you like that song? What do you think about it? Let's see. What the hell was the song even called? I don't even remember the song off this album. I hate to say it because I think it's super disrespectful. One Minute Man. One Minute Man. One Minute Man. 
Is that close? <laughs> Very. All right. All right. Sorry, Frick in, he says. All right. You went, you went Freak. I went Frick. It was close. It's close. All right. Yep. Missy Elliott seems quality. I want, where she disappeared, kind of. Where the hell did, what was the point in time where Missy Elliott just disappeared off the face of the earth? I don't know. Maybe she started doing producer stuff. Maybe people can let us know, but um, Timbaland took off. <laughs> and then she kind of faded into the background because she and Timbaland are like tight. The hell did I get canceled for here? <laughs> oh, Missy Elliott canceled? I'll take that. I'll take that and run with it. Or am I canceled because I said the name of the song? I don't, I don't like it, guys. I think it's rude. Oh. Pull the hairnet. <laughs> I got the F out. I pulled a heart net. I pulled a hair net. I was like, what? Well, now we're going to have to find out where she is, everybody. A little late, but uh, here is current Static X. Oh, they... Without w uh, Wayne Static? How the hell are they going to replace him and his hair? Oh, man. All right, we'll allow it. Oh, she got canceled, you think? That'd be pretty hardcore. Bring me back. If she got canceled for saying something, that internet just get her out of here. Oh, oh, guys, no. It's sad. It says she has hyperthyroidism. Oh, okay. Known well, as Graves' disease. I won't make fun of that. Oh my gosh, it, even, it gets worse. You guys can read the Wikipedia if you want to get that. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> well, I will say, I was trying to give her the compliment sandwich. I do agree that it seems quality. It's just not Rad's breath. <laughs> the dude in the mask is veiled. A little late. The dude in the mask. Is it? Did they just get one of Mushroom Head singers and he scooted over? <laughs> All right, next one up. I want to like you, Megadeth, but you're not helping me out here with these <laughs> watered down riffs. These goddamn bored out of my mind riffs. Come on, they're this close to being riffed out of their mind, but they keep backing away like they don't want to get riffed up. Hey, you know what we'll do instead of uh, a sick drum beat? We'll do like a just four on the floor. Always. Megadeth, pick it up, buddy. They could be rad. I believe they have been rad in the past, but yeah, they just don't do it for me. <laughs> Megadeth is like one of the, you ever, I always thought Def Leppard was just gonna rock hard because they'd have those crazy album covers and stuff. And then yeah. when you listen to it, you're like, that just doesn't rock, buddy. Yes, my brother had a Def Leppard poster in his bedroom and it was like some monster coming up out of a grave. Uh, what the fuck? I don't think he had ever heard Def Leppard, but oh, uh, when I was older and finally heard them, like, oh, this is kind of pop. Yeah, Def Leppard is, and, and they're, they got no balls, man. Where's the grit? Their drummer's the only one with the balls. Just give me the soul. Turn all the faders down. Just give me that drum track. <laughs> hell yeah. One arm, dude. That guy has balls. Balls of steel. All right. Now, who the hell just scooted in here? I see you there. Dead Glove Gaming, get the frick in here. You know, you're almost uh, follow number 800, guys. We're like two follows away from 800. Give me 800 up. He's D Gloved Gaming. All right. D, what? Degloved. Deg? I, why did I, I said deg love? What's you said de dead Do you want me to explain what degloved means? Because I'm not going to do it. <laughs> oh. I call him deg love. <laughs> it sounds like a... <laughs> deg love. Man, that sounds like a sick R&B <laughs> artist. Like, man, I'm deg love. Hey, girl. <laughs> girl, this is my new deg love <laughs> signal. Hey, girl, I know you. You're the only one for me. <laughs> deg love. That's good. That's, That's fine. fine. Yeah, I'm getting straight. Oh, welcome, welcome in. <laughs> it's a different R&B album then. Uh, get in here. Glad to have you here. We got the fam here. We got the fam watching. Uh, Yaden, has he ever just turned around and given you a freaking stunner? Has that ever happened? Because I, I imagine uh, <laughs> Yaden's an actual professional wrestler. So I imagine if your brother's a professional oh, wrestler, fine. at any given time, you just family get togethers, you could just be careful. Kick to the stomach, stunner. Just it could be coming. Watch out. <laughs> Watch out. All right. Uh, the album title is The World Needs a Hero. Oh, yeah. What the hell is According it? The World Needs Rad a Hero. Notes. Yeah. They have an edited. I I went for the gross out cover. They've they've also man Megadeth even got so up they got too scared. There's even like an edited version of this cover that doesn't have the the blood here. I thought this was okay. I'll I'll take this amount of gore. I had to edit the exhumed cover before I showed it to you guys. I that think D gloved gaming and I share a lot in common, except it was my dad trying moves on me. Oh yeah, so. I, the first time I ever met her dad, <laughs> literally I saw him do rapid fire little kicks in his little <laughs> dad sweatpants. Uh, at her, I don't know what he was doing. He was like teaching her like moves. He would do. Ha he would literally do. How do you get out of this? To you as a kid? Oh yeah, all the time. He'd like come up behind me and say, "How do you get out of this?" Or he'd try, like strangle me. And say, How do you get out of that? And then he would teach me. All right, and now you will do it to our son. And bear in mind, does not emote. There was no smiling the entire time that I am being taught these. So things. are you sure you didn't star in the movie Hannah? You're in the woods with Eric Bana. <laughs> How do you get out of this, Hannah? Oh my They're god. They're coming for you, Hannah. I wish. You I have mean, to be prepared. That's why I like the movie so much. I was even thinking with 
the mist, like, how that would never happen to us because I have such an ego on me that I'd be like, I can take these monsters. I got no problem. Why are we just going outside and taking them? Well, that's what the biker thought, too, before they <laughs> ripped his torso off. Nah, it's because he was probably too hesitant. Why you didn't they drive around out? and look for guns? Because they Ed, you just walked out in the mist. You got torn to pieces. You t why don't you crash into the store, grab the guns and ammo, and leave? No, I swear, the only reason some of those people got away in the mist is because they got lucky. I don't think it was because of anything else. Mm -hmm. If that big monster happens to be walking by at the time, he's like, oh, frick. I'm just saying they lack tenacity and stick to it a bit. Fair. <laughs> All right, has he, ever, uh, has he ever given you the stunner? Because I get... <sighs> I get Mrs. Rad when she's not paying attention all the time. Yeah, just walkable. I'm not a professional wrestler. Can you imagine me doing it? Do you remember <laughs> Kevin doing that art? I saw him give girls stunners in school. I think I saw him give Scott a stunner once. And he <laughs> and he whiffed it, because if you're a kid doing these moves to other kids, you don't know you're not supposed to get their jugular right on your shoulder. <laughs> he almost killed Scott. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah. Well, he would, uh, he, would, he would literally walk up behind people and stunner them. All right. Those stitches were for me, says Yaden. <laughs> All right. All right. You're from a heater and a trapdoor. Oh, my God. It sounds like you guys had some rascally scuffles. All right. Next one up. Uh, this one's only for Rad. Guys, just disregard. Marillion came out with an album. It's called Anarachnophobia. If you don't know who Marillion is, it's like Gowan. You'll know Gowan. Right? Canadian? Gowan? Oh, okay. Yes. Moonlight Desires. <laughs> Marillion is like the American version. Actually, I don't even know if he's American. Huh. Or it's American. I don't know what Marillion is. But I know they've got a lot of albums. And they have a new one in 2001. And you know what really blows about it? We listened to it last night. They come out with like the U2 drumming. Like the, the U2 sound. I don't know. Ah, uh, okay. There's a drum beat. There's a sound in 2001. It always kind of secretly bums me out when a band that was like famous in the 70s and 80s or whatever... They get into the 2001s and they're like, I guess we got to have the 2001 drum beat. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn it. That's what happened to Phil Collins. Does everyone, and I, I'm saying this because I want to make sure it's in everyone's memory. Remember when U2 had a song, or was it the whole album just came out on that iPod? Like, it was forcibly there. Oh, you yeah. You didn't download it. It just came on it. Can't get rid of it. And how angry people were about that. And nowadays people would be like, oh, that was actually handy. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. We used I to fight for yeah. things, and now we don't. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why. Uh, King Richard said he gave his cousin a stunner uh, in the mall when he was 13. <laughs> God damn, these stun did you kill your cousin? Is your cousin all right? <coughs> yeah, hey, uh, cousin doesn't walk the same. I mean, <laughs> basically all right. All right, uh, this is a pretty good promotion. All right, uh, where is that? Yeah, give some links if you want, Yaden. Get these people watching the events. You guys are OG fans of the show, and you've been here many times. I will allow you to uh, promote yourself in the chat. But some of the other <laughs> chatters know you. They don't know what the hell the link is. Link it up. All right. I've deleted it three times, and it keeps coming back on my iPhone. <laughs> they still have it, Grungy Nick. All right. The iPhone 20, and u two's back from their 2001 album. There you go. Oh, God. Please, God, no. <laughs> Take it. It's free. I've learned this the hard way. You can't even give people free music. They don't want to hear it. People will, they want to pay for the song, or at the very least, stream what they want to select. Or select it for me. Because I could actually post links to free MP3s in the chat right now, and you guys would be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want those. Why would I want MP3s on my computer? All I have are MP3s. I'm a file guy. I need files. <laughs> what? It, it, get that away from me. It's like a book that's been in the bathroom, right? We can't take this back. It's been in the bathroom. What are you supposed to do? In, as, what's the alternative? You have to. The people will either pay for it, or it will be uh, suggested to them uh, on a streaming service, mm. or or perhaps a close trusted friend will tell you to click a link or maybe in my case the closest I get is YouTube I'll be like all right let me look on YouTube if the album's on YouTube that's it no one's no one's getting files anymore yeah that's fair y your brother recommends music to me a lot I'm gonna listen to it some I think he's recommended me one thing that I've been a fan of and the rest has been like eh, not for me he took a chance he took a chance but then I don't pursue that music any no. further well you don't listen to music when are you gonna listen to music you're a I can't you're a podcaster you do podcasts yeah I listen to podcasts in the morning and mm -hmm. then um, when I'm in I, the car I can't listen to music with Simon really oh uh, yeah so he just listens to Miss Sugar in the car with our son yes so he likes Miss Sugar for some reason <laughs> but I don't know if he I don't know if he likes metal or rock and roll because every time I come down here we have this little ghetto blaster and I got this whole spindle of my old CDs and he's like no rock and roll dad oh okay oh my yesterday 
It was something with Sky on it. Oh, a Sky stocking. Sky from Paw Patrol. It's mm -hmm. a dog. Right. And he's like, I want that stocking. I like Sky. I'm like, you like Sky? I thought you didn't like Sky. He's like, no, I just don't like the Sky song. And I was like, the Sky song? Oh, you mean what your dad plays for you in the basement? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, I don't like Sky. Why doesn't he like that song? <laughs> All right, for those wondering, Sky is a Canadian band. Uh, can you find it on your phone and post Sky? Yeah. I'm kind of my It's a good song. I didn't know he hated it that much. I, I like Sky the I like Sky the dog, not Sky the band. If I have to listen to Sky the band, I'm out. Sky the band is sick. Well, at least that. Well, okay. He's telling me no rock and roll. I want to put on death metal. I got my like finger on the death metal album. Like eh, eh. No rock and roll. No Sky. No anything. But he's off and on all the time. That's true. He really, you know what his favorite song is, and it's consistent, is, uh, what is it, Careless Whisper. Uh, and he likes Jump, too. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. We'll Not just go on full-on on parent chat right here. I had him in tears today because of this video I made him for his birthday where I just edited together a bunch of fun stuff we've done <laughs> over the last six months since we moved to Alberta. And there's a uh, Criss Cross. I put a Criss Cross song in there. Jump, jump, Mac, that I'll make it. Uh, and it, I edit that into a scene where he jumps over these blocks because he... he I don't elect to do this stuff. He's a he's a deranged lunatic. He's like, okay, yeah. Dad, here's what I want to do. Get the step ladder, put it over there. I want to jump over all these blocks onto a mattress. Like, guy, that's crazy. What are you trying to do? And he'll just keep pushing it until it's like, all right, fine. I guess you're going to have to hurt your fanny to figure out. Yeah, it always has to be extreme. And the, I'll do the same thing. I'll give up. Make, just, make me mad. I'll try to talk him out of it. And I'm like, well, fine. Go ahead and hurt yourself. See what happens. Yeah. Um, I think he did hurt himself eventually on one of those, and I think secretly that has something to do with why he doesn't like the song. But anyways, I got this uh, sick slow motion shot of him jumping over these blocks. It looks out of control, like X Games, like gold medal winner here. Oh yeah, he said he hurt his ankle when he did that jump. Yeah, he well, it wasn't that jump. It was he kept doing it. He did uh, it like ten times, and he, and I'm it. I'm like fine, I'll <laughs> film one. If you're gonna do ten of them in a row, let's film one. It's not like I'm there with the camera the whole time and he's trying to play it up for me. It's like I'm like fine, I'm sitting here for ten minutes watching you do this. I'm going to record this because I'm going to edit in your video eventually. Uh, but yeah, so he was crying about the song. That'll he said, play. that'll goddamn play. He said something about <laughs> the Mac Dad. I don't like that. It's the Mac Dad. It was Mac Dad. <laughs> he said, it's scary. Something about that song is scary. He, I had him in tears. And he was like, how do you edit videos, Dad? That's what he said. How do you edit videos, Dad? I'm like, why? What's going on? Because I want to get that video out of this song. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, I had to talk to him about video editing because we watched that video. Oh, that's probably two why he brought ago. it up. Yeah, okay. And he said, "How does Daddy get the music in there?" I was like, "Well, there's <laughs> video editing software, and you put the music in there." Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like that song. I'm gonna edit my own video. He said, "I'm gonna record my own videos, and I'm gonna put only the songs I like in them." <laughs> like I thought you did like that song because I played it for him before. That like, would I'm be great if he did mm -hmm. edit his own videos. Yeah. I feel like I, when I, I worked at like a child serving agency and so many of them were like, I'm going to be a YouTuber. Like, You've never edited a video in your life. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. And I had to edit that thing in like eight hours. It was the eight hours before his birthday. Like, oh, frick. Oh, yeah. Oh, frick, man. Get the song in there. Slow motion shut, frick. I feel that pain when I edited that video for you. Is when my parents were here already. Oh God, terrible man. mood. And then they just like kept being... When they would... At night times when you were giving him a bath, I'm like, perfect opportunity. Let's do this. <laughs> That's what and you're my doing. And parents would be like... We want to watch something. And then I'd try to choose something. And they would take forever. Eventually, I just left them a couple times. I'm like, I can't keep doing this. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> just leave them to it. Yeah, turn on anything that's black and white for your parents. And then, there you go. Watch that. Come on. We got to go. All right, speaking of got to go, we got to get through this damn music. We're an hour, 45 minutes. What the frick's wrong with us? All right, we're going fast. <laughs> fast as frick. <laughs> Canadiana, Cardinal Official. This is what rap sounds like in Canada. Cardinal Official. And we got Bacardi Slang is his big old song of this album. Apparently, it's just all the slang that was going on in Toronto at the time. Every time they show clubs, <laughs> B Cardinal Official would always be walking around some clubs with people dancing. And I'm like, no club in Canada looks like this. It just doesn't work. There's not a single club in Canada. I am betting Montreal is very much like that. Oh, you think? Yeah, right. definitely. You think who, he... Oh, Chocolaire. That's who I'm thinking of. Oh, Chocolaire yeah. Chocolaire was definitely a way better rapper than Cardinal. But for some reason, they, they kept dubbing Cardinal Official as like... He's going to be the next big thing. He's going to make it in the American market, and then he doesn't. Which I would have preferred him to make it over Drake making it in the American market as, like, the Canadian representation yeah. of rap. I started from the bottom, now you're here. Ah, what the frick? Raiders! Yuck, 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 Yuck. Yuck. 
subtle chord. Hello, I'm Fred Couples. We got the goddamn game right here, all right? Thanks for coming back in here, Yong Street. Week after week, I'm glad you're here. Bring those raidy rascals in here now. Yong Street, oh, goddamn. Last week we were saying, all right, half the people that come in from these raids think you're funny and half don't know what the frick's going on. All right, you know, I'm gonna give them a breakdown. All right, for all you raidy rascals scooting in here, I am here with my actual real life wife, all right? IRL, right here in the studio. And we're talking about things that happened in May 2001. Now, we're talking about the movies and music right now. We're almost done, Young Street. We're going to play some games. Uh, but uh, for the very start of the show, we talk about the movies and the music that came out. We just talked about freaking Cardinal Official, Canadian rap artist, all right? Now you guys know it's fricked up when we're talking about Canadian rap. Um, <laughs> then we're going to play some, uh, what the hell is funny? I just, you know things are going south when we're talking about Canadian rap. <laughs> yeah, there was Canadian rap? I don't know. All right, any self-respecting rap artist in Canada would have moved to the States. That's what I'm saying. All right. It's all right. true. So glad to see some Drake haters on the show. Oh, man, is there hate galore. <laughs> the thing, though, for us, Lurker Lou, is we were watching Degrassi when it came back. The, yeah, like the first the couple seasons. Degrassi, the new yeah. class. Drake got shot when he was on the show and had to be in a wheelchair for the rest of the show. Yeah. And then he comes out and starts being a rap artist that people in the States talk about. It just doesn't work. And in I addition... Can't... He started doing rap in the show, like, oh, he was no. trying to get into rap, and it oh, was yeah. terrible. That's right, yeah, it was really awful. Because you're like, oh my gosh, this poor actor has to, like, pretend he actually knows how to rap. And then all of a sudden, he comes out as like, I'm Drake, and I'm a rapper, I started from the bottom. Like, you lived in, like, a nice neighborhood in Toronto, get yeah. out of here, what is wrong with you? Did his video feature some shots of Shopper's Drug Mart, though? I think so. Alright, that's a little cred, I'll give him a little cred for that. You're gonna I show Shoppers no Drug Mart? B. No Arthur's friend. very own Shoppers Drug Mart? Who shaves a heart into their hairline? Like, the guy needs to get punted somewhere. Is oh, okay. all I'm saying. All right, I was being l light and <laughs> light and fluffy with my uh, criticism, and Miss Rad just went hard and heavy. I just really do not like Drake. <laughs> right, well, I don't think he's that bad. I never really had that big a problem with That's him, because but... you don't have to hear from people when Drake comes at the dentist, <laughs> when this hygienist is like, I love Drake. I wanted to go to his concert. Oh, no. yeah, like, you... oh, you like Drake? All right, get this stuff off my face. I'm going to another <laughs> dentist. And then she said, yeah, he's so hot. Is he? I don't know if we want to go that far. <laughs> um, Young Street, yeah. Okay, so for those of you wondering, B. Arthur would do commercials for Shoppers Drug Mart, which is like a Canadian CVS. Yep. You guys really are long ago. Uh, it's, yeah, type in B. Arthur Shoppers Drug Mart. You'll be living <laughs> in flavor country. You can thank me on your deathbed. All right, uh, yeah, Mrs. Rad is wearing Pikachu uh, headphones because they're the only other headphones we have in the house that are not earbuds. Uh, they're borrowed from Baby Boy Rad. I know it feels very out of character to even just see you with those on. Because, like, you know, that's what, like, a streamer girl would have. <laughs> yeah, but before we started, I was yeah. like, oh, no, yeah. I look like one she of those was streamer about that. girls is awful. Eh, no good. Uh, yeah, and they're so uncomfortable. Yeah, they don't fit very well. And one side, like... It's slanted outward, and we have no idea why that is. Pikachu, uh, like pop, uh, Pokemon and Paw Patrol stuff, awful quality. And yes. It's over, overpriced, awful quality. Oh, it's bad. Damn the maintenance man! You get the frick out of my chat! Oh God, no! Oh God! <laughs> Art subbed him up last week, Mrs. Rad. Oh. Now he's a goddamn, fr and and he's using the Danamotes. Oh, he's the only <laughs> one using the Danamotes. Oh, no! 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 All right, hey, Yong Street crew, if you're still here, that's the maintenance man of this club, all right? Why do you think the, the whole place is in disarray? I left it to him for six months. It looked great before. <laughs> and now, uh, look now, now it's literally on fire. Uh, that's maintenance man. He's literally doing the opposite of what his job is. Now I got the hiccups. <laughs> Dan shows up, I get the hiccups. All right, Lou's saying, yeah, I watched a bit of Degrassi next gen, but it was too young, or, but you were too young to be allowed to listen to his rap. Interesting to hear. All right, well, Hey, you just gotta go watch the original Degrassi, all right? OG Degrassi is legit as frick. Will this put you over the edge, Drake? Inventor of the term YOLO. <laughs> I don't know. All right, well, I don't, YOLO. I don't think I, I don't mind YOLO <laughs> in certain contexts. You know what I do mind is FOMO. Fear missing out. <laughs> Oh man, I can't do it, I got FOMO. <laughs> you do something silly, like jump off a bridge and go YOLO! <laughs> <laughs> I can get down with that. 
Did you jump off a bridge and say FOMO? <laughs> <laughs> the just second like person a jumps off and says FOMO. <laughs> YOLO! Man, it just made it look so fun. FOMO! Man, I got FOMO from that YOLO. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, Drake seems a bit like a, a douchebag listening to uh, Mrs. Rad. Alright, Shorty Straw. He... <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I had to give him at least one real punch so he knows. All right, thank you for that, Young Street. Just lets me punch Dan in the face. That's a, you know, a nice icebreaker there. All right. <laughs> Next one up. Oh, my God. Banger after banger. This is a super provocative album cover. I ain't hating the album cover. What happened but... to the other album cover we saw where she had her shirt up? Well, that was the one that I found on the internet. Okay, well, this one is less annoying than the other one that we oh, saw. Oh, we well, got a she... less annoying one. Yeah, I remember we looked at it last night and like, why is she like lifting her shirt up? It's not even oh, like, yeah, she's... it's not oh, even yeah, like, right. skin is showing because I just happened to like bend over or reach up and my skin is showing. It was like, she just lifted her shirt ever so slightly. This is hey, very everybody. unnatural. Look at my belly This button. one is, is at least like, okay, maybe she's like walking up the stairs and her leg came Yeah, but out. this outfit is ridiculous. It is you don't, you don't walk upstairs in that outfit. That is a ridiculous skirt to have. <laughs> you have to hover. Get down those stairs. Do not come up the stairs. Down. <laughs> Alright, this is not her debut album, but I think this is probably when she started getting, uh, like, on the radio and everything like that. Or, I don't know, maybe the last one she was on the radio, too. And Bale saying she's fine! I'm gonna say this album cover, she- I don't think she ever was not fine, but she was a- she was a bit of a weirdo. Alright, a bit of a weirdie. <laughs> and here is Irresistible. Now, uh, Vale and I had a little disagreement last night. Vale oh dear. appreciates the low rise jeans because it was a, a, you know, it's an era of our lives where <laughs> we're coming up, we're becoming men, and Vale's just there at the wrong place, the wrong time. So he's very, he has an affinity for the <laughs> low rise jeans, especially these ones where it's like, hey, belt loops, that the hell with those. <laughs> Cut those off, make them even lower. Literally, the, the zipper on her jeans was probably only this long. Yeah, they, I remember <laughs> going to the store during that era. And there were pants there that coined themselves with an exclamation point at the oh, end. Oh no. Like, one inch zipper. Oh god. Like you're supposed to be elated by this. And veiled, maybe this will change your mind, but those low rise jeans gave like a generation of girls terrible self esteem. Yeah. Because I remember your sister being like, all these jeans, I can't fit into them because I have such a muffin top. I guess I'm just too, too big for them. I'm like, no, you're a woman. You have hips. Like, that's what you're supposed to look yeah, like. Yeah, look at Jessica Simpson when she's got the low rise thing coming out. Okay, so your belly button is here, but the pants <laughs> keep coming down further. If you have a normal stomach, like if my stomach was in there, it would literally be hanging over the top of the thing. <laughs> that's not the way it should look. So, okay, if you want to go. I, it, goddamn, canceled. Frick. <laughs> Devin Angel says, I'm, you're canceled for this, buddy. <laughs> All right, and then we got Young Street saying it. <laughs> Low rise jeans. Size 42 Hagar slacks. Oh, man. <laughs> Young Street, my brother. All right, Young Street knows what's up. <laughs> Young Street, you get one of these, buddy. You're doing it right. <laughs> she's right. fine. Mark, man, she's fine. Yeah, that album cover knows what's up. They're trying to get the male demo on there. Like, fine, I'll, I'll buy it. Is she going to be naked inside? <laughs> <laughs> nope, you just have to listen to Irresistible. Ah, oh, how did this song go? Do you remember? He's irresistible. Da, 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 da. Uh. And the rest. It's, it's immediately forgettable. <laughs> All I could, I, I see certain things. But that there was a lot of more. breathing in it. And I have brought this up about music of that era where uh, I made a joke at work with uh, my cohorts. I said, Brittany, breathe into the mic more. Because they always made them breathe into the mic. Uh, yeah, Brittany, we're going to need you to lean closer to the microphone and just keep breathing. <laughs> <sighs> uh, not like that, Brittany. Do it. <laughs> do some more. Do it. Sexy. <laughs> All right. She's copying Britney Spears. Well, I think she's, uh, like, objectively more attractive than Britney Spears. I agree. I think <clears> her. <throat> but she also followed a very similar path. What? Just to dabble do you. What was that commercial for? Proactive. Proactive. That's like that is the that made the most impact on me of her entire career. Just to dabble do you. <laughs> when she like didn't even have bad skin. That was the whole oh, thing. Yeah. When Proactive came out, like Yeah. I remember seeing um a Proactive commercial with Adam Levine from Maroon 5. Oh. There's another person I really don't like. <laughs> oh, okay. I was for a second there, I'm like, I thought you were saying Adam to Mam or Adam to Champ. <gasps> oh, <clears> that would be say, great. Uh, all right, I'll buy Proactive Adam. All right, let's get this off the screen. We gotta go. More Canadiana. <laughs> Econoline Crush. Veiled, another fellow Canadian, informed me that Econoline Crush won the 
what is that award that contest in Canada where Bonecracker did it? Remember Shaukler oh, or no Shokar or whatever? Yeah. It's I like, can't remember what that was called. Like a big radio station here that has like a yearly competition with a bunch of new bands and the winner gets played on the radio nonstop forever. <laughs> and apparently Econoline Crush was one of those bands that won. Oh, uh, interesting. And I didn't know that. That's hot factoid. Canadiana, coming at you. Hey, Canada. CBC, Government of Canada, sponsor me, goddammit. I'm the last man standing, Econoline Crush <laughs> promotion, all right? Frick. Like one of them's watching right now going, yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, we will sponsor you, buddy. Hey. Seeds, that's right. Oh, yeah, Sea Fox Seeds, yeah. I remember Dingle Dude's band competed for that once. Apparently, they got close. All right, next one up. I own this album. Uh, it's weird. Candiria. 300% density. I bought this after you and I started dating. I don't so much like this album. It's like, all right, it, okay, second wave Dillinger Escape Plan we're talking here. And they're like, all right, all right, all right we got to do something different than Dillinger Escape Plan. All right, what if we add a bunch of rap or hip-hop influence, light, uh, and then add some, like, actual jazz? Can we mix that? Will that work? I don't think it does work, but they are bold. It's a very bold flavor, like <laughs> HP sauce. Bold choice there, everyone. I own it. I probably only listened to it, like, five times. All right, get off the screen. Now, a lot of you, oh, all right, we're down in the down in the picks here. Oh, and also, um, all right, we already did Dan's pick. It was Mushroom Head. All right, so a lot of you guys out there probably have this as your pick of the month, and I don't blame you. I'll say this probably is the pick of the month, popularity-wise, but this is not a popularity contest, all right? This is a dictatorship, all right? Like the <laughs> hilarious uh, image Yong Street made. Yong, I always look at that freaking image. And it makes me laugh. Uh, you'll, go, you'll have to go to the Discord to see what the hell I'm talking about, everyone. <laughs> I'll share it with you in case you rascals don't know. All right. I post it quite often because it looks funny. I've noticed myself <laughs> making that face more. No more TTS for you. Well, hey, we do have it now. I fixed it. But it's just not one bit. All right. Um, I'm sure most of you would say this is your pick of the month, but it's not mine. Tools Lateralis? Is that how it's pronounced? Raz frown looks like a ginger baby pooping. All right, well, I, I can't agree. <laughs> it's just like your opinion, man. All right, uh, what's De uh, Devin is saying? Desi about doing the good lords couple words with the Discord. Oh, thank you for that. Oh, we got crazy discords in the chat. All right, thank you guys. I appreciate that. All right, this sound seems like a great album. I just can't get into it, man. Tool songs are too long for me. And they, 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 they're good, but I don't know. Takes what me songs were on here? Schism, oh, schism is that and the one parabola that's uh the music videos are weird it says i know the pieces fit in the beginning ish part of the song someone yeah. help me out because i remember that song coming on me being like i really don't like tool <laughs> well here's the problem there was a lot of people that would uh listen to tool that would make you not want to like tool like you'd see a lot of guys that looked really dirty like really dirty with tool shirts on the dirtiest guys ever would have a tool shirt on that's what i remember I yeah. think Tool could be good without the vocals. Well, the vocals are pretty good, I thought, but I I feel like <laughs> I feel like the vocals technically they qualify. I'm a very picky vocal guy, but something about the uh, I don't know. There's something about the package of Tool that I don't know. It doesn't work for me. <laughs> I can't I can't say it's not quality. I'm not gonna dare say that. I can tell it's quality. It doesn't hit. It doesn't I hit harder, right? A lot of it was working at Dog's Ear and seeing all the shirts people would buy. Starlad saying. Yeah, I associate Tool with B.O. Yeah, something about B.O. Yeah. <laughs> something about B.O. <laughs> Frickin' Tool, but the Tool fans were hardcore as Frick. Hardcore as Frick. Tool has, like, religious followers here. Yeah, so, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna speak ill of Tool. Otherwise, I'm gonna get a goddamn <laughs> hit out on me. What in the hell? Shorty cheering is... Is CTS 100? Uh, is there something no. different between cheers well, and bits? Case, I am chat. A hive entity ready to rudely interrupt the top tier content just to be annoying. <laughs> goddamn. What in the frick? Let me... God damn it. All right, you guys have to tell me. Is there a difference between shears and bits? Because <laughs> the shears aren't fixed yet. The bits are cheer, uh, fixed. Shears and, shears and bits, bits are, are the same thing. thing. Well, then why the hell doesn't it have this? All right, hold on. I worked on it and everything. You guys tell me why this doesn't show up when people do bits. What up, boys? TM Base, get in here, buddy. Glad to see you. Shorty did that just so he could see this thing and it didn't even work for him. I right, appreciate that, Shorty. You're a man, goddammit. A goddamn <laughs> man. This is what it should look like. Hi. Me again with my bits this and bites. Eh? Eh? 
<laughs> you remember those commercials now? Hi. No. <laughs> right. Set to cheer. Just copy and paste it to bits. It was right. me. Damn, the man is <laughs> He's working at Streamlabs now. Was that Antonio Banderas? I don't I don't know if bits and bytes are Canadian only property. Do you guys have bits and bytes in the States? Do you guys have Mr. Christie in the States? <laughs> Dan! Fucking <laughs> freaking guy. <gasps> There's free virtual girls you can chat to. No! Oh, God damn it, someone tell me how the hell do I moderate my YouTube chat? It is literally <laughs> only bots over there right now. Free vert girls in chat. Ha 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 ha. Why talk to them when you can talk to us? It's getting hard and heavy over there. Oh, we have guns in the states. <laughs> what? Just that that's the answer to do you have bits and bites? No, we have guns. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, yeah, give him give him the business, Elp out. Eel Eel pout. Man, I'll be eel. This eel will pout all over you freaking bots. Appreciate that. That's our lone guy watching on, on YouTube going like, yeah, these bots are really freaking it up over here, Red. God damn it! I wish I could help you out. I'm gonna have to look. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look it up. Uh, YouTube is not very normal. It doesn't make sense. All right, uh, tool's great. Everyone's having a great time. They have great time signatures. Production's very unique. The unique stuff and unique instrumentation. Fine tool. I still don't like you better than my pick of the month. My pick of the month is one no one's heard of and no one cares about. Catatonia. The last fair deal gone down. I just like this all. <laughs> Why can't I just like this more than tool? How dare you, Rad? I don't even have a link for you. I don't even have a link. It's pick of the month, though. Stamp it. All right. It's like down tempo, progressive, mm, not very progressive, like prog, metal. All right. Just here to promote these nuts, Darren Patterson. Thank you for smacking those YouTube algorithms down. I'm like, all right, if they got chatters here, we won't be freaking around. All right, that's it. And that's the goddamn pop culture refresher, everyone. Yay! We that's, did it! That's probably the longest one of all time, but it was oh, worth no. it because we Sorry. had Miss No 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 come on. We had Mrs. Rad here to help us uh, with some context, some much needed context. Because I don't <laughs> know what the frick I'm doing. I don't even know the words to Smash Mouth, alright? <laughs> Everybody. Everybody. Come on. <laughs> alright. Got the Fred Swizzler. Yeah, it does it does it even work over here? I don't think it works. We don't have the emotes over there. Get out of here, bot says <laughs> Veiled. All right, YouTube is better in many things, uh, but it's got some issues as well. Yeah, it's got bots out of their mind. Like, can you imagine the horn dogs that are just watching a stream going like, "I will check out mega69.xxx.gov." You think they? You think people are that stupid? They got well. It's the same reason old old people get the, those emails saying like, "This mm. Nigerian prince needs you yes. to send your credit card number over there right now. Okay. It'll just help him out a bunch. He'll pay you right back." All right, sick. <laughs> and one guy's like, "All right, hey, haven't had a boner in a while." <laughs> I'm do. <laughs> Click. Oh, now I've got a virus. Frick. Speaking of no one's looking. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, Richard. Ooh, I'd go to that website. <laughs> Size 42 fans. Oh, now that's the one. You can click that <laughs> link. It's 100% safe. <laughs> or I just, I got to get Hagar Slacks to sponsor the show. <laughs> do they even exist anymore? <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They're whiffing it big time. All right. I'm the only guy in... Diet Pepsi caffeine free promotion and size 42 Hagar slack promotion. <laughs> no bigger, no smaller. <laughs> it's the stream of 30 year olds. Like Hagar slacks and Arr. soda that doesn't keep you and up. Stomach noises. <laughs> All right. YouTube's work for me. The YouTube that work for me are the 15, 20 minute episodes. Yeah, I tried to, I've tried to edit this, like one of my episodes down. It has to be a half an hour long. I can't get any smaller. The love of frick. For those wondering, yes, I do have a YouTube channel while we're talking about it. Guys, scoot on over there. I'm trying to pump up the YouTube channel because if I can get it high enough, then I can become monetized on YouTube. And then YouTube people could actually follow me on YouTube. And then we can all meet on the Discord. All right. But I need your guys' help for that. So let's all take a second to scoot on over to YouTube and just get out of your minds. All right. Follow up over there. Come on. Do it right now. <laughs> hey, I'm bringing the hot content. All right. I got Mrs. Rad in the studio. <laughs> Your real life wife. IRL. <laughs> All right. Subscribe or get banned. Yeah, I'll know. <laughs> I'll be banning everyone. And no one did it. It's really hard to get people to move platform. Like, hey, go over to that other platform. Click the link. Follow it. Mm -mm, not doing that. I would never do yeah, that. Yeah, I agree. I'm the same way. People are like, hey, go on over to Rumble. I'm like, I'm not going to sign up at Rumble. 
Yeah, or Odyssey. And Odyssey um, has its issues. Like I'm not going to sign up. A lot of times it doesn't work properly. But YouTube's one of the big ones. I yeah. know you have a YouTube account. Do you have a Gmail account? I know you have a Gmail account. Still rocking that Hotmail? Still rocking that Yahoo account? <laughs> oh, man. All right, your parents used the email that you, they got from the internet provider. <laughs> yes. Why are you using that one? I don't know. Uh, it's feature light. Very light. <laughs> All right. Still rocking a Hotmail account, Desi. All right, you're one of the you're one of the good ones. Oh jeez, I'm surprised you didn't bail out when they came up with like the whole chat option and everything, and then what people, are we gonna do? people would see you were online when you were just trying to check your email. Like, oh yeah. No, that made me delete it immediately. Like, oh yeah. Nope. Hey, are you online right now? Can you respond to me immediately? No, 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 no. Don't do that. And doesn't Facebook still do that? Facebook, I don't know. Yeah, they're they're using some black that arts. You're online. No. They're using some dark arts over in <laughs> Facebook. If you get suspended, your advertising account suspended from Facebook, which I did somehow because I I didn't respond to an email they had or something. Um, in order to get it back, you literally have to scan your driver's license or your uh, mm -hmm. passport and mm -hmm. send that picture to them over the internet. I'm not doing that. That sounds insane. Yeah, they made me try to do that when I changed my last name. And they and said, you had like, to do that? Yeah, they wanted me to, and I said, no, there's no way I'm doing that. So I just changed it to my middle name. Yeah, well, then frick you guys. <laughs> I turn that off, says Vale. What? You turn what off? I'm so glad I've never had a Facebook. Shorty, it's not bad. It was once very good, and now it's just a great place to tell other people when your dodgeball events are. Oh, God, <laughs> no, they're back. 69mega.com is going to town on my YouTube chat. All right, if you guys are watching on YouTube, I apologize. <laughs> God damn it. Like, why would I watch this? Spots are out of their mind. I am 100% certain that you would not be 84% successful finding your love with 69mega.com. Oh, yeah. hey, or you're watching the show. Haven't had a boner in a while. 84% <laughs> chance of getting a boner. I like those odds. Let's rock. <laughs> all right, we're overdue for a migration back to MySpace. Yeah, MySpace was before all the algorithms. Yeah. You had to, you had to earn it on MySpace. All right, everyone. That's a pop culture refresher. Had a great time. Thank you, Mrs. Rad, for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Sorry, my voice is so husky and gross and just <laughs> it's awful. Only, yeah, you haven't laughed a nice hearty laugh in a while. That's no. when you realize, like, still sick. God it's damn it. So annoying. Uh, being shown as available. We're overdue for a migration. Uh, all right, I don't know what that means, Vale. I don't know what the hell you just said. Maybe he's talking about size 42 Hagar at Juno.com Juno right. is or available. Maybe he's checking 69mega.com. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe, man. I don't just want a regular 69. I want a mega 69. <laughs> that's a standing 69 in the airplane in the mile say, high that's where you stand up. And that's where the girl holds you up. <laughs> that's tough. Tough to pull off. <laughs> if it wasn't for 69mega.com, Rad would be a father. Rad wouldn't be a father. And there's Grungy Nick. <laughs> I, yeah, I haven't had a boner in a while, so <laughs> I was one of those lonely... Uh, man, that's a promotion for 69 Meg. Do not click that link. Save Wait, I don't know what's more of a diss. He is a father because he met me on that site, or he's a father because he got up the stamina <laughs> to create Simon that's right. I tempered after myself, viewing yeah. that and then coming to me to relieve the situation. Well, I listened to that Missy Elliott song, got all shamed for my <laughs> one minute... Uh, maximum performance, <laughs> natural male enhancement, so I had to do what I had to do. Right here, his fanny has to be this, this big! He's stuffing his pants full of paper. All right. <laughs> this big! All right, you guys, I'm going to see Mrs. Rad out the door, and then we're going to start playing some vids. Yay! Some vid games. And you can go to bed. It's a little late for you. Yeah. Uh, so sleep in. Uh, I guess you can't. Well, sleep in tomorrow. What are they going to do? Fire you? <laughs> I don't think so. No, because then I have to make up the hours. Well, still, sleep. Get some sleep. All right, everyone, say goodnight to Mrs. Rad. Final thoughts? Do you have anything else to say? <laughs> I got nothing. Nothing. All right. We're going to go to the space station. I'm just going to let you guys see the lovely scene of our space station from outside. Uh, and I'm going to let you just listen to a couple tunes. Give me a couple minutes. All right. Take this lovely lady back to her bedroom. All right. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for being on the show. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you guys for having me. All right. Where is the damn shot of the space station from outside? There it is. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right.
Alright, you bunch of crazies. That was fun. Freaking Dan. Alright. Hold on. Let's, uh, alright, we're gonna turn on the Tachyon technology. We'll get the set, uh, fixed up, because you guys know, uh, I can't live with it being all fricked up like that. Oh my god! Welcome back, everyone. Frickin' Dan. This guy can get fricked. A thousand times over, he can get fricked. Alright, um, what are you guys saying here in the chat? I missed some stuff here. We're overdue for a migration back. Take a Facebook message. Status. Bazing! Later, Mr. Rad Girl. You know you're the only one for us. <laughs> That's good. Uh, thanks for that, guys. Always nice to have her on the show. It's always hard to uh, pull it off, too. That one seemed like the smoothest one so far. Alright, I don't even have my PDF open. What the hell is wrong with me? We have one PC game to play tonight, everyone. Tonight might even be like the episode where I play the most <sighs> different things in one episode. We got a banger tonight. Oh my god, I was up so late last night doing all the prep for the show. Missed a whole dodgeball uh, event today. Although I did a dodgeball event yesterday. I wore my Fred Couple shirt to dodgeball. You know the one that Dingle Dude got me that said that'll play and it's got Fred Couples on the front. And everyone's like, you big into golf? No. Big into Fred Couples. All right. Because he's rad as Frick. All right. Poor Rad Jr. Where's my headphones, man? Hey, he's never even really put them on. They honestly do not fit a human head properly. They go out like this. It's like the, away from your ears. It's more frustrating than anything. All right. That is not where I need to be. Get the PDF going. I'm all flustered. Now I got to get back in the zone. In the main seat here. Crazy. I just saw a remastered video of Vancouver in 1907. Remastered video. That looks awesome. Or that sounds awesome. It was all colorized. Alrighty, here we gotta go to the L drive where all the PDFs live. Magazines, Game Pro 2001, May issue. Alright, now you guys guess what? This is a special episode for a couple reasons. Boom, 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 boom. The PDF over here. Boom. You guys wanna know what's special about this episode? The Xbox. God damn it. Xbox is coming out this episode. We're playing Xbox games. Oh my god. And I happen to have modded my original Xbox from 2005 for this very purpose. I knew I kept it for a reason. It was in the box. Mint. Pristine. <laughs> Boom! And we're going to play 
Uh, almost every one of these games. I don't even care. We'll go hard and heavy on the Xbox tonight. But we also have hard and heavy PS2 games to play. I modded my original PS2 as well. But we also have a PC game to play. And we have... A mm, God, you're doing it right! Frick, man. What the hell? God. I'm getting texted. I need to make sure... Mr. Rad, you're being way too freaking loud. I almost laughed out loud when she called me Mr. Rad. <laughs> uh, Mr. Rad's my father. It is seriously windy out right now. Just letting you know in case the power goes out. Oh, what a lovely lady. I'm going to say... Thanks, girl. And it turned out to that JS girl. Rad's drunk. Thanks, girl. Alright. So, guys, if I just blink out of existence, it's because it's windy as frick in this space station. Alright, do you have the Duke controller? Oh, how dare you even ask. How dare you even ask. We're going to be playing on the original Duke controller. I ain't fricking around. And Mr. Rad, she flying as frick. Alright. Look at the size of this thing, as compared to a human head. It's big as frick. This controller is big as frick, and I don't care who knows. Daytona graphics and Mark! I don't know what that means. Uh, this is a weird issue of GamePro though. Someone must have scanned it with like, incredible fidelity or something, because it's got like, all this printer... That eh, just doesn't look right. It doesn't play well on the camera, that's fine. Well, let's dive in. Well, I know I just talked a big goddamn game about how much Xbox we're going to play, but you know what? I think we got to start with Fantasy Star Online for the Dreamcast because the music in this game is out of control. It's completely out of control, and I love it. Sega had no idea what they were doing. They spent all their money on insane music. They're like, whatever, come on, let's get out of our minds. Battle play. I don't goddamn play. I just want you guys to hear the goddamn music in this game and maybe watch me smash a couple fools. All right. With the Fantasy Star Online Instant Translator, you can choose from hundreds of words and phrases to communicate with online gamers. Now, I will not be playing it online. Like, help me! I don't want to die! That's one of the things you can say, apparently. It's, that, that game sounds hardcore, Frick. And I still I still play Fantasy Star Online to this day, says Insomniac. Well, then you know damn well the music is completely out of control. Even the title screen's like, oh my god, this is happening. Let's get in there. Let's get out of our minds. Let's have a good show and break. All right, I, have, I don't have anything open, so one second, everyone. I open up my Dreamcast. It's below the desk. <laughs> Hold on. Let me just plug this in proper. Yeah, now that I'm the only one here, I get to have extra loud headphones. Boom. All right, Fantasy Tar. I had to go find a serial Insomniac, a serial code online just to get this thing to work. I don't even know why, why is this still, where are the servers for this? Alright, banger after banger, I think there's only a private servers online now, oh okay. I just know the old Fantasy Star games, and they're good too. They're like Sega staples. Staples Center. Alright, let's uh, get the tunes going here. If you guys can't hear, what the frick is the point? Should be up any minute. Oh my god. Just listen to this! Oh my god. Wait, no, we need that. That's what we need. These key changes are out of control. Get those craygasms in the chat! What the frick? Let me move this over here. Alright, gameplay time. I need to change this transition, goddammit, I always forget. Alright. Game. It's still going! Oh, that's why there's a version 2. Failed saying because the version one had exploits, man. It ruined my online experience. Okay, that was out of control. I need to turn it down though. This is for some reason a very loud game. Alright, restream come down a bit. May, May 
Uh, they all have major exploits, apparently. Well, I guess if, you, if the game's been around for that long, you're gonna find some goddamn exploits. Man, Sega just... Sega couldn't help themselves. They're like, hey, we have big, we dare to dream big, buddy. Seven years later. Got myself a fresh water while I was up there. And they're dreaming big. Bunch of dreamers. Look at how big they went with this freaking MMO. I want to change it, but I can't. Pioneer 2 completed a long voyage with the main wave of refugees on board. That string section. Right here, his fanny has to be this big. Stuff this big. Stuff his hands towel. This big. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Someone cast Someone Ultima. Cast Ultima. Cast Ultima. 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 Alright, it looks like the story is big as frick. Let's just get in there and enjoy ourselves. Now I made Dumper. Dumper Bot. Continue with Dumper Bot, please. NC Star Online is a unique game. <laughs> Again, I'm only hearing him in my right ear. Freaking Dan. That's better. All right, can't wait for Mrs. Rad to come down and ask what she's hearing dolphins do. Yeah, <laughs> what the hell did Dan do this time? He summoned a bunch of dolphins to fight me. All right, just enjoy the tunes, everyone, and enjoy Dumperbot. Thought he looked hardcore. All oh, just black on black, black with red. He looks like the Black Knight in the future. If I hear a beached whale, we must help this beached whale. All right, and, uh, continue to network now? No. I, I want, oh, yeah. Online mode, please? No! All right, that's a screensaver waiting to happen. What it looks like in my shuttle when I'm just zipping off to the goddamn club. A CD audio kind of stream. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Fantasy Star Online? Yeah, you bet your goddamn rear end. You know why, Mark? Because the music in this game won me over a thousand times over. Like, I can't help it. Sounds good as frick. Are you Dumperbot? The hunter? I'm Principal Tyrell. Pfft. Obviously Tyrell. Blade Runner reference. Uh, we have a bad situation. Uh, we need to act quickly. Uh, did you hear about the explosion at Raggle? Uh, very well. Pay attention and listen to me, buddy. Uh, we've lost contact with Pioneer One. Uh, that You mean that Ultima someone cast down there? Uh, they shouldn't have done that. We have no idea what has happened. We assume someone cast Ultima, level 99. Uh, we've sent unmanned search units, but communication seems to be cut off near the surface. And what happened on Ragal? Like, uh, what occurred on the Pioneer One? Are the people on board even alive? The council made a decision to send a manned search team. And a robot for some reason. You're a skilled hunter. We need your help, buddy. We have no choice. We need to... Uh, whatever he said. Uh, this is when RPGs all start to sound really the samey to me. Fair, because they can all use a uh, full orchestra, but what the hell's going on here? Uh, could, they make you press the button there. Uh, could you, uh, uh, you know, no, it's nothing. Uh, take care and good luck. Something funny's going on here. Dumperbot knows something funny's going on here. Dumperbot activate. It's actually just a delay. Just change the delay time real small, you get robo voice. You need an actual dumper bot uh, for the chat. 
Like, what do you mean, like an emote? Oh, you mean like an actual bot bot? Hey, girl, you looking fine. You know where all the... Hey, have you met any of the techers? That's a derogatory term, lady. Because this is like the... They went back to the 50s, where that sort of stuff just happened all the time. Or Commander Shepard. Like Restream Bot, but Dumper. Dumper Bot's here. I discovered the true... I don't need a hot backstory. Just get me down there. I'm going to start smashing fool's face with an iron. Can I look around this gorgeous cityscape? Alright, we gotta go get a mission here. This music is out of control. I like that outfit. Oh my god. Enrich your life. This is the Hunter's Guild. You're welcome. Are you gonna assist you on finding a job, buddy? Uh, whatever you got there. First one, please. Good luck, buddy. Thank you. I can be your bot, says Tan, the maintenance man. I swear I'll do a great job. Yeah, like you did with my club, you frickster. Ah, come on, it wasn't my fault. Nope. There's no humanizing Dan. He's basically, I was thinking about it. Dan is basically like a Lovecraftian Cthulhu level character existing through all time. Because he was in there in Japan. Dan, no, God damn it! Can't get away from him. He's just spacefaring. Can't get away from all time existing. Uh, that's the girl Ruby Rod hooked up with in the fifth element. Oh, yes. Point. Ruby Rod. I want to go down to Regal and retrieve my last items, all right? It's really important. I'm not going to do it myself. Too busy combing my mustache. My f space mustache. A business opportunity the likes I've uh, never seen before. You, too, could be wearing puffy AC Slater pants like I have. That's all I needed to hear, buddy. I don't need to hear anything else. I'm already on board. I'm ready to roll. I'm DTF. Anyone get that reference? DTF? Alright, we're going down to the surface. Took me a while to find out how to even start the game. I'm down to frick. <laughs> Another screensaver, guys! Oh, man. Best in the biz, screensavers. Alright, action time. Box smashing time. I don't know how to use any of my goddamn pistols I keep picking up here. Alright, I'm just gonna have to get the soundtrack for this game. The soundtrack is better than the game. I don't know how they did that. This is really good music. The key changes here. I just gotta steal these key changes. Give me two chords from this soundtrack. I could write you a whole song. These are great chords. Sounds like something Donald Trump would have said. I have the best chords. No one has better chords than me. What the hell are these? Alright, the graphics are a little glitchy, but that's because I'm emulating it. Freaking cancel. God damn it. Oh. Alright, true story. There's an unofficial fifth element racing game on the PS2 released only in Europe. Oh, the Europeans had it all, didn't they? Alright, there we go. Probably something would say. I have the best chords. I think at one, one point I heard him say, I have the best words. You ever notice that? Oh, God, no. Every U.S. president has, like, a very... Uh, what is it? Ah! He's dodge that thing? Oh, what am I missing for? They're all very unique sounding. They don't just sound like a random guy just talking. What? Oh, God, I can't pause the game. Frick, I'm fricked, everybody. No, I don't need to chat. Okay, I do need to send that auto text to my teammates. Help me, I'm gonna die. All right, here we go. How do I do big attack? All right, a two at once? What the frick is this? Like, I can't think of a U.S. president that wasn't something Saturday Night Live could easily quote or reference. I can't do it. That's part of the gig. You gotta be completely standalone character. Oh, uh, we torture some folks. Uh, Barack Obama. Bob. Mm hmm. Uh, we need Trump voicing as Fanny was this big. I can't even do a good Trump voice. I should be able to. I have the best cards. 
Ah, uh, jeez. Can't say the Illuminati doesn't know how to pick them. Yeah, there you go. Can you imagine if you're, uh, become president of the United States and they tell you, like, all right, so here's all that information from the, um, I don't know, space exploration you finally get to know about. Here's all that weird stuff, all those UFO stuff is what it actually was. What? Don't tell anyone, though, buddy. We'll be watching you. All right. I have the best cards. Aliens are real. Frick. Oh, no, they're coming after me. Why aren't you dodging? Shorty Straw, what button is dodge mode? How am I supposed to dodge when these sick jams are out here? You tell me that, Shorty Straw. I'm in the fight for my life here, and you're in... Dodge critiquing me. I have the best dodges. Oh, big whiffer. All right, get the frick. Nay! All right, I'm, uh, he's about to bite my fanny off. Are you happy, Shorty Straw? I got bigger problems here. What the frick? Oh, God, he smoked me big time. There you go. EXP plus five. Ha 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 ha. All right, now I really uh, poke the hornet's nest here. All right, it's do or die. Big whiffer, frick me. Oh yeah, just turn around and attack nothing. That's a uh, great strategy, always works. Is there a Z targeting in this I should be uh, aware of? Ow! Get him a body bag. All right. I've got the biggest and best fanny. No one has a bigger or better fanny than me. <laughs> Oh, man. He does have a big fanny. What the frick? Why are there so many enemies out here? Why do I keep whiffing? Ah! Oh, for the love of God. All right, we got one. Smashes it. Smash his goddamn face, buddy. It's up. It's do or die, buddy. You're out of healing item. All right, here we go. Did Rad just use a block? No, I think this is one of those games where you just auto block, right? I would never dare press a block button, all right? The only way you're gonna get me to block if it's an auto blocking. Lens flare. All right. And he's not penis punching, I know, yeah. I'm more penis slashing. That's a different ballpark. Yeah, what do you think those two things are on their head? Two penises, slashed them both. I get four XP for killing this thing, which seems like a lot. All right, buddy, you're going down. Level up, you bunch of rascals. Okay, this game is non-stop mile a minute action. I just want to live in this lovely song, and they keep bringing out the action vibe. God damn it! I love a pizza, Yaden. I know. Get Pete in here and just love him to pieces. Live, damn it. Okay, here we go. It's it's Frick Fest, 2001. All right, I'm getting fricked out of my mind here. All right, all right, all right. Am I actually blocking? I don't know. If <laughs> All right, he was just trying to walk away, pacifist run, and I slashed him right in his fanny. Dead, you're not you're not going home tonight. Not to your children, buddy. It's surprisingly action focused for an MMO. A lot of doors though. All right, buddy, walk through another door. All right, do I have to kill every enemy? All right, get the hell out of here. I might have to kill every enemy. By the way, Rad, if you press the buttons, uh, in a rhythm, you get three hits. All right, we gotta do three hits. All right, I'm block too busy blocking everything because I'm number one blocker in the world. All right, that is hot, hot tips. You can tell Insomniac has played this game. That is way better. And right, now I'm hot and heavy. That's, I'm getting a much better showing for the game. Don't get zapped, buddy. No. Oh. Look how bold I am to just walk through that thing. That's like a tray running through the two. Uh, goddamn statues. All right, what more can be said? It was the best of memes. It was the worst of memes. Uh, not penis punch of man. I miss the times when Trump was president. We had so much to laugh at. Yeah. Oh, he's content generating. Uh, well, Biden. It, the the content that Biden generates is so uh, depressing. Like, oh, he fell off his bike again, and then people run with that. Like, ah. Oh. I mean, anyone could get their shoe caught in a bike, but let's run with that. And and then it's like. We gotta do. We gotta go just as hard on Biden as everyone was going on Trump. So, oh, Trump can't walk up the stairs because he's gonna slip. All right, now Biden can't walk up the stairs because he's gonna slip. They're both the oldest presidents in U.S. history. You know that? Even Trump is the oldest if he was to be elected. 
That's outrageous. I need to get some young blood in here. Not too young, though. A little salt and pepper. All right, get me in there. A little salt and pepper. Aliens are real! They're coming for you! Ah! All right, I'm going backwards. Imagine me trying to run for president or prime minister of Canada, and they're like, all right, what's he been up to online here? What's this up late with Rad show he's been doing? I don't know what to make of that. Get a 12-year-old. Why not go hard, hard swing the other way? Wow, this music is out of control. Guys, I want to turn it off, but I can't. The music is so freaking good. All right, last segment. We'll go in this area and see if there's just anything sick as frick over here. All right, another door. All right, this is the last segment. A Betty? You guys remember when Polly Shore was talking about breasts and he called them Betty Nugs? Polly Shore knows what's up. Oh, he can't be president now. He said Betty Nugs. It's a robot, though, so it's fine. Uh, well, one's still missing. I was surprised. What is she talking about? Excuse me, but have you seen Mag around here? I haven't. All right, thanks anyway. I wonder where it is. A Mag left me when I wasn't paying attention. All right. So Miyamoto says, talk to her twice, buddy. All right, it's confirmed. Not a Miyamoto game. You came here to retrieve Mags? I didn't take it from the Ranger. What the hell is she talking about? Also very happy. I just wanted to say hello. I don't know if it's a weird translation of this game, but it's supposed to be quirky, right? Uh, Insomniac, this game has some quirk to it. Asafatamehefabua. Yaden's been in the sauce again, everybody. What the hell does that mean? This guy's a commie dictator. Has his own space station full of uh, general's attire. I know, I want to use that uh, Yong Street. I would love to use that as like an emote on the show, but... Um, I don't know what dictator you took that picture from, so all I know is to be like, all right, yeah, he's canceled. For for real, he's canceled. I think Yaden sneezed on his keyboard. All right. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have even have talked to her. Oh, damn, I shouldn't have killed her either. Eleanor. Oh, she's coming with me now. <laughs> all I had to do is tell her. All right, well, now we got to see what Eleanor can do. Uh, I mean, what Betty Nugs can do. Literally from the movie, The Dictator. Oh, if it's from a movie. I just like how he's doing this. It's funny. I'll send you the image. Uh, did you see the Biden video uh, summing America up in one word? That's the word. Oh, okay. He's like, I, and this will be fine. This will work for everyone. When's can Oh, you already got Trudeau. Trudeau, not, not very popular here from most of the people I actually talk to. Someone must be voting for him. Trudeau's... Winning someone over. He's he's kind of a character too. True, don't am I right? <laughs> uh, when I was at American Thanksgiving at my neighbor's house, yeah, they did not much care for Trudeau, and that felt nice. It was like ah, I w I usually I just don't talk about politics. I will make fun of politicians' voices. That's about as far as I'll go. All right, come on, Meg. You gotta start pulling your weight around here. All right, don't you kill him before I can do a three-hit combo. Ah, frick here. Southern Ontario votes liberal. Oh, they're just way in on it. I was surprised. I was surprised. True, like it even doesn't seem like a political party thing. Wow, she's doing 50 damage. All right, I might as well just let Meg do everything here. Or Eleanor. Let's kill this cute, adorable character. This is actually a surprisingly good game, and I've played very little of it so far. The only time that it's appropriate to talk politics is when you're making fun of politics. Yeah. Making fun of the voices. Ah, yeah. Feels good. Uh, well, one other funny anecdote about Trudeau I will mention is, as some of you may know, he's famously been recorded in blackface several times, and several images that are just, like, they are very iconic. And I saw this one... I can only, uh, a brown guy was driving a car, and he had a whole, like, he doesn't like Trudeau, so I'll set that up right now. The whole back of his window was, a like, a sticker he'd had printed that said, Canada's first black prime minister, and it was just the picture of him 
with the turban on making the face. Oh my god, I laughed my balls off at that. I laughed my goddamn balls off at that. Take him down a peg. <laughs> I don't know how he got away from that. Anyone else would have had those pictures out there, they'd have been buried. Get him a body bag. Trudeau just scoots right by it, says, I'm really sorry I did that. All right, buddy. And then he gets elected again. The whole damn body had two yet. <laughs> he had holes in his jeans and he even did the little patch where his knee goes. Gotta make sure I'm really doing this, 100%. All right. All right, Trudeau. And that's not even politics. Politics aside, that's just, that is a gaff that would have got anyone else excommunicated from anything. He got away from it. How the hell did he do that? He liked the BP in South Park. Sorry. Uh, lol, does it count if Drake does it? Yeah, if Drake did it, he could get away with it too. Alright, that is sick as frick. That game, the music in that game was so goddamn good, I played it for about 15 minutes more than I actually planned. Oh, God. I, just, I actually just want to listen to the soundtrack now. Alright. Alright, game free, uh, freeze. Alright. Next one up. I do have this, and I did create Dumper and Michael Keaton, and they're on the Grizzlies right now. It's pretty bad, says Lurker You, But yeah, it's just, it's just funny that, I mean, even, okay, so even a brown guy is making fun of it. Like, how, if they're making fun of you, how do you even get away from that? He's, he's going after you for it. And in a funny way, laugh my balls off this guy's car. Not that I care, but that's, what the hell. That's also, uh, Trudeau's thing is like he really does, he likes to separate people by their ethnicity. It's very strange, I find. All right, we need two of you, two of you, two of you. Now we're good. That kind of sounds like uh, Harrison Bergeron to me. Come on. These things were cheap as frick. I had no idea all these people that had the clear N64s were buying the super cheap ones at Walmart. I didn't realize that we were this close to the end of the N64. It's like the last N64 game that came out was like Conker's Bad Fur Day. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh no, you got a, a Donald Trump AI voice thing? Well, all you need to do is... I have the best cards. My cards are the best cards. I wonder what his band would sound like. The best cards. Oh, what the frick is this? I never even heard of this game before. Kirby Tilt and Tumble? Just tell me if I'm missing out on something here on Tilt and Tumble. All right, you should uh, play that one for a while. It's a good game. Yeah, I've actually, I would have kept playing it, actually. Music gets even better as you get to new, new levels. I just want to play it to hear new levels, man. All right, I'll link that. All right. If you get this Trump voice up, uh, I will have to Photoshop. <laughs> just make sure there's a big fanny, all right? All right. All right. <laughs> Uh, how does Canada elect, says Devin, uh, based on popular vote? Um, I believe it's regular election, but they count them from East Coast to West Coast, and they have a thing called First Past the Post, if I'm not mistaken. And the first one to get, like, a certain amount of seats is like, well, you're in, which is what, I don't understand why we allow that. If, do, am I getting it wrong? Is that what not First Past the Post is? So basically on East Coast, they're like, ah, to hell with it, we don't care about your vote. That's what it would always sound like to me. Do you have a mod to make it playable on MU? You mean uh, Fantasy Star? No, I just needed to use uh, offline mode. Atomic Purple was popular N64 console. Oh, Kirby. Do you have a mod to make it playable on Emmy? Oh, is it one of those games that I can't play? What does this symbol mean? Is this symbol says you need to have your microphone for it? Oh, it was an actual tilt thing? All right, I'm going to pass out. <laughs> Devin, don't pass out. Climb into bed. Have a good sleep, buddy. Thanks for watching. Sorry we didn't get to many games. Uh, that was a long episode, but Mr. Rad was here with a special guy. All right, I guess, I, Devin, I don't have a way to play it, so I guess I can't play it. Let me, there we go, that looks right. Yeah. I need a gyroscope patch. All right, I don't have that. All right, I'll it. I'm sick and I gotta sleep an extra bunch. All right, sleep your balls off, buddy. Well, keep the balls on, but sleep. There's patch ROMs, games with the tilt feature. I, I didn't I didn't actually test that one, but you know what I did test? Uh, This Simpsons game. What the hell, why does it just, 
non-stop rascal. Oh, it's because it's scan strange. There's like a white border around the scan. Okay, that's fine. Night Dogan, have a good sleep, buddy. I got it before Thanksgiving, when apparently the same thing after Thanksgiving. Oh no, Simpsons Wrestling. I don't know what this emote is you have, Young Street. It's Frank and Steve B. I don't know what that means. You know what? He doesn't know a good game if it could slap him in the face, because this game is super bizarre, and it's one of the only PlayStation games on the episode. Save it for the Game of the Year show. Is it that good, hey? Oh, peace and love, says uh, Lurkaloo to Dogan. That's nice of you, Lurkaloo. Lurkaloo walks the walk and talks the talk. Peace and love, bro. And he's doing this one, not this one. <laughs> oh, uh, Yong Street. I forgot. Next time I do that laugh, I'm going to do this. Because <laughs> that's what they all did, right? <laughs> you remember that thing? <laughs> that was tight, man. That happened, and we all let it happen. All right, uh, Simpsons Wrestling. Let's do it. Oh, God, I already got... You know what I got loaded up right now? My son plays Tony Hawk. Can I play the skateboard game, Dad? I want to be Tony Hawk. Yes, son. And I'm proud of you, son. This is actual... For the love of frick, if I don't change this transition right now... All right. Rotating hand. PlayStation 1. That's the, where the hell's the PlayStation... All right, I, all right, I was going to show you guys his save, but I guess I have to open the other emulator. Fine. I mean, the real PlayStation I have under the desk. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Simpsons Wrestling. I didn't even... I never even heard of this game before. And I don't think it's one of those games where it's like, all right, they're just going for... Uh, it looks like this other game, you know, it's the Simpsons version of this. It looks like its own thing, like a completely bizarre thing. Alright, Simpsons Wrestling. Game on. Turn that down. There it is. I was worried it wasn't gonna show up. You force him to play on the CRT like a good abusive father. <laughs> Come on, son. You gotta practice your baseball swing like this, not like that. He does tend to swing the bat straight down. I'm like, son, you gotta go upwards. It's the only way to get a home run. No, Dad, like this. All right. Um, not with these games, no. Uh, I've been just playing them on the computer because he literally doesn't care. It could be awful looking. He'd be like, sick. Apparently, when I was a kid, my parents would take me to Chuck E. Cheese when I was really little, and uh, they would just make me play the attract mode. They wouldn't even give me quarters because I was too young to make any sense of it. Oh, man, I'm going to get copyrighted for that for sure. Just even having that string section in the beginning. I'm gonna get busted so fast in this. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, everyone. No! No! All right, I'm gonna change it to PS1. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, let's get in here before I am banned forever. Now, the music in this game is super strange, too. It's like literal rock and rolls playing throughout this whole game. In fact, what are my messages here? Must play, purely ridiculous fighting game. And then what does it say? And the music, dot, dot, dot. God damn, is Primus playing this? Yes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I've unlocked all the characters, too, because I want you guys to have the best experience with this game. Eh? Wait, who's question mark? That's Mo. Where the frick's Mo? That's the guy I wanted to be the most. All right, well, hold on. We need the codes, then. Apparently, I entered all the codes except for Mo. The voices in this game are great. They actually got the voice actors. All right, that was a bongo mania drum fill. And by the way, everyone, going back to our political chat, I think people can change. I don't think you should hold stuff over people's head. It only just seemed weird to me because the way things are right now, no one ever lets anything go. I'm just surprised it got let go. It's like a double standard, man. Right, well, he's allowed to do it. Well, we'll forgive him, but we won't forgive anyone else. Only him. All right, guys, we need some Mo. We need it right now. I don't get Mo up in here, then I'm going to lose my mind. Uh, I'm gonna have to enter all the codes apparently. God damn. Fast forward mode. I have a special console that lets me fast forward. Alright, here we go. And I'm gonna get busted for this! Frick! Alright, circle left, up, left, down, R1. 
Circle left, up, left, down, L2. Circle left, up, down, L. No, circle left, up, left, down, R2. And then Mo is circle left, up, left, down, L1. Hell yeah. All right, here we go. Party time. Wait, did I turn Mo Sizzak off? Is that what's going on here? I think that's what it said. All right, there we go. Mo is subtly one of the most consistent characters that the show has had. You wouldn't know just by looking at him. Very consistent character. Prove me wrong, kids. All right, there we go. Sorry, I haven't had the chat open for a while. I was trying to fix all this. All right, night peeps, getting on Mo here. Mo Sizzak right. versus Ned. Make way for Willie. Yeah, Devin, yeah, he's... uh. I'm gonna nail your tongue to my boat and use your head for an anchor. God, that's dark. You're going home in a box, Mo, <laughs> and Ned X will make the delivery. Oh man, big shout out for FedEx. The heavenly powers compelled in the alien. No, don't do that. Damn, I can't believe I'm letting him get his square move on me. That's his. Oh, golly. He's beating the bejesus out of me. Not the regular Jesus, the bud Jesus. All right, I need my sick uh, maximum move on him. Oh, golly. Yeah. Hi -ho. All right, I gotta wait a second. Oh, he's gonna zap me again. Heavenly power you gotta beat him before he does that. What is this? What the frick? All right, most secret move is. Oh, golly. Oh, golly. Unanswered. This is actually a pretty hardcore game. I don't know what the hell's going on. Ow, he's really got me in the my head in the noose. Alright, so you have to wait a bit before you can use your triangle move as mid attack. I shot a flaming mo at him. Well, what's your problem? It's a flaming mo I'm mo. That's terrible aim, mo. Circles your main or your biggest attack and squares your smallest attack. Oh man, get those crusty oats. Oh, Ow, for the love of frick. Hey! <laughs> this is crazy. Did anyone ever play this back in the day? Hey! All right, my flaming mo move is ridiculous. Doesn't work. Oh, he stopped me before I could use the board with a nail in it, which is a pretty silly reference to the show. Oh, I got full power Flanders over here. All right, high stakes here. Ned, what the frick are you doing to me? What the? God damn it, Ned! All right, you found my one weakness. Whatever move he's doing there. Now we figured it out. Oh, golly! All right, guys, we figured it out. Lock it up. Evo strats confirmed. Oh, golly! I killed him. Is there a pin button that I'm unaware of? L1. Oh, there we go. One, two. What the? F oh. Does he have to be on his stomach? These are high stakes, everyone. We gotta lock it up right now. One, two, three. I killed him for real. What the goddamn hell is going on here? Yow. Jesus, did he just say Jesus? Eh, this is some jank. I'll show you jank. Whoa, goddammit. No, we need to do more of these. This is how we're going to win this goddamn match. Oh, he got the big heal. Listen to the music that's playing. This. Ah, oh, he threw a letter at me. Oh, I'm about to. Ow! That certainly looks. Well, oh, goddamn it, no! One, two, three. All right, it's go time. Wait, he won that ma that round. All right, that is some jank. What the hell am I doing here? All right, I hate pretty much everyone. Uh, I hate pretty much everyone. So the Canadian PM is probably an a-hole among other lizards. Yeah, the politicians. You got to be a special breed for that, right? <sighs> All right, never played it, sadly, says Insomniac. Wow, we scooted one by Insomniac, who's played many, many a game. All right, can't say I did. Seems like a nightmare to control. Yeah, it's, well, I don't think it's a bad controlling game. I just don't think there's any control 
in there for you. You know, like a bad controlling game would be like, well, it's not very precise. No, I think this game is designed to be pretty damn uh, wacky. All right, let's try a different character and then let's, let's make sure it wasn't just my character, right? Maybe the game is sick as frick. All right. Yeah, how didn't I get one? I thought I pinned him, right? You go classic Homer. Apu is pretty funny. I tested a little Apu out the other day. You don't have to be a damn loser to pick Marge with Maggie. Alright, Homer, come on. He was definitely... When Homer was rolling deep in, like, season six, that was, like, the funniest... He was the funniest guy. Everything was... Homer was legit. The best character in the show. But uh, I don't know if this is past the prime. It was probably like season 11 or 12. This is crazy. I'm so angry I could spit flames out of my butt. Arr! Uh, it doesn't sound like Be prime Homer to me. To meet the elemental rage and unleashed fury of a misunderstood second grade girl. Homer, beat the hell out of your two year old, uh, eight year old student. Oh, she beat me with that sax solo. Is it not letting me punch her in the face? There we go. Slap her in the face. Visually, this is super bizarre. This is crazy. All right, what's my ultimate? I just eat a bunch of donuts? What the hell did that do for me? Even the crowd's like, Jesus Christ, what are we watching? Well, the ball bounces around. Ah, oh, this is gonna bust me. I'm beating the hell out of my eight-year-old daughter. She's got no answer for this full-grown man beating her up. Can't handle these moves, girl. And I'm gonna get the big heel. <laughs> this is like an. This is so far like a 60 hit combo, unanswered. No, no, come on, Homer. Lock it up, buddy. This is the one that matters. Cancelled. Doesn't matter when you get the W. <laughs> Homer wins. You guys saw it there, right? There's a history of bad blood between these competitors that stretches almost as far back as former. Don't worry, Wong Tan. We're gonna lock this up, buddy. I just have to punch my daughter in the face a couple more times. Oh god. Taunt. This is gonna be. Sweet, 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 candy, candy, candy. This kid can't even fight. I question whether or not Lisa actually wants this. It's like Leanne's dad saying, how do you get out of this? Dad, you're just open palm slapping me in the face. Yeah, I know. Really tough to deal with, isn't it? I bet you want that big heel, girl. You're not getting it. I don't even think I need it. <laughs> Huge play. I don't even think I needed that big heel. Oh, God. One, two, three. I am the champion. Oh, man. We locked it up. It up. It up. It up. Woo! These aren't even sweaty arms. Sweaty arm. Sweaty arm. It's just an old it's shirt. An old shirt. It's Easy. I might have to go put a sweater on. It's grossing me out. Easy win. It's like hitting a kid. Come on, how do you get out of this? How do you get out of this? JG, too easy. Hey, listen to this freaking slap bass. Enjoy this victory scene. I'm gonna go put a sweater on. Roast myself out on camera. Ugh.
All right, I almost just crashed my stream too. I forgot you cannot raise and lower the camera in that scene. Don't do it, buddy. It freezes the stream every time. So if this stream just disappears in five seconds, it hit refresh and know that I'm crying on the other end. All right, that was uh, that was a bizarre game. In stores now. We could be playing it right now if it was actually May 2001. They get out of this. All right, the game the whole family will fight over. Literally, just nonstop. Was Krusty one of the characters? I didn't see him in there. That's weird. That's a weird licensed game. They don't usually come out like that. Am I right? All right, next one up. Oh, that Conker's Bad Fur Day. Whoa. That's a tough one. If you were way into Conker's Bad Fur Day, it, it must be tough to show it to your friends. Oh, come on. It gets really sick after, like, the first hour. That first hour's a rough slog. All right, we've played every incarnation of Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX. I like extreme games. I like how it's a genre that just came out. It just came out, like, in the last couple years. And that's all they have now. Extreme games, it's in your face. How do you get out of this? It's like Homer slapping Lisa in the face. That's a provocative outfit that lady's wearing. Not ideal for bringing into battle. Oh man, we got our full uh, metal plate armor and you can wear your bikini to the battle, ma'am. All right, whatever you say. All right, oh, the Dreamcast, oh Jesus. Throw me a lifesaver, man. No, not one of the candies. Uh, I'd like to address bothering me the whole uh, the video game violence and eh, hell that. Wait, what are they saying about Baldur's Gate down here by the Xbox guy? Lastly, the PS2 isn't sitting on its can. Uh, you'll see that even in the preview f uh, from Baldur's Gate 2 or Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, Red Faction and Giants show second generation PS2 games are going to force the new systems to put up or shut up. We are hoping to play Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance tonight. That game is good graphics as frick. And it's not isometric view. It's a third-person game. Sort of. All right, the uh, tune's a little loud, Rad. And these corn nuts are hardcore. It scares me. Baldur's Gate. Shorty's a big Baldur's Gate fan. For those... And Wonkton rolling on the floor laughing. Uh, a few comments back. Um, yeah, Shorty's been streaming a lot of uh, Baldur's Gate. So if you guys want some hot Baldur's Gate action, you gotta go check out Shorty Straw. Right-click, follow. Done. All right, we got a lot of actual streamers here. Um, and if you guys do stream, hey, this is a, a sidebar here. Go on over to the Discord, all right? And post in the uh, self-promotion tab. Then I know you stream. I'm like, sick. Now I'll come and watch your stream if I'm ever on when you're streaming, all right? And Shorty is actually just recently playing Baldur's Gate 2. There you go. But the enhanced edition. <laughs> OG edition or nothing at all, all right? Watch Shorty ruin his thumbs on Nagano or his, his controller and his... Fingertips. Yeah, it, man, even Shorty, I'm doing the method on my controller. This nice, pristine, red PlayStation 4 controller. And I'm like, oh, man, I know I'm freaking this up. Oh, God. Your controller must have some dents in it now. At first, I read that graffiti as cornunism. <laughs> it says cornnuts.com. These guys are, these are what happens when you get a bunch of deranged uh, corn nut addicts. Hey, come on, yeah, these corn nuts. Farmer Brown shucks. Give me nightmares. Well, you can't have a nightmare while this song's playing. Hell yeah. Hot nuts. Why do you always have an emote that works for every situation? Is Madonna advertising corn nuts now? Hey, girls, you gotta have these corn nuts before we have the kiss on stage. I want corn breath from both of you girls. Come on. Christina? Brittany, come here. You got, uh, I just ate a whole pack of corn nuggets. Come on, girls. Let's have a kiss. Come on. Come on and kiss your grandma. Come on, let me put my teeth back in. Here, here, okay. I secretly envy the people that have, like, the fake teeth, because then they can chew as hard as they want. The older I get, the, the softer I have to chew. I used to chew so damn hard. I used to put popcorn kernels in my teeth. Go, got it. Don't worry about it. Now I'm like, eh. I'm gonna crack a tooth, I know it. Redoomed Madonna laryngitis voice. Yeah, she's got laryngitis today. And she had laryngitis when she made out with both girls. Yeah, game both mono. Whoopsies. Are we on Madonna again? 
Always on Madonna. A boiled horse, Desi Butt says. Boiled horse. I don't. Are we, we talking about boiled horses again? All right, next one up. Look at the chest de de detail on this guy. Top rate chest detail. I like this punk. Come on, it was sick. I did it with crayons on construction paper. How dare you. All right, win back. Can't wait for win back two. Waiting for it. This guy looks exactly like Joey McIntyre from the New Kids in his solo career. That is the fantasy fan fiction I want to be playing. Please don't play the Corn Nuts video game. Is there such a thing? Does it hurt your teeth when you try and chew it? All right, I didn't read through any of these. I, I think maybe I hurt myself doing the voice for this thing the other day. Hey, Rad, you rascal. I blinks in here. Guys, we got another streamer. Now, Yong Street, also a streamer. I never give Yong a big shout out when he comes in, but you guys follow Yong Street. He's got, he puts effort into his streams, but he, he tries to play it off. He's actually got some pretty innovative stuff there. I like the, I like the new uh, camera you have. He's figured it out. Why put a camera on myself when I could film a GIF of myself and then whenever I talk, it just opens the GIF's mouth. That's brilliant, buddy. That's next level stuff. All right, there's a game called Mr. Nuts on GBC. What? Why are they advertising the snack instead of the game? And now Blink, I also wanted to mention, I want to give more of my viewers that are also streamers themselves more of a shout out. So follow Young Street. Follow iBlink. iBlink's going for some world records here, or at least he's competitive. He wants to try and get competitive. I don't know if you're if you're scratching the top of the leaderboard. You're clawing your way up for uh, Final Fantasy VII. Sick as frick. Blink was saying he was attempting some Kid Icarus today. Ah, oh, it's a wild ride. Not quite yet. All right. Oh, thank you for that, Desi. And we get all, we, hey, all the Radland Maniacs. Radamaniacs? I don't, we'll give you all big shout outs. All right, let's see if we can do this here. What I can do without hurting my voice. All right, when I rent certain games from Blockbuster, like Super Bust a Move, obviously, Smuggler's Run, you know, the bangers, uh, my PlayStation 2 makes a loud sound. Sounds like Madonna's creeping up behind me. Uh, is it my system, or is it uh, that others, the messed up CDs, or blah, 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 blah. PS2 doesn't make the same noise with my own games, says Marcel Biggers. Big as they come. All right, a Sony representative response. Uh, well, we've been receiving a lot of similar complaints, you know? Uh, Blockbuster puts these little security stickers on the disc, and we can't help it. The stickers are big as frick. They're freaking up the disc. We can't spin. It's like, what the frick are we going to do? All right, that's good enough. Uh, these stickers can throw the discs off balance and cause the loud vibrating noise. Like, what? what's happening? Is it grinding the disc, making it fall down? How big were these stickers? Blockbuster was like, here we go. Got it. Take that home and play it, little Timmy. To be safe, we're having the problem. Uh, if you're having this problem, stop using the game. While we can't dictate store policy, I suggest you take the game back to Blockbuster and make the manager, or ask the manager for a copy of the game without the large rectangular sticker on it. Do you guys remember these stickers? I didn't rent games uh, on disc from Blockbuster. It was more of a console uh, cartridge days when I would go to Blockbuster. These Blockbusters now put two stickers. Oh, so they've actually contacted, oh, check this out. We contacted several Blockbuster stores about it and asked them to stop using the large sticker. Said these stickers are freaking up the games. All right, and then they change and do different things. Now these Blockbusters put two stickers on <laughs> Two big stickers on there, it's fine. Radomaniacs will get you DMCA'd for sure. God damn it, it's such a good word. I was actually telling my my son said something today. He said something like, you know, we'll, we'll always add a mania to something. Like, oh man, that's flip a mania or that's blah, blah, blah. And he was like, is that something, something a mania? I'm like, yes, son, it is. And then I had to give him a quick thing because you can only really talk to him for five seconds before he interrupts you. Like Dan! Like, son, you know where a mania is from? It's from a guy called Hulk Hogan. He was a kid. And when I was a kid, he did Hulkamania. Everyone who liked him would call Hulkamaniac. All right, Dad. Only the information we need. The Blockbuster sticker crisis. I have damaged discs I bought from Blockbuster because of these damn stickers. Wow, Young Street's lived it, man. And then Young Street got the damn disc and then freaked up his console. What the frick? All right. For some reason, I can do that voice better at the end of the show than the start. Oh, God, the Game Gear lives, everyone. Nintendo isn't the only company bringing a colored handheld, uh, or a color handheld to your system or store shelves this year. Amazingly, Majesco, like a majestic being, 
an ethereal majestic being came down from the heavens and has acquired the manufacturing rights to Sega's decade-old 8-bit color Game Gear. And it has also re-released the system for just $29.99. Wow. That's pretty damn cheap. Does it still mow through your batteries? Also, the magnetic stickers would throw the balance off the disc and give it laryngitis. God damn it. Oh God, I got laryngitis again. Ah, oh, frick. All right, let's read a little bit about this Game Boy Advance because it's not out in the West yet. We we dipped in a little early last week, but we're going to dip in again this week. All right, U.S. launch date moves up to a month. Moves up a month to June. God damn it, next month the actual Game Boy Advance is coming out for all of us Westerners. Japan can no longer just dangle it overhead like a carrot on a stick. I bet you guys wish you could play this. Yeah, I do. Madonna, you wish you could play this. I do. I wasn't... I was playing the Game Gear. <laughs> like Devin's like, I was playing the Game Gear in 2001. Ah, <laughs> uh, were you playing Pac-Man? Because that looks like the one to play. Game Gear was weird. I had a friend who had a Game Gear. I don't even think they had a Game Boy. Just a Game Gear. What's this emote, though? New record. We have a new record. Oh, well, uh, did you get the uh, $29.99 Majesco version? Damn, I am wearing so many pants right now. It's so cold out these days, I just, I keep wearing the shorts, but I just put a pair of pants over the shorts, with underwear underneath that. Game Gear 8 batteries up like crazy, it was so expensive without the AC adapter, yeah. They're in cahoots with the damn battery company. Little dancing monkeys, you have dancing monkey emotes too? What the frick? Alright, oh god guys. You know what, I'm happy, I'm happy about this. For the second time this episode, we get to play a fighting game. It is back to 1999. Ah, oh, feels good. And we're not done. There's even one more I want to play this episode. God damn it! Fighting game. For the longest time on the show, fighting games were the staple. The ones that we played the most. And now it's all extreme games and kart racers. Well, you know what? The Game Boy's not going to live with that. Shrek, instead of getting a normal platformer like you would expect, got a goddamn fighting game called Fairy Tale Freakdown. Oh my god. TDK's out of their minds. They're like, oh, pfft. Yeah, we got the bid for the Shrek game, the big Shrek game. You know the big Shrek movie that everyone loves that just came out this month? We got the bid for it, and we're going to make a fighting game. Shrek's going to be stunnering everyone. Hell yeah! TDK, the makers of cassette tapes? I guess you're right, Yonk Street. I don't know what TDK is otherwise. I, always, I had a ton of TDK tapes as a kid. In fact, I want to check if you're right. Hold your dang horses. Got a box of goodies. That is hot ASMR action. Actually, you know what? I want hot ASMR action here. I have old record like cassette tapes. I would always ask my mom, Mom, can you get me some more blank cassettes at the store? I want to record sick guitar riffs. No, that's a Fuji. I found this box in my closet. What the hell, the Sony, Fuji, where's the TDKs, mom? Mom, give me TDKs, what the frick, I can't use this. Well, Memorex, god damn it, I can't use Memorex. Damn it, mom. Stop buying me Fujis, oh god. Damn it, man. Not rocking down the house. Oh, come on, man. You knew better. Not Michael Bolton. Come on, man. Ah, oh, Jesus. Look at this one. You know this one's old. Uh. I got JVC, but I don't got TDK. Oh, my man. Segments of bust. <laughs> I'm not even gonna look at the chat. You guys are watching a deranged lunatic now. That's sick. Local punk from 1997. Sick. 
freaking Max L. Oh man, that's bummer, man. I got no do TDK. Bummer. It's the worst day of my life. I also have Windows 9 er, XP operating system CD. Sick. What the hell? HF? Mom! I got a lot of guitar riffs on these. Segments of best. Alright, let's bring the tunes back. I could have sworn I had a TDK in there. TDK, double-sided, 98... Oh, they were for, uh... Not for music. They were for video. Alright, TDK, you're off the hook. Alright, I love how the rustling the box sounds. Yeah, it's pretty fricked up when you have two voice manglers on it. You know that's how I make prepubescent Rad's voice? I just have... Giant Rad. A tiny Rad! And together, they're freaking prepubescent Rad. But it really does cause a lot of uh, problems with my machine. Alright, guys, we're gonna play Shrek Fairy Tale Freakdown. I'm out of my mind. That's confirmed. You know, I was gonna skip right by it. This is how you know I put the effort in when I'm uh, doing the prep for the show. Why would anyone try and play this game? Man, I'm out of time. I got no time. But I gotta play Shrek Fairy Tale Freakdown. Just make sure. Make sure, like, it just looks like a platformer, right? Alright, and then Shrek walks by and. I don't know. But I test it and then find out immediately this game is out of its goddamn mind. It's completely fricked in the best possible way. So on this show, I like to mix. If anyone's watching, uh, it just sounds like your balls are moving. Those are some robo balls. All right, uh, why does Rad play every advertisement? Uh, are you in the pocket of big cassette manufacturing, TDK? <laughs> TDK, they stepped up to the plate, everyone, and they knocked it out of the park. Oh, run! All right, I, uh, the advertisements always get me at the start, don't they? But I gotta tell you what I like to do on the show for those that are, if there's any stragglers just scooting in going like, what the hell is this all about now? I play the ones that you expect and a mix of the ones that I can't believe they happen. We gotta document this. If I don't, who will? When was the last time you saw anyone play this on their stream? Never. You couldn't snag Hagar, so TDK it is. <laughs> I gotta get those size eight. Size 42 Hagar slacks, they disappeared with Sears. All right, Sears went, and so did the size 42 Hagar slacks. God damn it. That is a sad state of affairs. All right. All right. Prolific. Hey, nothing says prolific more than this game. All right. I want, I want, I want use on my words, all right? He's giving him a full Nelson. That's how I knew something was super strange when I turned the game on. Wait a second. Is that a full Nelson? I guess it is. Did Shrek give someone a full Nelson in the movie? I don't think so. You want to play the game? So far, you're like, all right, it looks kind of normal still. Look at those eyes moving. That's a nice touch. Oh, nothing but the bangers on this show, everybody. Current game. Shrek. Oh, you mean that delightful side-scrolling game? No. Fairy tale. Freak down. Not even beat down. Freak down. Oh, God damn it! They're at me again. All right. Well, next week, I'm going to figure out how to get rid of these trolls on YouTube. Sorry, if you guys are watching YouTube, do not click the links. They're still going after me. Ugh, Tinder girls, man. Oh. <laughs> damn it. I'm wasting time. Let's play. Select your champion. What the frick? Hello, I'm Fred Couple. Welcome to check it out. Check it out. Great hole. Actually, have actually have the game. Welcome in, you crazies. Now, guess what? We're about to play the Shrek fighting game for Game Boy Color. May 2001. If you guys are wondering what we do on this program, oh damn! Look at this guy. Uh, welcome in, you uh, bunch of ratty rascals, and thanks for coming in here, DJ Online. Let me hold, hold on, let me get this over here, and then I can look at the chat and see what all my buddies are saying, including DJ Online and all his ratty rascals. Alright, 
I'll give you the big shout out here. And Finny's in here. I love Finny. Oh, Desi got him. All right. All right with the purple heart. Love it. More Dungeons and Dragons. Did anything crazy happen? What was the funniest thing that happened tonight? All right, we're gonna be Shrek. We're gonna have to be Shrek now. As of yet, everyone, we didn't know what this game was. You know, it just looks like a 2D side scroller. You know, if you look at the magazine, you're like, all right, the magazine told me to play the goddamn game. I'm gonna play it. And then it turns out to be this. This is where I knew something was up. Like, oh, what? Let's rock. Oh! Alright, these Evo strats, these hot and heavy strats, you can't handle these. I think I'm winning. Come on, Shrek, you gotta want it, buddy. Alright, freaking down forward is my fireball. One round, they didn't even give you two rounds. God damn it, the, the YouTubers are still going. All right, sorry everyone watching on YouTube. We're streaming to both and the YouTube bots are just getting, their horn dogs are boned out of their mind. Oh God, that Shrek face. We're going off the rails on this crazy train. That's what, you know, a lot of people don't know that's what Ozzy was actually singing about, this game. Oh frick, Pinocchio's coming after me? Come on, give him the business. All right, Pinocchio can't handle these moves. A lot of people don't know. Pinocchio had a pretty bad record in his boxing career. Well, I think we're going for a one quarter here, everyone. You guys want to see me take this game down to Pound Town? I'm going to beat this game tonight. Can you have mods on YouTube? I think you can. I just don't know how to do it. I don't even know how to do it, Shorty Straw. I don't know we're in the dungeon. I'm running the game, and the group decided on a whim to go to the random goblin place. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And so you're like, all right, all right, there's a, a you enter a room, there's a, uh, there's a, a goblin, uh, a party, a patrol party. All right, and then, um, a roll for initiative. Oh, God. Jeebus Cripes, maybe I can help. Pivot muscles on maximum drive. <laughs> yeah, you gotta really, all right, I don't want to bone this up. The question mark man? Oh, God. Who is it? All right, I bet you guys didn't see that coming. I didn't see it coming. Oh god, he evened it up. I can't get near him, he's too f too frickin' fast on those candy cane legs. Oh, now he's fricked up, he's in the corner. See, that's where Shrek really comes alive, in the corner. God damn it, this guy's gonna beat my balls off, I can't fight him. This guy's the frickin' final boss of the game. All right, we gotta frickin' want it bad here. What the, why didn't my move do any damage to him? Oh god. Okay, we, oh, we're bringing it back. Come on, buddy. No, Shrek, come on, want it, buddy. No, Shrek. God damn it, Shrek. Up. Up. Oh, this is, oh, from men from the boys here. Oh, god damn it. The little candy cane a-hole's the man. <sighs> Wrong button. Fast as fast can be, he'll never catch. He. All right, well, I want I want Hollyfield. Let's go back. This little a-hole got lucky at the start because I w I didn't I counted him out with those little candy cane legs. Yeah, now you're fricked up, buddy. See, and that's all I needed to do. All right, disregard the last round. That's precision uh, for 144i fighting game strats. Look how sad he was. Oh, Frick, you fricked me up. I'm so freaking angry. Why am I doing that one? All right, everyone, did you get the password? Sick. It's like a bootleg game. Yeah, from Russia. It's on the Dendi. All right. Oh, Shrek versus Shrek. This is the hot scene from the movie that everyone remembers. And how am I supposed to fight the greatest? Oh, he's farting on me. Yeah, I didn't realize I could do fart attacks. Of course I'm going to do a fart attack. Hey, what did you say? He had a heart attack? Is that what he died of? No. No, he died of a fart attack. A broken fart. Slaughtered him. Alright. Gingy's top tier. Yeah, we had to take him down to Pound Town. New power of invincibility. I didn't need that. I'm already beating the hell out of these fools. M Hood. Oh god, he's coming hard and heavy. Fart on him, Shrek. You gotta do it. That's like Dalsim's Yoga Flame. 
Look, he wants a piece of this, but he can't handle it. Come on, buddy. Get the fireballs out there. Come on, he's beating you into oblivion here. Beating you into a bloody pulp. Oh, God. Hey! All right, we're just Robin Hood a-holes OP. All right, come down and get kicked in the face, buddy. No! I gave him an elbow drop. Sick! No, that's going to cost me big time. Oh, that was a nail biter. Goddamn photo finish. My face is melting from these graphics. Ah! Like the opening up the Covenant of the Lost Ark. Ruptured booty from intense fart attack. Yeah, that's you know you got a bad one when you're rupturing insides. All right. All right, we're about to take this game right to the end. The final stretch, everyone. We're fighting Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oh God, it's go time. All right, this guy has way too much health. No matter how many times I punch him in the face, he still gets the, uh, uh-oh. All right, he's got uh, tiger ups and tiger downs. Uh-oh. I don't think we're gonna beat this game as previously promised. No, oh, get out of there, Shrek. All right, we just have to have him jump into this goddamn door, Shrek. Oh god, come on Shrek, you gotta want it, dude. Get out of there, dude. Alright, and then it's like Mortal Kombat where there's another level down there. God damn it. 2D fighting games from series you never expected. I always secretly expected this would make a great fighting game series. Alright, we got a plan here. Now we know what to Oh god, the dragon's coming after me hard and heavy. Alright, good thing I drop kicked him. Two drop kicks, he can't handle this. Alright, the secret's just to fight him up here. God, he's got the power. He listens to the song religiously. All right, see him jump right over me. Watch this, everyone. There we go. Right into a goddamn fireball. Oh, frick. The song seems like an AI made it and made it poorly. See what I mean? Oh god, what in the hellfire? Oh my god. Nothing but the bangers tonight, everyone. Frick! You guys think this is the final boss? Should I finish it up? Maybe I can get him to jump in the hole. In the hole you go, buddy. Get in there, buddy. Get in the goddamn hole. I jumped into it. That was a waste of perfectly good health. Oh, that's gonna cost you, Shrek. Still Shreking it up? Uh, yeah, all right. Might be Fiona or Farquad. All right, the dragon's got my number. God damn it. Oh, God damn it. I was having a great time, everyone. Hey, we're done shrekking it up. We shreked our balls off. All right, what's next? All right, it's a hassle at the castle as you compete for the title of ultimate champion in Shrek's fairy tale freakdown. Play one of nine characters from the feature film Shrek and make your sissy opponents run, run, run all the way home. Oh, okay, well they did reference that. All right. Oh man, I need those armored court two toys, and I need them bad. All right, we played Red Faction, and it was good. Good as frick. I got copy striked for playing the music from the game while playing the game. All right, internet, tone it down. What the hell is this? Oh, these are like online online games. What the hell? You, you remember when this happens in boxing? That guy has a hell of a power punch. All right, we can't play those games, unfortunately. Dreamcast ready, set, top, go. Oh yeah, they're talking about, hey, we're gonna get this sick thing that you just plug in under your TV. That's what we'll do now. No one wants to do that. In fact, I don't even wanna read about this. This is so ridiculous. Sega, just stop making peripherals. Sega, go to just making games like you said you were going to. All right, we played Zone of the Enders last week and I couldn't get by the first level just like when I rented the game. 
How do you get past the first level in Zone of the Enders? No one knows. No one's ever been there. It does come with this playable version of uh, Sons of Liberty, though, which is why all of us rented it. That's why you weren't too upset when you rented it. You're like, well, this game sucks. Although it's a good game, I just can't get by the first level, but at least it comes with a sick Metal Gear Solid uh, demo. And I loved Zone of the Enders. I loved it, too. I loved playing it until I got stuck. What am I supposed to do? How do you even get out of the first level? Were you watching the last week, Mark, man? What did I do wrong? I don't even know what I did wrong. Bam, 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 ba -dun -dun -dun. All right, Zone of the Enders, uh, the free game that came with the Metal Gear Solid demo. Oh, Yong Street, scorching their buns. All right, Onimusha's sick. It did not get fives across the board. I feel like it should have. At this era, at this time, we played this one as well, Star Wars, uh, Star Fighter. There we go, everyone. Are you guys ready to play some Xbox games? Because God damn it. I better turn it on right now. I just turned it on for real. I got a real console over there. I'm not even messing. I think amidst all testing, you managed to beat Shrek, but not Zone of the Enders level one. Just a total whiff. Uh, that's not my fault. You guys were all watching. We had the combined intelligence of like 10 people there, and no one knew how to get by that first level. No one. All right. Now, the, I guess we're going to play Munch's Odyssey. I didn't really want to play Munch's Odyssey, but it's heavily featured on this issue. So maybe we'll do it real quick. Backstory in this game is huge. Controls are janky as frick, and the game is... Nah. Well, let's see what they say at the time. On the roster for the PlayStation 2 games, uh, under development, was released. One of the more talked about titles was Oddworld Munch's Odyssey, the third adventure of the Oddworld saga, which started around 1997 on 32-bit PlayStation. Antip anticipation for Munch was heightened in the 2000 Electronic Expo, where a brief demo wowed audiences and pushed the game uh, practically onto everyone's 10 most wanted list. What people were those? Yet despite the PlayStation 2's promising game-playing power, Munch's grand design exceeded the system's capabilities, and now it is under development on Microsoft. Now Microsoft sniped him. Undercut PlayStation. Oh man, it's already getting hard and heavy. Never played any of the Oddworld games. Yeah, well... Uh, none of the none of the games are very good. This is probably the most playable. Like you know what they're like? Flashback or odd, odd world? No, what is it? Out of this world. They're like Prince of Persia games, and I just can't get down with that. I can't. I don't know how to play these games. We've loaded up our PlayStation or our Xbox. We have ourselves. What is this? I don't even have it. Oh man. Why is it not showing up on that screen? change my switcher down there. All right. I am playing, guys, we're, we're about to get Xboxed out of our mind. It's 2001, it's a little early, but they're talking about it now. And we got the only world's copy of Xbox right here, right now. Playing it for real. Munch's ambition was really big that it was too much for the Xbox hardware and bogged it down. It was too big even for Xbox, because I was going to say some of these Xbox games are so good graphics, it's crazy. Like, they're smashing PlayStation over the head with an iron. Uh, some of these games, like, uh, later on, I, I don't want to spoil it. Should I just spoil it? Here's the Xbox games coming up, everyone. Unless you guys, I don't know. You guys tell me. Do you like when I go page by page? You're like, I don't know what's on the next page. Could be a sick game. Or if you scroll ahead, and you're like, okay, here's what I have to look forward to. Xbox hype. Munch had frame rate issues. That's a bummer. I didn't really notice. Some of the games at this era actually all kind of had a frame rate issue. It's basically just a pretty run-of-the-mill, uh... 3D platformer with really crammy, uh, crummy controls. I guess it looks good. Halo ran well, though. Yeah, Halo did. And so did other games, like some of the other ones we'll be playing. Let me load it up now, actually, while I'm on the other screen. You guys, let me know. I'll show you what Xbox games are coming up if you want. I feel like I'm spoiling it if I scroll ahead. Look at what's coming up, everybody. I don't remember what they listed under. It's just Odd World. Okay, so I gotta go to the O's. Oddworld had a good message. Be wary what... Be wary what you it... It could be your buddy. I'm sure there's... Um, be wary what you eat. Okay. I don't wanna, oh, that's right. Yeah, it's basically like a... Uh, uh, Soylent Green, right? Alright, let's get in. Let's get involved with some shenanigans. I don't need two songs on at once. That's what the Range Lunatics do. 
can't believe we're Xboxing up, dudes. Oh my god, you guys watch this while I change the screen as well. Odd world. Munches. Odd. Geez. Is that how it's spelled? It's probably out. Odd. Oh, Odyssey. They spell it. Xbox, that feels good to type that in. Game. And then I have to do one other thing first. I have to do this. Window projector source. Bring it over there. Make it big as frick. Bam 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 ba bam and And then I have to get the chat up as well. Boom. Yeah, that feels good. Alright. New goddamn game. Man, such an insane console. Even the sound effects are out of control. Game on, dudes. Game freaking on. I just want to pick your save icon. This is really important to me. That's the one for me. Look at, just take a look at Abe's face here, or Oddworld's face. That's really, really, really good graphics. This should blow your mind at the kiosk. Yeah, Insomniac. You see this at the kiosk? Nothing even came close to this. Now, I know that it wasn't out yet. Xbox doesn't officially come out for like two years or a year still. But, One uh... Time, there were lots of us. Um... They're being showed behind doors to magazines now. And we got the... I got you guys all backstage for that. There were lots of us. All right, let's get a little closer. Why not? That was all before there was any webs. And they catch all these rascals and they feed them to you. All right, yeah, I do want to skip it because I want to get right to the game. Like, anyone can have a good-looking cutscene, but let's see what the game looks like. Xbox came out late 2001? Holy frick, I didn't realize that. I, I totally thought it was, like, a year off at least. All right, it is quite dark in this room. I, oh, yeah, that's right. I might have to actually turn on my filters. What about this one? What about that one? Right, what about this one? We'll go big. While we're in this dank dungeon, we gotta go big. All right, press to use. What am I, I don't even, you start the game in the pitch black. What kind of world is this? Uh, if Abe ever to find Munch, he must find his Modukin friends and bring them to his big well. To use, to use story stones and other objects, stand on the arrows and tap the A button. Just tap it. Tap it up. Don't disturb whatever's in there. All right, I won't. I don't feel like that. Now collect these things, right? Spoosh shrubs. Spoo shrubs are the source of Abe's mystical mojo. Uh, to collect the spoo shrub, just run over it. Let's check Abe's spoos. Hold the right trigger and note the green number. Birds represent health. I did not know about the health. All right, good to know. All right, let's get all the spoos. Hey, Ed, the almighty raisin has sent me to help you. So listen up. If you're ever to find that one-legged munch, you've got to learn how to get around, starting with this cave right here, right now. Pretty good voice acting for the time, also. I don't want to hear what he has to say anymore. It is hard to control your guy, though. Like, you want all these spoo shrubs, buddy? Good luck. It makes me pine for the day where Zelda... I feel like Zelda had better control than this. This is irrationally dark. Come on, you got the best graphics console in the world. Start your game pitch black. Don't let anyone see what's going on. Don't let anyone know what the hell's up. Spoo shrubs! Oh, we fell. You basically got to collect all these ones or you're going to be boned up for a while. All right, collect them up. And you can get through the door. It is basically just like fetch quests. Like, get all these things and then you can walk through a door. I don't know why Xbox Bros would be like, sick, bro. This is what we've been waiting for. This is the experience we've finally, finally been waiting for, you know? This is Dark Souls Dark. Yeah, they it went pure dark with it. Like, it can be light. You see, over here is perfectly fine. But over there is just deranged. Use the D pad to look around. Oh, that's good to know. To center the camera, tap the white button. Alright, that's also good to know. So I can do Zelda action here. And I can spin the camera with D-pad. That is not the way anyone would do that. You have a whole right thumbstick that does nothing. Let me spin around with that one. What the hell? All right, maybe they've smartened up and let you change that. I can't believe they hadn't standardized two thumbsticks yet. Controls. Uh, 
right? No, they just let you look at it. All right, that's what the controls are, and that's how you will play our game. You will address our game as follows. More didgeridoo, please. Xbox making its gigantic debut. More didgeridoos. Can I go down here? Let's jump for it, buddy. Live dangerously. And use the D-pad to rotate your camera rotate your camera around. This is literally pitch dark. What is the point in this? Oh my god. What's the point in even complaining? It does feel like Zelda though. Head night get in here. Hey Matt. Cool stuff. D brought me in here. D as in Darren? Dodgeball? Dude? Well, in any case, I'm glad you're here. We're playing Xbox for the first goddamn time, and we're doing it on a goddamn art. All right, well, welcome in. Hedge Knight, good to see you. Do I know you from school? I, a lot of people don't know Art and I did actually go to the same school. Art was one of my best friends back in grade six to basically when he, well, he's been one of my best friends till he moved to Australia for a couple years, and then he disappeared from my consciousness for a while, and now he's back on streaming, and it's good to see him again. Oh, for the love of God, we fell. I think way back. Oh, I know. It's good to see you, man. I've seen some of your pictures on uh, Facebook doing a little lurking. Getting out of your mind at the Ren Fair is what it looks like. Got all muscled up, j jacked out of your mind. Good to see you, buddy. And now look at this. And now look at me playing freaking video games on the internet. What a weird and wild time. Well, I don't know if you know the basic uh, gestalt of the show here, but uh, yeah, I'm basically playing. Oh, for the love of Pete, I fell again. I just want to collect all the damn spooge fruits or whatever they're called and get the hell out of this cave so we can show you some goddamn graphics. All right. I became a Nazi. Start calling everyone. Yeah, that's what he did. You have to or else they'll kick you out of the country. Like, hey, use the right word, buddy, or you're out. All right, I still need a couple more. Hey, you want to regrow some spooge fruits? Yeah, buddy. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I do know what you mean, actually. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think this game would have been a lot better if uh, Everybody listen. if they just had a lot more snowmen in it. That's just the one thing I find that's missing from this game, personally. You just hang I mean, the farting uh, the farting button is actually pretty fresh, but, you know, uh, uh, Spooge Fruits is just not as good as the snowmen. Uh, uh, this fact. This is fact. Dan, get the frick out of the club. All right, while Rad's not here, you get the frick out of the club. All right, that's the way we work. That's the way we operate here. Right, we, got, we, we got 50 Spooge Fruits. Now we're going to get out of our minds and see what this uh, game actually looks like. You know what I mean? All right, get the hell out of here. Take your spooch roots and get the hell out of my sight. All right, let's go. Oh, thank you for that. Hedge Knight. Get in here. All right, Michael Keaton also appreciates Hedge Knight. All righty. Hedge Knight, I got a funny anecdote. I remember one time I was at your house after school. Uh, I don't remember what we were doing. It was just, I think we were hanging out, but I remember you said to me about your dad. You're like, all right. You got to look him in the eyes, though. You can't not look in his eyes. You have to look at his eyes. That's what you got to do or else. I don't remember why you told me that, but I just never stopped looking him in the eyes. <laughs> I think I totally alienated him. I'm like, who's this little a-hole think he is? Stop looking. Hey, show some respect, buddy. I'm like, I just remember that. You were playing with army men on your floor. That's what I remember. In Europe, the C word is like a friendly hello. And I know people in uh, North America get very offended. Yeah, that's a dark one. You call a girl a C-U-N-T over here, man, you're going to get put in jail, and they will lock you up and bury, uh, bury the key. He called her what? Kill him. All right, we can finally turn the, uh, filter off here. Uh, because now that we're outside, it should be normal lighting. It's easy for Abe to get lost in the wilderness. Luckily for Abe, the almighty raisin has provided a trail of spooge fruits, uh, through the area. He spooged all over the place. God damn you, Abe. Man, Abe is, uh, Abe is speedy as frick. All right, so yeah, head tonight. What we're doing here is uh, I basically just play through all the games I can using Game Pro as my barometer um, for a certain month each week. We go each. I've been doing it since uh, what is it? January two thousand uh, nineteen ninety five, and now I'm on May two thousand one. I've played almost a thousand games on this goddamn show. I tell you, I tell you, it's like a historical reference now. All right, what, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Open the damn door. I see you next Tuesday. And you love the joy. Well, I appreciate that. It's hard not to be joyful when we have lovely friends on the internet and we're getting silly as frick. 
Chant circles remind lazy Modokins that they need practice in their magical med meditations. Uh, to open this door, bring a Modokin close to the circle and tell him to get working right. All right. You can bring your friends with you by pushing the uh, triangle button. Hey there, fellow chump. How you doing? Hey, Abe. It's all it takes. Now I got a best friend for life. All right, open the damn door, buddy. Smarten up. All right, this game lets you do this, which I approve. It's hard to do. You got to really gently spin the thumbstick. All right, I've proven my point. Honestly, it's nonstop collecting these stupid little things. Hey, you managed to get out of the cave. Wow. Doesn't look bad for a launch title. Yeah. Okay, listen up. Wait till wait till we get the Blood Wake. Blood Wake looked so good, it almost looked like a 360 game to me. Yeah, you always say that. Hey, all right, we got a big well down here. I don't need to listen to that a-hole. I do what I want, all right? I'm hardcore frick. There we go. No! All right, goddamn. And I'm getting so many of these damn fruits. I have a bellyache. My stomach hurts! Okay, I'm just good as frick at controlling this game now. You should have seen me practicing last night. I was all over the place. All right, here's the ultimate test. What the frick? Hey, Knight, get the hell in here. Appreciate it, buddy. Get the frick in here. On the guest list. Now, we gotta walk very daintily through this. And we gotta spin this with the D-pad for some reason. Because they don't let us use anything else. Alright, Abe. That's a nice touch, Aid. Or Abe. Running around collecting stuff? That's not like Banjo-Kazooie at all. <laughs> It's Banjo Kazooie incarnate, but you know what? I'm having more fun than Banjo Kazooie. That's how you know it's it's crazy. I just I can't play Nintendo stuff. That I would rather play this. It makes no sense to me, Shorty. Sneaking! Not even Metal Gear Solid had that. Not even Winback had that. I think you meant to say, Shorty. Look at that lens flare. We are in the thick of it now, everyone. All right, you're missing Spooge fruits. Get back there. All right, I don't think we'll play this one for much longer because there are much better Xbox games that we could be playing. Nay, should be playing. Hold on, let's get these uh, new buddies. I said, come with me, buddy. Hey, what's happening, Abe? There's my buddy. Hey, It's good voice acting. There's my buddy. Uh, Abe, your demeanor's not filling me with confidence. You know they're eating you guys, right? I get you, Rat. Nintendo don't, exactly. I lived it though, Shorty. I, I was just looking at the N Nintendo 64 controller on my ground and I was like, I don't think I need that anymore. I think it's done. Okay, get the work. Oh, man. I think that's done. I don't, I can't imagine another N64 game that I'll need. Think about it. I played Conker's Bad Fur Day last week and Pokemon Stadium 2. I think that was it. Yeah, Insomniac. Well, you hate these games. Well, I don't know if I hate it, but it doesn't feel like I need to keep playing it. Except I gotta bring this guy with me. Look at all these buddies I got. Okay, this is a, a decent mechanic. Now we'll see we'll see how good of friends they actually are. Guys, you coming with me? Sick! <laughs> what the frick? What the frick? Art just said, alright. Hey, it also says, Art, this is your 23rd time doing that. I really appreciate that, buddy. You know what? Heads night, I don't know if you're still watching, but Art just uh, saw to it. Art, are you using an emulator to collect all the systems? Uh, this is the one time, the first and only time, that I've had to mod my own. This is the Xbox I had in 2005. Modded it up just so I could play these games because uh, there's no way to emulate Xbox games with any sort of uh, consistency. And I want this show to be consistent as frick. Like I am. Eat your mini wheats, everybody. All right. Uh, Art just saw to it. Heads night, you got subbed up. Now, whenever we get subbed up here, we like to get out of our mind. Like whenever anyone orders million dollar birthday fries at Uncle Mo's family feed bag. We do a very similar thing here. It's uh it's very similar actually. Spot on. And we're gonna go there now. Oh man, you did it, Head Knight. You're a man. Courtesy of Art. Art the frickin' man happening here. Alright, hold on. Let me spell this right. We'll just do hedge. Alright. Hell yeah, you did it, you're a man! Yeah! 
13 inch nipple hairs, buddy. I measured them. Long as Fred. Alright, Fred, thanks for that, buddy. And now let's wrap it up with a swizzler. effects are on my voice anymore. All right, that worked, it's fine. All right. All right, we like to celebrate. Thank you that, Art, and good to see you, Hedge Knight. We go way back, same birthday. Remember that? Oh yeah. Probably would never give sub, but the sub party is just too good. The thing, I thought I was running out of things I could do on the screen. Hell no. Hell frickin' no. All right. I just hit my head on the roof. All right. All right, party on. Party on Wayne and party on Garth. Guys, I did my due diligence. I agree, Insomniac. I don't much care for the uh, Munch's Odyssey games either. Odyssey games. Eh. <laughs> do you remember that? that was, yeah, your dad was a very... Uh, his energy was very uh, intense. And I liked it. I was like, all right. What the hell is this little asshole looking at me for? Ah. It was a good time, though. Fond memory. Alrighty. Let's play some more games, everybody. Let's read the next the next page. Because no one said that they like to have the pages spoiled, so... I'm just going to go one page at a time. We're going to get out of our minds, alright? And these are the right vibes to do it. Alright, next one up. Oh, we're still talking about Oddworld. I never got that far. No. How many goddamn spoose fruits am I supposed to collect to get that far in the game? Alright, next one up. Oh, God. What time is it? 12, 18. It's not as bad as I made it out to be last week, but this game here... What the hell is it even called? New Legends. Man, uh, Japan just couldn't stop doing games with, like, the feudal Chinese, uh, backstory. You guys want to know what Liu Bei was up to in, like, a weird futuristic retelling of, uh, of feudal China? Because we could do it! Man, this music reminds me of a racing game, Garage Music. Hell yeah. Just get your freaking tires, man. Get the soft tires, let's get out of our minds. Eleven? Moving on. I do. 1218, what does that even mean? What does that say? You guys are losing me. I don't even know what's going on. I'll tell you what song it is, though. Virtua Athlete 2000. All right, maybe we'll move on. Man, they're still talking about it, though. It's like it's a big deal. I don't know if it is a big deal. Do I need to play this game? No, I'm sure they'll... I'll have time to play it later. We don't need to play that game yet. We have bigger fish to fry. Like Ghost Recon, which may, at this point, be the best forest I've ever seen in a video game. Xbox came with the power, man. Xbox wasn't freaking around. The Brits are waking up. Grom, get in here, buddy. We got the Xbox. Grom, I'm super curious. If you have time, did the Xbox land at all in England? Like, was it a thing? Like, I know that, obviously, it was in there, but just, like, the same reason that you guys didn't play Mega Man. It was all Gianna sisters all the time. Ah, we don't need to play Mega Man. Why would we do that when we have Gianna sisters? A perfectly good Gianna sisters that we could be playing. Freaking huge muscles. Grimora, get in here. Are there multiple chat threads or am I nuts? No, well, there is one on YouTube as well. Um, uh, I'm going YouTube and Twitch at the same time, but there's mostly just people talking on Twitch. At the moment. Freaking huge muscles. All right. Uh... <laughs> Get him a 
goddamn body bag. Actually got him right in the face that time. Feels good. Uh, for those who are wondering, Dan is a Lovecraftian villain on this show. I can't get rid of him. He exists for all time. He is unstoppable. I'm like that. I'm like the paranormal movies. He's following me, and he's gonna follow my children. Oh goddamn! Right in the back of the dome. Yeah, I smacked him right in the back of them. It's massive here, says Grom. That's crazy. That's awesome though. I like that. Well, Grom. We're in luck. It's Xbox day today. I do remember my friend Jeff, who worked at Blockbuster Video when the Xbox came out, which was right around this time, actually. Xbox came out later this year, so in like a few short months, my friend Jeff is about to quit his job at Blockbuster because someone called him into work on Xbox day, where he rented it, and we played Halo and uh, Yakuza Missions. Or what is it called? Reckless. Rec Fest? No, Reckless. The Yakuza Missions. He's like, I'm not coming into work. It's Xbox day. I rented this thing from work. No, sorry, buddy. You got to come in and do a shift here. No! I'm going to stay up all night playing two-player Halo with my friend. I remember him. I was listening. I was watching him on the phone, and I remember him saying, It's Xbox Day. <laughs> ah, that feels good. Now we're going to play Ghost Recon. Ghost in the Machine. Also a pretty good movie. All right. Having been described as a conflict that does not determine who is right, but who is left, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon should have... You sweating bullets, sweating your balls off, uh, literally amidst the wet work of modern warfare. Now, I don't want to play the whole game. I'm not going to get the whole game in, but I want you guys to see. Xbox is here, and Xbox ain't freaking around. Ah, uh, Blockbuster. Admit it! Uh, you wouldn't know what to do with yourself if Dan went away. Well, I certainly wouldn't have anyone to punch in the face until we start talking about um, Bill Gates and more Miyamoto. I'd go a lot harder on Miyamoto if it weren't for Dan. The punch would be like, he's in my chat! God damn it, Dan! Goddamn. Alright, we're gonna play this game, and I noticed it had really good foliage. I don't say foliage, I say foilage. It's a quote from The Simpsons. Alright, get to the theater. We don't need all these hot jams going on at once. One hot jam at a time, please. And we'll see if this actually plays. It was playing last night. I don't know, it's not playing right now. Abby, get in here. Good to see you, Abby. God, we got the Xbox going. Abby, were you an Xbox head? Xbox was perfectly cromulent console. <laughs> I don't know why. It's a perfectly cromulent console. Abby's seen an episode of Simpsons. All right. Abby isn't freaking around. The year is 2008. And the world I need some more coffee-flavored beverine. That's another Radical deep cut. Radical ultra-nationalists have seized power in Moscow. Oh, how dare they. This is a big deal, man. We're playing Xbox. Oh my god! Ukraine. I was definitely an early Xbox adopter. Hell yeah. One by one. I remember my friend Brad. He was uh he was really smitten with the Xbox. And I was a PlayStation boy, because I had my PlayStation early. Xbox was for the kids that didn't get their PlayStation 2s on launch day. Like, well, all right, well, what are we gonna get? And then Xbox comes out, looks way the frick better. And you're like, well, should I get that instead? One small group of elite soldiers. Um, but he said, all right, Xbox, it's the console for me. That's what he said when I was trying to convince him that he should get a PlayStation 2. It's the console for me. This big? Holy frick, this big! All right, hold on. Uh, all right, the game is good as good as frick looking. That's fine. As Zurich Rise of... Parathia. It was the first game. All right, I'll keep that. I'll keep that in mind, Abby. We're definitely playing that one then, uh, whenever it comes by. All right, drink Miyamoto. He's still guzzling the tears of children to sustain his life force. <laughs> That's how he looks so young and happy all the time. Oh, while well, laughing his goddamn balls up. Complaining that Mario's American fanny isn't big enough. Well, no, he's the one that took the big fanny away from his Chrome. He took it away from you too. He kept all that big fanny for Japan. You should play the Japanese version. His fanny's like five times bigger. It's out of control. Half the screen is like fanny pixels and fanny goddamn uh, polygons. We wanted to call them fanny guns. They wouldn't let them. All right, this is so. Xbox is having a little trouble here. Like, well, I don't know what we should do with all the. Welcome to Tbilisi, gentlemen. I don't even know what the hell I'm looking at half the time. Some shut eye on the flight from Bragg because now that we're here, 
We got a lot of work to do. Xbox right out of the gate Here's had pretty good voice acting. Been deployed at the request of the Georgian government to help them deal with rebels on their Russian border. All right. That's Our tough. area of operations will be the Levon Seganashvili, best arm wrestler in the world from Georgia. Hell yeah. Square miles of small villages. And Maybe we'll see back. him in this game. I don't. I don't know. The seasons have been skirmishing with the Georgian army for years. They took all that fanny away uh, in the movie. The I'll never watch it now. I know. It should be pumped up and ballooned up like crazy. The Russians have engineered the current... Half the screen is fanny? Sign me up, says Grom. Annex the whole region. <laughs> annex that fanny. All right, auto sign. All right, let's just look at the trees, and let's all remember, PlayStation 2 only just came out, and now we have trees looking this good? Too quiet. Oh, my God. A little goddamn too quiet in here. Let's go. I'm sick of this. I'm going first. You guys follow me. I'm out of my mind. Oh, all right, wait. All right, this is still the click the right thumbstick in to zoom in era. Not ideal. Oh, man, you'd play this and just feel like, oh, we've made it. That's another thing my friend Brad said. He's like, I want to go to Japan and teach English. I'll teach English all day and play Xbox all night was another thing he told me. What the frick? And Knight just said, alright, one of you rascals, we're getting it back in there. And Starlad, he said, Starlad, you're getting out of your mind now. All right, Hedge Knight, you see how this works now, right? You've seen how it works. Now let's party our balls up. Let's party our goddamn balls up. Let's freaking play Ghost Recon all day and party our balls off all night. Oh, God, I'm getting shot at. Pause the game. What the frick? Alright, let me dispatch my foes first. And then we'll party our balls off. Who's the foe? I'm getting shot at! I'm trying to party my balls off all night. I can't. All right, we got to, with extreme prejudice, we're going after these guys. All right, out there you shoot at Levon Saganishvili. That's not going to fly on my watch, buddy. I feel like I'm going to just run right at this guy, right in his grill, and arm wrestle him. What? I did run right by him. All right, it's a good thing they can't tell where I'm shooting. They're like, what? The, this is the guy in charge of our mission? Ah, frick! All right, let's party our balls off. And to do that, we need a theme song. And we have the perfect one recorded by our very own TM Bass. TM Bass, get in here! You did it! Starlad, you're a man, courtesy of our very own newest member, Hedge Knight. All right, Starlad. The one that came from the stars. Starlad. 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 That's how they have to say it. He's the star child, goddamn. Get in here, courtesy of Hedge Knight. Let's party our goddamn balls off. All right, let me check those nipple hairs out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That one's 12 and a half inches of just pure salt and pepper nipple hair. Goddamn it. Get your nipple crimpers ready, everybody. Nipple hair crimpers. You don't want to crimp those nipples. That's painful. All right, I'm sure that TM Bass is the only person who's ever recorded Fido Dido on actual bass. Hell yeah. This song actually comes from Fido Dido on Sega Genesis. Little known fact. Party your goddamn balls off, everyone, because now Fred's taking the wheel. Fred, you want it? You want it? All right, let's do it, Fred. Oh, hell yeah. Fred taught me everything I needed to know about Swizzlin'. All right, apparently, I didn't know this. Fred and I don't talk business, you know? Apparently, Fred Couples has the smoothest swing in all of golf. When I was wearing my Fred Couples shirt at Dodgeball last night, that's what two other people in the gym said to me at two separate times. And you know, Fred Couples has the smoothest golf swing in golf? Goddamn, Fred. What the hell? I didn't even know this. Yeah, don't get those nipple crimpers, Youngstreet. Take them back. Take them back to Bed Bath & Beyond. I want the nipple hair crimpers. I want my hair to look crimped as frick from here down. What else am I supposed to do with 13 and a half in, uh, inch nipple hair if not crimp it? All right, it's the Coke. It mellows him out. Oh, he's clean as frick, buddy. People wish. People wish he was on the juice. Fred is clean as frick. He's been on the, the juice machine, obviously. <laughs> Carrot. <laughs> Beet. Sweet potato, I don't know, whatever you put in there. All right! All right. Thank you for that hedge. That's downright gentlemanly of me. Beef voice. 
this goddamn gentleman they have here. Hey, Tiny Fred. Anyone messes with you, you let me know. Alright? Alright. Alright. Oh, we got a game to play. Whoopsie dingle. So far, I've only smashed one Russian soldier's face with an iron. That's not enough for me. Uh, not while all the country of Georgia needs me. All right, I'm still getting shot at for the love of frick. All right, we know what to do. Send all these American soldiers into Georgia. That's not gonna, that's an international incident. Oh, let's check out these lens flares. Oh, Xbox lens flares. Uh, I'll craygasm right now. Get him. Go get him. Trying to rush that sub count. Where you go full time. Oh, that'd be sick, man. If I was going full time, I would... This show would be out of control, alright? Out of goddamn control. We'll get there eventually. This is the longest project I've ever been a part of, everyone. Welcome aboard. You guys are all part of it now. These wind effects are superb. These wind effects are sublime. Who's shooting at me, goddammit? Baddies! Alright, I got the top squad on my team. I just barely went prone in time. Captain's not filling us with confidence. Authorities draw still chapter six. Let's have two sections of the city to finish exploring and then moving on to investigation on the Iron Throne. I don't know what the hell you got. Oh, Baldur's Gate, hell yeah. I got a bunch of Baldur's Gate heads here. Mark, we're gonna be playing Baldur's Gate on PS2 later this episode. I'm going deep on this episode. We got too many games. I ain't got time to frick around. We got too many games. Where the hell am I going? All right, okay, new guy. You head out in front of the distractible frick. <laughs> Start shooting my own teammates. <laughs> Alright, lay prone in the middle of the open field! Alright, good shooting, everybody! Did they get one of us? Oh, God. Alright, get, get to cover! You blew my cover! I'm crouch running. Full tilt run. God damn it. Run, you fool. Alright, here we go. I see him. Smash his face with an iron. Alright, shoot him in the penis. Come on, goddammit. Are these bullets following the Coriolis effect? I think they are. Wow, they got Super Soldier over there. I, I'm out of bullets! How did Captain run out of bullets? He hasn't hit anyone yet. Well, goddammit, what the frick am I doing? Alright, can I switch to this guy? Hell yeah. Alright, we'll show him how it's done. Show Captain A-hole how it's done. Hey, you want to win a war? You got to do it like this. That's not how you win the war. Come on, you want to live forever? Oh, God damn it. I don't want, oh, this guy has my number. He's shot me about 14 times. Where the, where the frick are you? All right, auto target, please. All right, we got him. I didn't know where he was, but I still got him. All right, that's one fanny shot. Oh, I can't shoot him in the fanny. I can't pick up his gun either. What the hell am I doing? Alright, I don't think these five bullets are really going to last me. This day is windy as frick. I love Dark Alliance. Yeah, Dark Alliance is... The graphics really caught me. We're, we're there, everyone. The graphics are... Oh, for the love of Pete. How do you not get spot... What the... Oh, I see him now. I see him. I see him. I see him. Alright, good job, crew. Go prone! The hell am I getting shot at from? Alright, there's only one answer. Kamikaze. I got five bullets to my name. And I got five kids to feed. Alright, you're lucky there, Santiago. I almost blew your kneecaps off. Is there a man in that shanty? Uh oh, Santiago's down. Oh, frick. Jesus Christ, this game is really... <laughs> They'll give you a lot to go by here. And they are kill crazy, though. They're getting all the kills. 
Hey, save some for the rest of us, guys. Is this guy coming after me? And I almost blew Jeff Hawk's head off. He's busy doing freaking kickflips and skateboard moves. Get off that skateboard and help us out for a second, why don't you, Jeff? By the way, you guys suck at recon. The entire point is not to fire your weapon. Oh, God. Well, Shorty, I don't know what... Oh, dear Lordy. Why don't you tell the rest of us how to play it, Shorty Straw? Goodbye. I don't even know what the frick I'm doing. What, am I supposed to be crawling everywhere? Can I switch my guy? Or This is literally... It's, it's a simulation. When you die, you die for real. Hey, what happened to the other squad, man? I don't know. Heard a lot of gunfire. That's not the mission. We're supposed to be deadly quiet. Why do I have a machine gun then, Shorty Straw? Why do I have 200 bullets? That's like 50 pounds of ammunition. When you're dead, you're dead. You die in real life. My heart! You guys ever watch that movie called Brainstorm? With Christopher Walken in it? Where they can record brain stuff so accurately? If you put this machine on you that records your brain stuff so accurately, but you die in the machine, then anyone who else uh, who watches the tape that it records and then watches it with their brain machine, it will kill them too. And so what they do is they find a way for it not to kill you. Like they go in and basically snip out the part where it tells your body to die. And then when you put it on, you basically get to see what happens when you die. And it's like literally all these ethereal beings floating into like this uh, cosmic vortex. It's a crazy scene. Brainstorm. No one's ever seen it. It's awesome. I have to spoil it for you just so you'll watch it. All right. It's a game that's weird. Shorty, am I literally supposed to be playing it like this? Shh. Come on. Get over here. Gotta go. I have seen Brain scan Yong Street. How cool was Edward Furlong's uh, bedroom in that movie? Am I right? Shorty, maybe you just were playing it wrong. All right. Maybe you gotta throw caution to the wind and just get out of your mind for once in your goddamn life. Let's go. Come on, Shorty. Live the dream. And America, goddammit. Let's go. It's windy as frick out here. Let's go. All right, well, good thing the other team already littered this whole battlefield with dead bodies. All right. How cool was Edward Furlong's widescreen CRT? Did he have a widescreen one? Give away your position by firing wildly into the air. Hey, that's actually a six strat. They don't teach you that one in army school. Actually, when I used to play Counter-Strike, uh, really, not competitively, but when I played it religiously, I was never good enough to be competitive, but I was good enough to get a sick KD Lang ratio. Um, I would always sometimes fire just to tell people where I was so that it would change their game plan. You know, if you got a bunch of campers, you fire, then they start thinking, oh, they start changing their game plan, right? You fire and then you move and then you see if they investigate. Oh man, I love stuff like that. Get your character to take his top off and run through the field naked. Now that is day 101 Army Strats 101 in the Radland Army. But yes, Markman here has been playing through uh, BG1 and we've been chatting up. Uh, chap, we uh, love it. Shorty has found a kindred spirit. I would love to play those games, but I, it would just, I would be the worst. I would be the worst, Shorty. I think I'm better at this game than I am at Baldur's Gate, and I am pretty goddamn good at this game. I'm lost, everybody. All right, Alpha Team and Bravo Team were just the wrong call here. I don't know, I just woke up. I don't know where I am. I'm still the worst at Baldur's Gate. How can you be the worst at Baldur's Gate? You play it all the time. GBA Baldur's Gate, rad, please play. Don't test me. I've still never played StarCraft on a PC. I've only ever played the N64 version. The one that got away. How bad can you be at Baldur's Gate? I don't know if he's beaten it several times. He must be pretty goddamn good at it. Maybe he's modest. Mr. Modesty himself, old Shorty Straw. Rad Baldur's Gate, you can have up to six-person multiplayer. What? I didn't even know it was a multiplayer game. Shows what I know. All right, here's where it all went south last time. And I guarantee you it won't go south again. I'm personally guaranteeing a victory. We're gonna win the war. 
We're not even at war. Well, we're gonna win it. All right, what the hell? How high, how high up this mountain do they make us climb? Great wind sound effects. Yeah, with headphones on especially, Art. This is actually next level wind effect. I know I use. Oh, for the love of God. You whiffed it. Free cat. Frick, frick, frick. This is never going to stop hurting. Ever. Right here, his fanny has to be this big! He's stuffing his pants full of paper towel. This big! up the mood there. All right. All right. Apparently, you have to sneak your balls off in the game more than Metal Gear Solid. They're like, hey, Metal Gear Solid was a freaking arcadey experience. No. In Warfare, you have to crawl for 12 hours, and that's what we're going to make sure all you do. Got that. And hard swings. Okay, next one. I, I wish could have done more. I don't think I got a single kill on that. My team was on fire. Hey, don't worry, coach. He's over there. Don't worry, coach. He's over there. Get him a body bag. All right. Feels good. It feels good. You know what I mean? Oh, Lordy Jesus in heaven. We got Master Chief himself getting in here hot and heavy. How long does it take to get out of the spaceship at the start? Because I want to get to the damn Halo. Can I skip stages? I want to be on the ground in the Halo in the Warthog by the end of this video. How do I do that? Is there cheats? Does Halo have cheats? I'm going to have to go to GameFAQs right now because I ain't starting this game if there's a cheat and I'm not going to use it. Halo. First level's like 30 to 40 minutes. No! Oh! Maybe we'll come back. Maybe we'll be back at Halo at some point. I want to play this right now, though. Good luck finding Halo 1 on GameFAQs. Halo Origin Pack? No! Halo Fire Team? Jesus, for the love of frick! Halo Xbox. Come on. You know the one I'm talking about, right? Mm -mm. Xbox Live Arcade. I don't know. GameFAX has officially dumped the bed. Uh, if there's any sick cheats, I'm going to use them. If not... Was it like Halo something? It's just called Halo here. Halo Triple Pack, Halo Origins, Halo Zero. I've seen Halo so many times now, the word doesn't even look right anymore. Halo Combat Evolved. All right. There it is. All right. Thank you. I blink. You saved me. I almost had a schizoid embolism right here on stream. All right. Cheats. Come on. Cheats. Cheat your balls off. On the PC version. God damn it. All platforms. No, not PC. Xbox. No, there's only glitches. They are so full of it, they didn't even give us any cheats. All right. Well, we'll play the game anyway. I'm out of touch on how to replay these games. On an actual Xbox, you have to get 
allegedly, I would never do this. I have all the discs right beside me. Legit as frick. Uh, but you have to get the ISOs off the internet. You have to convert them to ISO sometimes from bin and... bin and Q files. And then uh, you can just load them up onto a hard drive on your Xbox. But it's a real pain in the butt and you have to bug Devin for like four weeks straight to figure out how to do it. And then you finally have an Xbox at work. I would love to. Yeah, it was a lot of work to get this going because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But Devin also sends you a, uh, allegedly, a uh, disc that has some sort of exploit that lets you go right inside the machine and basically say, stop doing what you're supposed to do and do what we tell you to do now. And then you load up some software onto it. Oh, but all the new games. All right. DevonPiracy.com. No. .gov.org. Ah, for frick's sake, he says. Work, life, school, and not enough time for Halo, am I right? And not enough time for sick guitar riffs. Which is what this song has from time to time. All right, we're going to play some Halo. We're going to Halo our balls off. Now, I can't get in the Warthog with all my best buddies on the internet, but you know what? We'll do the next this next best thing, and we'll do the start mission of Halo. Well, we'll see what it looked like. we got to live the dream, all right? Let's read this while it's loading, while it's loading up. Bungie's science fiction extravaganza for Xbox. You know, Bungie from Oni fame. Uh, may propel action adventure games into another dimension. Almost! Bump it into my green screen. I mean, my real wood brick wall back here. Alright, that's the, uh, gosh darn it, Yonk Street, why do I always click the link? Art! It's, Art's the one that gets it! If you were on YouTube right now, Art, you'd be clicking on 69nakedladies.com uh, uh, without even hesitating. When I used to uh, go to BCIT, you'd, I used to get so much spam mail back in like the 2008 era, and you'd open up your email at school, because they flashed the whole server every day. Um, so I'm like, what do I care? So I would click every link that came in my uh, spam email, just to see what happened. There's some weird websites. Very little content, it's just it's nonstop weird stuff. do not even make sense. I don't even know what the hackers are trying to do. Go ahead and hack this, it's not my machine. Anyways, Bungie first revealed its science fiction epic Halo last year. Okay, uh, last year. They revealed it last year, where was I? Halo Merge is one of the first, uh, the key first party titles, title launches for the Xbox when Microsoft acquired Bungie and made it an independent, a strong independent woman, uh, an internal studio. And the game remi uh, remains a work in progress, but oh, what promise. We're, hey, guess what everyone? I happen to have a copy right here. Bungie, you're dead to me. Yeah, Grungy, or uh, Shorty really took a personal when they did that marathon game. Microsoft saw something in them though, Shorty, and you gotta admit, they took a, they took that little kernel and they turned it into an empire. Alright. Gosh darn it, uh, yeah, that's a good one. Devin.crimpers, nipple crimpers, alright. Not, well, not nipple, God, d damn it, no, not nipple crimpers, nipple hair crimpers. I keep accidentally ordering nipple crimpers. Halo glows, even from a preview form, Halo looked drop-dead gorgeous, thanks to Xbox's cutting-edge NVIDIA graphics hardware. The Bungie boys are going wild with the visual effects. Huge, otherworldly vistas revealed in the vast landmass curved up into the sky in the horizon. I want to get there, goddammit. Is there a way? Can I just blast through it? I might have to just blast through it. Let's cut. Let's what? I want to see the Halo, because I remember that was the showstopper for me. When you open up on, like, the... in the wilderness on the Halo, I still don't know what the story is for Halo. I actually don't really like Halo games. <laughs> but I remember I was pretty blown away. It reminded me of when Mar Mario 64 came out and I was a PlayStation head, forever. And I was like, man, that 3D game looks pretty rad. Damn it. And you have this little pang of like, oh no. They're getting to play rad as frick games. Oh no, they're playing rad as frick games. I'm stuck here playing these frickin' Crash Bandicoot piece of poo games. Actually, some funny memes where people do that in places they sing the Halo theme in anywhere with a lot of echo. And now I'm part of that pantheon of legends. Dang, now I gotta secure uh, Devin Devin's nipple hair crimpers.org before it gets nabbed. Alright, yeah, it's on the it's it's on the table now. Alright. Bungie perfected smooth shooting. Fight me. Hedge Knight, I think the problem was until Call of Duty 4 came out. 
I just didn't understand. Because Call of Duty 4 had the aim down the scope button on the right left trigger. And that's when it started making sense to me. This whole click in the thumbstick button, that's where I couldn't get, I couldn't wrap my goddamn head around uh, shooters. And not to mention, all the shooters that came out around this era were inverted by default. And so I'd go in going like, that doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel right. I think I need to push up, but I don't know that yet. So I just avoided them like the plague until Call of Duty came out. And I played at the kiosk at the mall in EB Games. And I'm like, this is fun as frick. What the hell is going on? What's going on this song? All right, well, let's find out. Halo, let's find out. I might actually have a save here that's kind of far in the game. Should I just load it up to that? Halo Combat Crimpers Evolved, says Young Street over on YouTube. And he was right to do it. Except COD's too real, man. I need some fantasy. I like Well, COD felt good the way it controlled. All right, campaign. I could just scoot right here. Halfway in the game, or do you guys want to start at the beginning? I'll let you chat. This song is sick as frick. You know, I think the mini bosses, the Nintendo cover band, actually... I think PAX paid them to cover this song at some point, because I heard them play this song. I'd love COD if it were isometric. Love my escapism. Well, I don't know, in Call of Duty 4, when they launched the nuke in the air, I thought, well, that's frickin' bad news. I guess that is still sort of realistic. Up to you, Rad. The save is still on the first level. It is. It's just not at the very, very start of the level. I blink. You're the only one who knows. Do I document it for all time? Lurker Lou's coming in here still! They get so much mileage out of this theme. And honestly, I love it. Yeah. I remember when Halo 3 came out, they did a really sick rendition of it, too. I beat Halo 1 and 2 and really love those. Uh, those games. You got space monsters killed, dragons, humans, wild guns. Let me add them damn space monsters. All right, let's just start afresh. You select an empty profile. You want to play it? Hell yeah, I do. And you know who wants to go hard and heavy? My boy. Master Chief, get fricked. Move on over. There's a new Master Chief in town. Dumper. I'm gonna scoot on over to easy because we're gonna get to the goddamn next area. Oh. I'll let you guys hear it for the uh, documentation purposes. What hours do you stream, Shorty? Shorty's in Finland, so he's literally streams while I'm sleeping. I can't get to your stream ever, Shorty. It's so upsetting. Why are campaigns so undervalued? I liked the campaigns in uh, Call of Duty, actually. But some people eventually would just buy the game and go straight to online. Oh, God, look at that. Space. Why the hell did they build a Halo? I still don't know. Playing pretty damn smooth, everybody. We got a smoothie. Mike propaganda, get in my veins. That's what happens and why I never see it. Yeah, he's, well, he streams at like 10 a.m. for us. I just happen to be dead asleep at that time because I work nights. Cortana, all I need to know is did we lose them? I think we both know the answer to that. I mean, you can't even play this game with Cortana stuff enabled on your machine. Smooth as a nipple crimper. Long Street for you and me both. Hey, we got a nipple crimper in your stocking this Christmas. We made up. Not a nipple crimper. <laughs> God. How did they get here first? Oh man, I got a nipple crimper. I need nipple hair crimpers. As for tracking us all the way from Reach, at light speed, my maneuvering options were limited. How do you build a high altitude, we low down. orbit drop? Until these are the things that I uh, keep no me up at night. Edge. The hole we tore in subspace. Yeah, you can spoil it if you care. I can spoil it if you care. Do they only tell you what the Halo is at the very, very, very end of this game? Would it be considered a spoiler? Halo is an ancient thing. It will be explained through the first game. Oh, okay. Well, I'm certainly never going to play this game all the way through. But I don't know. Does it does it spoil it for everyone in the world who might be watching this game in the future? I don't know. That's the power you have in your hands. Well, that's it. I blink. All right, let's dive in there, Shorty or uh, Master Chief. Get your balls in gear. Sorry for the quick thaw, Master Chief. Things are a little hectic right now. The disorientation should pass quickly. Welcome, Welcome back, back, sir. We'll, we'll have, have you battle-ready battle stat. Chief, please look around the room. I need to get a calibration reading for your battle suit's diagnostic. Are you sure you're not inverted? Thank you, sir. Yes, I'm sure. I'm bringing your health monitors online, sir. 
He really likes infusing you with things. Yeah, sure. Well, I just can't get Shorty out of my brain. All the rad challenge. Vital signs look normal. Seeing Shorty in my nightmares. Okay, sir. Go ahead and climb out of the cryo tube. So far, it doesn't look like it's the best graphics game on the Xbox that I I've played. I gave you a double dose of the wake up stim. Take a quick oh no, I'm a stim junk. You can't give me that. I'll never get off the stuff. Station when you're ready. Oh god, I'm out of my mind. I'm stimming out of my mind. I'm stimming, bro. Yeah, I've played this intro mission like 12 times while I was trying to figure out how to get this to look good. But we're short of time. Cause I had the retro tank at first, but I only had the RCA coming out of it, and it looked awful on stream. So I had to get this thing called a pound cable, which is not necessarily the best, but it actually looks fairly. What the hell? Target? Oh god. Damn. What are you to who are you talking to, Master Chief? Good. Get the lights, please. Sir, I'm some calibration errors. Oh, I'm going to your looking stick. Don't you dare invert it. It'll mess with my brain. Try targeting the flashing yeah. light. Is that better or should I switch it back? Uh press B to try it the other way. No, leave it like it is. What this is weird the way they word this. Press B to try it the other way, sir. I think I know what he's okay. trying to say. Like S-Video is the underdog for capture. Yeah, but I don't have any S-Dog. Like I don't have the S-Dog, bruh. S-Video. Pound cables are decent. I'll take a pound cable. Uh, leave it like this, please. Okay, I'll leave the pitch normal. I would have got one of those Chimera cables, but they are completely out. You can't even order them anymore. You can't even get on the waiting list for them. Yo, S-Dog, shorty pound cables. Ah! I'm ready for the energy shield. All right, let's go. Please follow me to the energy shield test station. I'm stimming, buddy. Let's go. Anyways, while I was testing the RCA quality, it was so blurry and crappy. I was like, I can't stream this. I won't subject all of you to that. I need to find a way. And $50 later, there's my pound cable. Okay, bring his energy shields online, please. Where are these emotes? Young's blanky. All right. Shield read is fully charged. Yeah, if you're a tutorial spaceman, I do what I want. Michael Ironside wouldn't stand for this. Let's see if I can perfectly spin with this. There we go. That's how you know I'm out of my mind. Alright, I blew it. Balls, hot nuts, nut, good job. Crazy face. Alright, sh shield's stimming out of my mind, man. And you have just a big chunk of spam. So one of the things that I noticed when I was playing this game with RCA cables is that the text on the screen was unreadable on stream. But if it's going, oh man, 69mega.com is back on YouTube. To skip the weapons diagnostics and I yeah, all right, you guys gotta help me out. Someone who's got a free monitor, just type in how do you moderate Twitch or a YouTube chat live? I'll get these guys banned into oblivion. Good idea. You better get to your evac. I've been spamming everyone all episode. RCA text is called dot crawl. Oh, they're killing him! God, get out of there! Sam! Sam! Come on, we've got to get the hell out of here. You know what I think was a whiff on the Halo series, at least in this game? Is the sound the little grunts make. Oh, oh no! Oh, alright, it looks like I'm on my own here. Let's go. Get the Tycho drums going, let's go! I'm out of my mind. Alright, I'm not going that way. Yes, I am. Yeah, crouch. Fine, I'll do whatever you want. We're all gonna die. Oh, jeez. Come on, have some confidence. Ah. Ah. I got no weapon. I can't even attack this guy. Yeah, the little guys. All right, all right. Has an empty emote. I love it. He has an empty emote. Oh, so you can do all sorts of weird, fricked up stuff. Let's go! I still don't have a gun. Ah, oh, goddamn. Sir, the captain needs you on the bridge ASAP. Let's go! You better follow me. Yes. I found him. Get rid. Look at those particle effects. Hell yes. What's everyone's preferred way to watch this show? Like on, well, I don't know why you would watch it on YouTube if I got 69 mega going all over the place. Freaking a-holes. Oh no, it's just because chat doesn't scroll. Alright, they might not be coming after me again. 
Alright, let's go. Like, I actually loaded Halo up with multiple cables and took a screenshot right here each time and kept sending them to Devin like, Devin, does this look any good? It look worse. Better? Worse. You can actually read his name tag now. I like watching on YouTube. Oh, they are coming after me. 69 Mega is literally still going after me. I actually like watching on YouTube. I just have Twitch chat open. All right. No thanks to your driving. Yeah. Did Ma Master Chief always talk? Yeah, hey, just saying, uh, waddling, waddling, what, what it's, yeah. Report. I think they're called grunts, aren't they? Been one of their boarding parties. Chat is better on Twitch. Well, the chat on Twitch does have this. I can't argue with that. Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. All right. All right, I can't argue with that. I want to argue with that, but I can't. We're abandoning the office. All right, this is a good-looking face, actually. While you do what? Go down with the ship? In a matter of speech. Whoa, he put the pipe in. He's not freaking around. Try and land the autumn on it. With all due respect. You can make me a mod on YouTube next chance you get. Is there a way that you already found a way to do it? I appreciate your concern, Cortana. Hold on, where are you typing it, Yonk Street? Protocol is clear. I want to support the YouTube site. Yonk Street, this. absolutely unacceptable. That means you This meant what monitor, but... Oh, like on... Lock in a selection. On screen or on phone. Upload them to my neural Posted a pic on Discord. All right, let me quickly look at Discord. Aye, aye, sir. I'm supposed to be saving the universe right now, but I will look at this thing on Discord. Which All right, hold on. Where you come in, Chief? Get Cortana off this ship. Oh, Young Street sent me something on enemy. Discord as well. <laughs> oh, okay, it was the dictator. Now I know what movie you're talking about. Weapons research. You may want to not broadcast the news that you just I understand. In my opinion, it's for celebrities. Well, some people might scoot in, and it also saves it on YouTube after, which is nice. You initiate a land. Not that you'll listen, but I'd suggest letting my subroutines... Alright, I don't know where it is, Shorty. I can't find it on the Discord. Excellent work, Cortana. In what tab did you post it? Alright, Cortana, get fricked. We're gonna do some fricking now. Not with Cortana, that would be interspecies mingling, and I can't abide by that. Mod chat, okay. Alright, I'm gonna do the fricking now. Right after I look at this sick halo. Sick. I gotta look down here, too. No one ever comes down and enjoys this view. Oh, God. All right, good thing there's a ladder down here. I don't know, Master Chief's starting to slip. Literally and figuratively. His mind is slipping, and he's literally slipping down the ladder. Now nah, we're talking. See the sound they make? Hedge. Oh, oh, no. Oh! Mo, get the frick in here. I need you in here, buddy. Wait, is that number eight hundo? Mo! Hold on a second, Mo. Mo, so help me God if you're number eight hundo. No, oh, sorry, buddy, Mo. Seven ninety nine. We're one follow away from eight hundo, someone. It could be yours. But thank you for stopping in, Mo. And thank you for getting your balls on that uh, freaking guest list. Right, if you haven't watched a lot of the show, that might sound like a weird thing to say, but it is a totally normal thing to say. Trust me. This little sneak attack coming over here? I just realized I got a goddamn assault rifle here? And it's on easy mode? No one's gonna stop me. I'm getting off this goddamn uh, spaceship and we're getting down to that halo. Pronto. He could be anywhere, including sneaking up right behind me, as loud as frick. This huge dude, six foot seven dude. I remember this halo. I had fun with this one. Mo, we're playing the original on the OG Xbox with the OG Xbox controller. Look how goddamn big this controller is. Big as my goddamn torso. Alright, um... Let me get that up there. Alright, I don't know where the hell I'm going. Master Chief, where the frick? Uh, gameplay help. No, I don't need that. I'm raw dogging it. I still got it! Don't worry, guys. I saved your life. Oh, what the hell? Did something just hit us? Move it! Back to the airlock! What? You just shot that alien on the back and then ran away. Yeah, well, Master Chief's not a model of heroism. It's more like the the hero, the hero that we got, not the hero that we need. All right, watch me get in here. And just get out of my mind. Frick! Yeah. All right, that was not the plan. Not the plan. All right, you guys have to answer me. Is there headshots in this game? Is that a thing? Like, do I do more damage doing headshots? To attach their boarding craft. No. We go out and they come in. Oh, okay. Well, then it's worth doing some headshots. All right. Oz, it's not a bloody thing. What the hell's going on here, everybody? Try the Magnum, Rad. Oh, yeah, the Magnum was OP in this game, right? 
they nerfed it in number two is what I remember hearing. Oh, here we go. Fuck. Oh, here we go. For her pleasure or for yours? At one shot, one pull, one shot. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, these guys aren't filling me with content. Are we at war with these guys or are they just some little fricksters that are like Fraggle Rock or something? I think there's some generous auto aim going on here. Oh god, this guy wants a piece of the hard rain. All right, he's, he's giving me the hard rain, frick! I right, shot him right in the penis. Alien penis. I've obtained one of five plus ODSTs as a result of my communal living. I don't, the hedge, that sounds like that means something and I have no idea what the hell you just said. I know ODST is a halo property. Oh, Halo 1 through 5, okay. But Rad, if you want to add moderators, you got to go into the dot 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 symbol next to the name tag and add moderator. All right. That's all I need. All right, I'm going to we're going to test out Yong Street. Yong Yong Street. Yong Street, your stream should be called Yong Stream. And that's a fact. All right, I don't even know where my chat is because I have Studio open. It doesn't do anything. There's nothing here. I'm going to have to go actually to YouTube right now and where my own stream will be in the background and I think I have moderator privileges in my own stream that should be the way it works right all right here we go thank you for looking that up that's uh it was dogging me background all right, and that's think... my own show back there in the dot 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 all right I'm looking to, there's the dot 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 manage moderators no I guess I don't have a moderator yet oh well, there's Yong Street oh here we go I'm gonna give Yong Street and Shorty Straw. Money cannot buy the honor which has been bestowed tonight. Both of you guys get the freaking Dragon Doji. Boom. Shorty's got a Dragon Doji. Boom. Yong Street, you're a bit of a rascal. Now you're stepping up to the big plate. Goddamn, I had moderator. Hell yeah, a bunch of moderators now. All right. All right. Take that 69 mega dot space com. New AI dating for all tastes. Ah ha ha ha. Goddamn. I'll see if I can swat those bots. Yeah, give them a swatting that they swaddle their fanny, all right? That's the only way to tell them who's boss. That or just watch season one on Who's the Boss. Take your pick. I appreciate that, guys. God, that's been dogging me for so long. You guys need me over on this side? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. One thing Halo's missing is a waypoint marker. All right, and down this way. Just follow the litter of dead bodies. All right, apparently there's dead bodies over here. Dead bodies over here. I think Halo 2 added a waypoint marker. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. All right, why don't you crawl over here? Okay. That doesn't look where I'm supposed to go. Here we go. Can't remember though. It was basically 20 years ago. You don't remember every corridor of this whole game off by heart? Oh, blink. Oh, man. Handing out mod badges. I've been taking care of the station for the last two years. Now with impeccable precision. My record speaks for itself. And what a record it is. Is that a dirty sock on the monitor, Dan? I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. All right, I checked it out, everyone. Nothing back there. I will go on ahead as soon as I find out where the frick I'm going. Let me go in here. I don't know what the hell is in here. I got overshield actually. Sick. Alright, that's not where I'm supposed to go. Here, here, Dan. Dan is getting fricked tonight. Alright, you guys, uh. God damn it. What the hell am I supposed to go? Turn on the flashlight. Oh, is there a sick flashlight button? Is it one? Of, oh, hell, hell yeah. All right, well, that's helping. I can see where I'm going. All right, all right, all right. We're making big plays here now. Is this where I'm going? No. Is 
this is where we're going. All right, this looks hot and heavy. Does anyone see him? Yeah, I'm the one with the flashlight on. Are you a bunch of crazies? Just tell me where to go. I'm dinking around here. I'll I'll save the day. You just gotta tell me where to go. All right, these a-holes are gonna botch this up for me. I know it. All right. A flashlight was a bust. You get some hot drinks over here. It's clear. We have no idea what we're doing. Oh, you guys are a-holes. Guys, I'm literally seven feet tall. I can't jump over this barricade. Help me out. Right, there must have been something over here I missed. Turn that flashlight on. Flash those fannies. All right, here we go. It must just be this way. I thought I'd been here because there were dead bodies everywhere. Now we're talking. All right, go. Do or die, buddy. Smashed him. All right, we are speed running this game now. What the hell? Man, I hate doors. They're my arch, arch enemy in video games. Why is there no Mountain Dew in this game? As they don't freaking get extreme as frick like I do all the time. There we go. They're obviously not doing sick uh, skateboard moves at all times. And I can't live with that. Let's follow Master Chief. I'll tell you what to do, all right? Oh, yeah, this might be my final hour here. Bad call, Master Chief. Oh, here we go. Smash him. Smash his face with an iron. Alright. For those that have never played the game before, if I recall correctly, weapons do good damage against, uh, like, unshielded enemies, but the laser weapons do good damage against shields. Alright, so you want to kind of mix and match. Nah, I don't feel like mixing and matching. Alright, we're zipping now, dudes. Don't you hurt my friends! Okay, whiffed it. The melee uh, button being on B sure is inconvenient. You're basically running and aiming with the right thumbstick, and then you have to let go of aim just to melee a guy. Alright, I saved your life, buddy. Oh, Jesus Christ! I didn't think Halo was that kind of game. Whoopsies. Did he just shoot his own teammate? What the hell's wrong with him? I'm crazy. Master Chief's out of his mind. All right, we cleared him out. Stairs, the landing right. above us. Well, watch out everyone. Master Chief will just smoke you for no reason. There's no safety railing on these stairs. What kind of spaceship is this? You're dead, buddy! And I'm zipping. And I'm cruising for a bruising. For delivering some bruises. Bloodlust over on this crew. Leave some for me. I know this is not the way you're supposed to play the game, like on easy mode where you can just run and smash people. But we want to get to that damn halo, and we will get to that damn halo. Why do we have to abandon ship? I'm smashing everyone's face with an iron. Alright, Dale. Uh, they'll turn on you too and kill if you kill too many of them, if I recall. Wow. Like, Master Chief's an a hole. Kill him. That's an interesting touch there, Lurkulu. Friend or foe, they will all die. Blast doors closing. I like Covenant these blast doors. Destroying the life bombs. Hey, good to have you here, Lurkulu. Man, we had the golden age there when everyone was just like on lockdown and could be there all night. Miss seeing some Lurkulu. Right now, the ship is getting hit by a spaceship fire. Oh, okay. Fine. I'm not going to pull a data and just jump out the airlock. All right. 
All right, we're going pistol time. Odd audio cue. All right, that's probably not where I'm supposed to go. All right. I'm in a Jeffrey's tube, goddammit. Oh, here we go. I sound like I have stiletto heels on. I'm detecting covenant movement outside the access ways. Right. Activating motion tracker. Let's find a safe exit. This one seems safe. Let me out. Let me at him. Find another way through. Okay. Dang. Hey. This one seems safe. Let me go. Let me at him. We're too close. We need to find another route. Oh, God damn it. Motion. Here we go. Bingo. It's all clear. Wait. We need to get through that door, but it's been damaged by an explosion. All right then. Analyzing. The door's control mechanism is offline, but it's taken a lot of damage. You should be able to bash it open with the butt of your weapon. Hell yeah. I didn't tell you to flip your gun around like it's sick. All right. So much screaming, I know there's screaming everyone in the ship. The sound is fricked or is it just me? Yeah, the, the, it's bedlam here, Art. <laughs> they didn't even see me coming. All right, turn the flashlight on. It is on. Whoa! Oh damn, I shouldn't have shot their little buddy. Oh, damn, the headshots are for real with this gun. And the penis shots are even more surreal. Let's go. Another. <laughs> Did you hear the little alien say he's unstoppable? Why am I able to hear what they're saying? Do they speak English? That's why they want you abandoned, not until every last one of these fricksters is shot in the penis. It looks like the Covenant wanted to get you. Oh, you assholes. All right, now we get to scene of the crime. This is at the start, everyone. That's where I went and got stimmed out of my mind. All right, where are we going here? Other control room. All right, anything hot in here? JRPG action? Any JRPG hot items back here? No. Every game is better with JRPG hot action. All right, uh, it really does sound like uh, you're killing Ewoks. Yeah, they're very Ewok-like, right? What is this guy's problem? I don't even have any uh, grenades yet. Remember the grenades in this game, everyone? Yeah, the ones that bounce and the ones that stick. Multiplayer was pretty damn fun, I must admit. Woo! I played a lot of multiplayer with Halo 2, where we would actually get two Xboxes, and we would bring all the controllers over we could, and then just do a uh, split screen that way, with two TVs and two Xboxes. All right, turn on the light, goddamn. Where am I going? All right, into the fray. Into the frick. All right, oh, here we go. Back into this Jeffrey's tube. Hey, is Jeffrey in here? He is. All right. Tell him there's two dead fricksters in here. Why do these big guys even hang out with these little a-holes? Did not know who he was messing with. Kill the blue elites, the tiny grunts will run away. Oh, okay. It's like killing the wizard first. <laughs> Satisfying though. I can't deny the satisfaction level I get from smashing one of those guys. Especially with this song. Play Dan! Get fricked. I'm going straight for it. You want a piece of this? You want a piece of the hard rain? Alright, that guy wanted a piece of the hard rain. Does Halo 1 have sniper rifle with rocket launcher? Indeed it does. A rocket launcher is separate, yeah. The sniper rifle was uh, click to zoom. Oh, you can click to zoom here. Hell yeah. I mean, I've been doing it like a chump the whole time. How am I supposed to aim directly at an alien's penis without this zoom option? All right, it's go time. There, right in the penis. You guys see, I'm like a magnet to that penis. I love that they made the pistol good in this game. Oh, we got red baddies now. Come on, just poke your head up, buddy. Oh, dang, I got grenades now. You're frick. Go, 
What? That guy survived a full grenade to the penis. That takes some... That takes some cojones. Alright, switch to battle rifle here. There's one last life, though. Quickly, get aboard before it launches. Okay, alright, don't yell at me. Is it over there somewhere? Oh, we didn't make it. Oh, no. Yeah. Now would be a very good time to leave. Hell yeah, Master Chief. Get the frick out of here. Boom. Punch it. Yeah, playing on easy is the way to do it. Yeah, because well, we can get to that. We can get to the damn Halo. We gotta. I beat level one. It's down to the Halo now? Oh, frick me. You tell me I'm going down to the Halo? We're gonna make it, aren't we, sir? I don't want to die out here. Get a hold of yourself, Private. Get a hold of your private parts, Private. God damn it. Master Chief's here. You're making, you're embarrassing yourself for a Master Chief. You guys getting pumped as frick? The autumn's accelerating. Keys is going in manual. Oh, Keys is out of his mind. Get a hold of your nipple hair crimpers, soldier! Quit crimping your nipples and get that nipple hair crimp! Sure you wouldn't rather take a seat? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. There's Master Chief. I, still have fingers, I don't even need a seatbelt. I'm out of my mind. Watch me just stand up straight while we crash land this ship. Alright. I hate your team. Clear them out. Uh, I'll turn you on the... Uh, Okay, I don't want them to turn on me or turn me on either way. Uh, I called out tomorrow because I have too much to get done today around the house. Finally coming. Uh, family's coming this week. Hell yeah. Just after Thanksgiving. Oh, bummer. Yeah, those were the days. Oh, here we are. This is Xbox Day. I'm not coming into work today. It's Xbox Day. Fast. This just looked so lush to me at the time. Master Chief, you want to take a seat now, buddy? I'm fine. Did anything happen to your nipple crimpers? Chief, can you hear me? Hold on, let me check. Last, are you all right? Yep, yeah, I'm fine. Can you move? Yep. Wow, everyone else took it hard. Said to check. I don't know if this is a zombie evasion. I don't know what's going on here. The others. The impact. Oh, look at that Nothing. slow pan up. Like a G-string for the cosmos. But we can't give Halo any credit for this. Warning. Pretty sure I Sid Mead did this artwork like 40 years ago. I recommend moving into those hills. If we're lucky, the Covenant will believe that everyone aboard this lifeboat died That is crash. pretty as frick. Lens flare. Oh damn, we got a planet over there. Get to the hills. Dun -da -da -dun -da -da -dun -da -dun -da Run to the hills. Sid Mead also made the Trapper Keeper. Trapper Keeper. Do you guys actually call them Trapper Keepers there? Is that a real word? I still don't believe it. The ring's ecosystem. We call them binders in Canada. ST Till Lush. Still Lush, yeah. This is pretty nice looking still. Especially, and the, one of the nice things about the show hedge is that uh, I can put it in context with all the games that came out around it. And when you look at this, it's like, mm, it's pretty goddamn Lush. What is going on around here? Oh, oh, I'm in deep way now. I'm in some deep yang now. All right, uh, find some cover, goddamn Master Chief. Is this tree gonna do it? Eh, eh. It was a mead notebook gag that went over everyone's head. How dare you be so highfalutin with your comedy. Hey, studio audience liked it. Yeah, lock it up. Alright, game on. What do I care? It's on easy mode. What do I care? I got the pistol. Oh, god damn. I, they got the needlers out here? I don't know what the... F needlers I can't handle, alright? I'm solo here. I'm solo mission. I'm solo with Mario Van Peebles. I'm in a bad way. 
like Mike. Let's go. Oh, you guys think you're getting away? I know you may be slight, but you still have an alien penis that needs to be blown off. Let me dodge that needle. All right, Cortana, I could have used some help there. What hell's your problem? All right, confirmed trapper keepers were the term used in my generation too. Did they change it? Is the term changed now? Did you guys adopt Binder, or did it go to something even more crazy? It's trapper keepers, like wow. What is it? Trap? Is it trapping it? Because trap has negative connotations. It's trapped. It will never be free again. Okay, good lord. What is going on in this planet? All right, this. <laughs> One of these aliens is a little tipsy. I don't know if I have to be shooting this thing, but I will. Do my bullets follow the Coriolis effect? Or the Areolis effect? Oh no, that's no good. Alright, easy mode my Aunt Fanny. I'm getting smashed here. Alright, we just gotta go. I forgot he has shields. It's not worth it. I was trying to pick up that guy's needler, but no. Binder is reserved for uh, the three metal ring binder. Which one is a trapper keeper then? What is, if you don't mind, I've always been curious, what specifically makes a trapper keeper a trapper keeper as opposed to a binder? I mean, trap music is the thing too. Yes, it is. Trap music is what all the kids listen to really loudly on their phone speaker volume while they're walking by you down the street. Like, you really need to be blasting this trap at full volume while you're walking by strangers at this, like in the park? Yes. You need to be blasting it while you're on the bus? Obviously. Obviously. Duo tangs? Uh, duo tangs were like the little things that you would. I don't even know if I don't know if they have duo tangs in the states. Obviously, we have duo tangs. Well, it's a weird word if you think about it. What the hell is a duo tang? I'm getting assaulted here from all fronts. I have to fight these guys with my pinner weapons? That's gonna be tough. Oh, Jesus Christ. I had no idea he was such a pushover. Smashed him. This guy's trying to serpentine on me. Uh, this is not soldier number one. He's sitting there reloading right in front of him, and he's like, I don't know what to do. Come on, soldier, take the shot. Binders reserved for the three metal ring binder duo tanks. Trapper Keeper is like a diary with a lock, right? Why did Cartman on. It looked like he had what I would call a binder on South Park, but he called it a Trapper Keeper, and I always wondered, like, what? Oh, my, my Tootsie's doing that jump. I'm reading a lifeboat beacon over the next hill. You should Here check to see if there are any survivors. I should blast them all into oblivion is what all I heard. Any survivors here? I don't think so. Actually shoot this thing down, because that would be sick. Ah, oh, missed opportunity. Are they shooting at their own guys? Okay, we'll finish this uh, encounter off and then we'll move to the next game. We got more Xbox games to play, baby. Don't you worry, baby. All right, listen to that audio cue. Dan, you want... Oh, whoops. Get the frick out of here. I got the Duke and I will brain you with it, buddy. It's a mess, sir. We're scattered all over the Get my body back. Frickster. It's like when it says Dan the Maintenance Man redeemed Dan the Maintenance Man. Did Dan the Maintenance Man redeem Dan the Maintenance Man? Oh man, we've gone too far now. Alright, hold on. I guess some fancy ones had uh, those little buttery clasps in the middle that you could use to store pages in the middle. Alright, so it's like a super fancy binder. Fair. Alright. Trapper Keeper's like a foldable card paper with pockets on the inside. Like a flap on either side. But only hold papers on the right. Okay, goddammit. 
That's what happens. Hey, man, I'll be back next week, too. Hey, yeah, it's every Sunday. Get back here. You know we're getting out of our mind. And if you're a deranged lunatic and you have your uh, Twitch associated with your Discord, scoot on over to the Discord, too, because I, uh, I do a private show for only the those that are subbed up. And you're subbed up now, thanks to Art, uh, where we do research for the beginning of the show where I talk about movies and music. Good seeing you, buddy. Thanks for uh, giving them the heads up, Art. Guys, that's been Halo. Frick. When you compare that to every other shooter I've played on the consoles thus far, that one's top tier. That one's top tier. Show me a better console shooter right now. Oh, man. Ha, ha, ha. What about uh, Bond? Pro-rating Bond for the few years ago that it came out. Yes, it's quite good, but I don't think Bond stacks up to this one right now. It is actually pretty close. I don't think of anyone that's... Bond is like another high one. Red Faction last week was actually really good as well. Who knew the shooters were getting so goddamn good? Look sharp. Look sharp. You're standing still again. All right, frick. I got lost in that. We just played Halo for like a half an hour. And it felt good as frick. And we ain't done, everybody. We're not done with these Xbox games. Not by a long shot. Red Faction has four-player deathmatches. I guess yeah, you put in deathmatch. That's what everyone's waiting, waiting there. Uh, oh, but what about the deathmatch? Well, Halo had deathmatch too. Halo let you get into a warthog with your buddy, and it felt like it was next generation out of its mind. Hold on. Oh my god, this game amped is literally the best snowboarding game uh, I've played to date, and we're gonna play it now. I had so much fun playing this in the five seconds I played it. You know what they're doing too when they show you this little clip here? This little picture, they're like, look, the light reflects off your snow goggles. And I look at that as a kid and go like, oh my god! Oh, Jesus, no! We've made it. Alright, SSX, make way. Microsoft is waxing up its own uh, nipple hairs. Uh, tentatively titled Amp. The difference? While the courses have been tweaked by X Games architects Chris Gunnerson, uh, the mountains will be based on real ones. Utah's Brighton, Vermont's blah, 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 blah. That is a nice feature, though. All right, the goal is not only to pull uh, pull off tricks in the game's 120 runs, or else you get the run, uh, but also to do them in certain places, such as hidden kickers. All right, that sounds like snowboarder talk. All right, bro, you got to get these hidden kickers, bro. If you find a, a kicker that's not hidden, it's not not the one you do. You gotta find the hidden one. All right. While the right people are watching, oh, that's right. People take your picture while you're biffing in this game, and it's awesome. Private show, <laughs> private show. My nipple hair is showing. We saved that. We reserved that one only for the producers. All right. The private show for a reason. Anyone got any tokens? Yeah, it takes a few tokens. If you want to get that, you got to token up. We call them bits on this platform. All right, amp freestyle snowboarding. Let's get at her. It's just nice to play a good snowboarding game for once. Oh my god, they're all so goddamn awful these days. There was that one really good one on the Saturn I like. Yeah. Amp freestyle snowboarding. Now, who wants to bet? This game is completely overrun with copyrighted music that will get me in trouble on the internet. Let's see now. All right, dead silence, please. No one but Bill Gates may speak. All right, I'm all... There you go. Well, uh, you saw you got no way I can pin messages. Oh, this sounds copyrighted as Rick. Copyright for Frick. For Frick's sake. There's an off chance that it might not be. I think this game actually had an original track that was written for it. But I don't know for sure. Here we go. Come on. If I hear lyrics, then you know it's copyrighted. Wait, no, this game had a lyrics that were talking about amp. Getting amped with my buddies on the internet. Alright, forget. Fred Couples Nation joined the Crimp Nipple Fan Club. Oh no. Is this the one? I gotta see if this has the amp lyrics. Yeah, don't, breathe. don't breathe, yeah, you're playing amped, buddy. Yeah, you get it in. We're risking it all. Just to see if this is amped. 
Come on! No! I think I'm gonna get fricked here! Hold on! Amp. Freestyle snowboarding. Free. Uh, freestyle. I'm filling up the bottom screen here. Freestyle. Uh, come on! You gotta get amp! Alright, I don't think this is the one. Alright, we will push start. Get this one off my screen. Alright! I'm gonna get busted so quick for this. Alright, well, okay, get to options. If you're gonna be this out of control. All right, audio. Oh, it does have the soundtrack. All right, turn it down. It's loud as frick. What? It's still loud as frick. All right, what's in the soundtrack? Oh man, we want emo nonstop. Oh me, am I? I'm just a kid. In a they have metal? Where's the metal? Goddamn it! Oh god, no. Oh, this is. All right, you're not filling me with uh, confidence here. Oh, Jesus. All right, I'm gonna get busted for this easy, but all right. Unless I'm transformative. The bass is too loud in that song. Can't accept it. All right, do I have, I have a cheat for this. So let's, uh, there's a cheat called Gimme Gimme. That's what we're gonna do, options. And we're gonna unlock everything so we can have a great time with all our buddies on the internet. All right, uh -huh. Shift. Gimme. Ah, uh, shift. Hot codes. But they do also say, now you can't save it, dude. I hope you know what you did. Won't be saving it anymore. Cheats are enabled, but you're not saving, buddy. It was already the, the beginning of the end right there. Alright, quick start. Alright, a copyright nightmare this game is. Yes. Alright, ha ha ha. Board select, brah. Let's go right to the Octoban. All right, I'm going for that top score, and we're getting it, and we're locking it up. This seems like a dangerous thing to be snowboarding down, and I wouldn't have it any other way. All right, I forget all the buttons. Watch Jonathan just go to work. Go for it, Johnny boy. Watch me get out of my mind. Hell yeah. That was good as frick. You push up to go faster. I love my crimp nipple hair, everyone. All right, Johnny, watch out, buddy. You gotta want it, though. Do you or do you not want it? Hell yeah. Oh, Johnny, you're fricked. Gameplay time. All right, oh, Johnny, you biffed. Hey, bro, are you okay, bro? Johnny, I can't believe he landed without breaking his back. Oh. Hey, bro, watch out, bro. <laughs> you whipped it. Uh, bro, I didn't whip it. I was uh, playing all along, bro. <laughs> I'll just follow these guys. They know what they're. They know what they're doing. Johnny, stop doing backflips. You're really gonna bone it up. Pull L or R to ride normal. All right. I always pick Rodney Mullen. If you can be Rodney, yeah, Rodney Mullen's out of his mind. Love Rodney Mullen. All right, how long you been into Rodney Mullen? Hey, hit this! <laughs> hit it, bro. Why am I biffing every single jump? All right, hold down A or X. Hold down A for more grabs. All right, is that the end of my run? Oh man, I didn't even get the runs yet. Jonathan beat me into oblivion. Frick him. All right, let's do another level here. Autobahn's full of poo. All right, since Tony Hawk Pro Skater came out, have you ever watched uh, Rodney Mullen's actual? Uh, some of his skateboarding uh, art, it is masterful. He's like the uh, like the most technical skateboarder, pound for pound. Like he invent he invented. Uh, I'm not sure if he invented the ollie, but I think he invented the kickflip. Like he was out of his mind, completely out of his goddamn mind. How are some of these guys getting 350 thousand in there? What what moves are they pulling? All right, Nixon Jib Fest. Let's. Uh, that doesn't sound like a great one. Where? I'm trying to do sick moves and you're wheezing my mojo, man. You went off the little jump? I only go after the big jump. Sick. Watch out, bruh. Oh, tough guy, huh? Is this guy serious? 
Can't even pull a standing freaking double backflip. What the hell? Here we go. YOLO! Oh, God. All right, those 3,000 points are gone. There's something funny going on here with the jumps. There you go. I guess you just, you can't push a button until you're already up in the air. That's why I keep biffing. Oh, dear lordy, that's not what you want. Freaking noob over there getting his brain bashed out on the side of the thing. Stop wasting my film, dude. Well, he's going big. You can't blame him for not going big. I didn't tell you to film me, a-hole. Yeah, you can goddamn make me famous now that I'm pulling sick moves. Bro, I love this game, Shorty Straw. This game is awesome. All right, how do I do sick rail slides? Oh, did you plan that? <laughs> All right, sick rail slides coming up later. Really God damn it, you can't push the button until you're already way up in the air, but according to Tony Hawk rules, you want to be doing it as soon as you get to the top of the lip. What the hell am I doing? What the hell? What? You didn't auto rail slide that? Oh, come on. All right, more break beats is the, clearly the problem here. Kook. I'm a kook. What the hell is wrong with the people on this mountain? Ow. Oh, God. I'm stuck on the wrong side of this fence. All right, we'll do a couple more runs because this game is actually really, really good. I like getting digital. Uh, also, like, get a digital camera, dude. I know. What kind of camera are these a-holes using? Uh, since Tony Hawk Pro Skater came out, like the one in Vancouver before they were allowed to push for speed. Yeah, 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 the one at the 86 Expo. That's exactly the one I'm thinking of. The perfect 100 he did. Oh my lordy. All right, Stratton, let's go. We're talking Rodney Mullen here in the chat, everyone. Art now. Uh, there we go. Get those handshakes in here. Nomad, good to see you, buddy. Sick mode. What song is this? Why do I recognize this song? Is this by a thread? Guys, one of my favorite albums of all time just scooted into this game. Why is this in Amped? This isn't the song I would have picked of theirs. That just threw me for a freaking loop. That's crazy. Why is by a thread in Amped? Do you guys remember that episode of the show I had with Miss uh, Mrs. Rad on it where I brought up my guitar that had like eight by a thread stickers on it? Six stale fish, bruh. Hey! Rail slider, bruh. Ah, I hurt my fanny. This is the exact opposite song you would want for this game. It's their slowest song. All right, buddy, you gotta want it. Get your fanny in gear. Look, I'm trying to pull sick moves. I'm not trying to appease you. I'll make you famous. When, when you see how long my nipple hair is, then I'll be famous, all right? But only when I want. All right, he's out. Now he's out of bounds. Now he's losing his goddamn mind. I'll make you famous. Hey, you dropped your Jesus Christ! I dropped my pumpkin. What the frick is going on in this hill? How the hell do I do a rail slide? Which button is rail slide? I get all these helpful tips at the bottom, but none that say how to do sick rail slides. Oh, God. All right, risky play, but it paid off. Pay dirt. I've seen worse. All right, he didn't, he didn't hate it all in, out and out. Buy a thread as honorary inductee into the Crimp Nibble Hair Hall of Fame. Devin has ordained them. But it's not buy a thread. It's how close? Buy a thread. How dare you, Devin. All right, jump it. How do you rail slide? What the frick is going on? All right, press B to jib. All right, I need to get more jibs here, clearly. I can't believe they have buy a thread in this game. It's it's meant to be, everyone. Oh, man, you better slow down, dude. You're going straight into the goddamn ski lodge. I got to get some hot chocolate. I'm out of my mind. All right, my paladin agentus is down minus 8 AC. What the hell happened to your paladin? All right, one more run because I'm having so much goddamn fun. And then maybe we'll call it for the Xbox games today. Oh, no, there's still one more game I want to play. All right, event. Hey, it's not up to me anymore. It's up to the fate, the gut, the freaking snowboard gods. 
Press B to jib, jibbing on rail slides. It makes sense. All right. Like, honestly, when that song started playing, I'm like, is something playing in the background of my actual room? Why am I hearing this? Jesus Christ! All right. Obviously, I don't have enough emo music playing. That's the only. That's the only reason I'm jibbing it up. I can't land anything in this game, but it's a testament to how fun it is that I'm still enjoying my time. Ready. There we go. You just gotta not get too greedy. That's all. A stinky stale fish is what I just did. Not bad. Yo, I've seen some stinky stale fishes in my day, but none that good, man. I can use that. Good lord. I'm out of my mind. They only gave me 900 points for that. What the frick is going on here? Is that the best you can do? Is that the best jib you can do? No, no, I can do better. Oh, oh, Alright, I held down the B button, and instead of jibbing, my guy just biffed his balls off. Alright, you gotta want it here, buddy. You're facing the wrong direction. This is not the way to win the hearts and minds of the fans of this sport. Uh oh. Right the ship. Alright, how come that one was willing to be 10,000, but that sick move I did was like, ah, eh, 900 points? We gotta go faster here. We're not getting any sick air here. Where the hell are you going? Jib your balls off! Alright, that's, that's not how you jib your balls off. All right, that was sick. All right, it doesn't ha doesn't matter. I banged my head on that big metal pole up there. I think the longer I hold down jump, the more spins I'm gonna do. The cool borders method. I'll make you famous. And not just for your nipple hairs. Smile for the camera. <laughs> I got a nice picture there. Ah, he's well, you didn't need to take that picture. You could hear him clicking. Oh god, it's so fun. I want to do one more. Ah, hit the metal pole, rookie mistake. Uh bash your brain open. Uh rookie mistake. Oh, god damn it, one more. It's so fun, guys. I wish you guys could be here with me. Enjoying how fun this game is. And we can pass the controller back and forth going like that is fun. Rad's right. This game is fun as frick. Do one more. Hit the target. Alright, we gotta hit the goddamn target. I need more emo in the game. That's the problem. I don't have enough emo. Alright, Brenner. Stick your attitude. Over here. Why do you have to immediately go for a backflip? Just stay in the air, you weirdo. Because you have to push down to do the move and then... Alright, stop doing that. Brenner's going to laugh his balls off if you keep doing that. There we go. 17 thou in the bank. Alright, here we go. This one's for all the marbles. Where the, You're just spinning up a mountain now. There you go. Come on, Brenner. Yule Brenner, let's go. I might also say, quite good graphics. Yeah, that's bait. I'm not taking those. I'm going bigger. I'm going home. In a body bag. All right, here we go, everyone. Biggest frick. We're going for it. Come on, they got to land it. Oh, that would have been sick. <laughs> it's just a standing, standing 180, real quick. Oh, come on. Uh, what, who called me a poser? Freaking chumps on this mountain. I don't know what a sick is frick move when they see it. Look, I'm the only guy pulling moves like, oh, God. Over here. You dropped your pocket. I was actually trying my best there, everyone. Just for the record. All right, we got a jib. We're not jibbing. Guy's serious. He is serious. He's deadly serious. Serious as a heart attack. He's getting his ass kicked here. Oh god, I'm not high enough to get on there. I should have put in the code that lets you have super high jumps. Dude, you're all over the place. What the frick are you doing? Sick. Hey. Hey, we, did, we might not have beat Brenner's score, but you know what, everyone? We can be happy with a 31 thou in the bank, in the pocket. We did it. <laughs> Alright, the audience doesn't agree. That was fun as goddamn hell. Alright, I'm always going to be a little unsatisfied if you don't hit the target. Alright, I'm trying my best to hit the target. I can't hit it. Do you need me to hit the target? 
What's your favorite Ewell Brenner movie? Well, I'm going to say Westworld, probably. The movie Westworld, as it's the only one I can even think of off the top of my head. But do you remember in Cool Runnings when Malik Yoba said his name in the show was Ewell Brenner? Do you remember that? Why would he say that? He said, beat a rail site. Yeah, I blinked. What the frick? I, oh, man. That's a good movie, he said. The Westworld movie? Yeah, I remember my uncle wanted to rent it for me because he's like, it's like, oh, all-time whiffs. Frick. He said it was like the original Terminator. Yeah, this robot in the Wild West designed to never stop coming after you. All right, everyone, I think we've done it. Art may need to see some closure on that one, but I don't I don't see it happening. I'm trying my best here, and this game is hard as frick. I need longer runs, man. I need to be running my guts out. Remember in Cool Runnings uh, is such a... Remember, in Cool Runnings is such a good combo starter. I don't know what the hell you just said, Young Street, but he highlighted it, and I am honor-bound to say it out loud. All right, that was fun as frick. All right, what's next? What is goddamn next up that? Net to golf is what's next. All right, we're having a great time. Thank you everyone for sticking around on this uh, premiere episode for goddamn Xbox games. Uh, test drive is fun as frick. We're not gonna play that one just yet. Test drive is usually pretty bad, right? Evo four by no four by four Evo is the one that's bad. Test drive is pretty good. Elemental. Is that the one Abby said was the one? Did they change the name of it to something? I can't remember what Abby said. You'll want to turn off the Xbox and go to bed now, Red. Why? He means remember in Cool Runnings is a great combo starter. It is. It is. Now, this game, Bloodwake, was actually the best graphics game I'd seen of the lot. If you guys want to see me play Bloodwake, let me know. By far, one of the finest intros to the word water is blow it out the blood wake. What, who is writing this? I'm reading their sentence like there's gonna be a big payoff. There was no payoff and now I look like a chump. All right, well anyways, this is probably the best graphics game that I'd seen in the lot. I also have NFL Fever. I think I made two characters in that game as well, but I don't know if we need to play that. And then down here they say Crash Bandicoot from Konami. What? Well, when are we going to get to Tavern Winches? All right, Shorty Straw's been waiting patiently. All right, guys, we got a taste. Oh, my good Lord. I forgot. We're going back to the arcade, everyone, because this goddamn special feature says Vapor Trails 2000 or uh, 2.0. Games that were developed but never released. Thanks to the magic of technology, we can actually play some of these games, including, I told you there'd be another fighting game this episode, 10th Degree, Atari, The Hype. Let me just tell you about The Hype. The best of both worlds in-depth combos and game mechanics of a 2D fighter with the style and visual effects uh, and panache of a 3D brawler. What happened? Market visibility. In the year 1998 was a banner year for fighting games. Tekken 3, Mortal Kombat 4, Soul Calibur, Rival Schools, Street Fighter Alpha 3, Pocket Fighter, and Atari was afraid that 10th Degree would be lost in the shuffle despite its promising gameplay and good looks. So it was shelved. Are you, you think we're just gonna sit there and not play this game? When we can play this game, when I have an arcade at my disposal that I could play all these games, I have a 10th degree machine right here, right now. We're gonna play it. Um, where is it? You know, hold on a second. It's, uh, I don't have a button for it. All right, well, we have to manually go over there. <laughs> Studio webcam view. That machine back there, goddammit. I got it rigged up. It's Street Fighter right now. Just let me get behind. Let me get under the freaking. I'll get behind there. We'll fix it up. We're gonna play this goddamn tenth degree game because this girl's wearing high waisted freaking leotards. I can't. Um, my hands are tied. None of this low rise. If the low rise is gonna be the name of the day in 2000, I'm gonna try extra hard to give every shout out to freaking high waisted uh, attire everywhere. Space Station has an arcade pod. That's a special. Well, it's the future, right? In the future, arcades have been uh, fixed up a little. All right. I love Rad's brain at art happening. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Uh, Shorty, let's see how far it is until the bar wenches. Oh, it's not for way later in the magazine, Shorty. I am very, very far. I'm not getting very far at all. I'm very far back is what I was going to say. I'm not very far into this at all. This is kind of a cool uh, art article for Game Pro. Be like the games that didn't come out, the hype, and then why they didn't come out. I like that a lot. Elbow drop game and get your elbow in here, buddy. Razor sharp, Ginsu knives. <laughs> this was 
for you, Elbow Drop. Oh, yeah! Hulk Hogan is a punk. He doesn't know how to do elbow drops. Only I know how to do elbow drops. Freaking Kinsu knives for elbows. Hey! Hey! Elizabeth! Hey! What the hell happened there? I don't know. Freaking Dan. All right, let me just open up my arcade machine. I don't go to the Radland Dream Arcade anymore. It was too, took too long to load up, you know? I don't think people really appreciated that I had 50 arcade machines that were the same arcade machine. And it would be hell to animate now. Now that I animate each one. All right, I want to play 10th Degree because if we, or what is it called? 10th Degree. Yeah, 10th Degree Black Belt. Let's go. 10th Degree. This prototype works good as frick. Good as frick! We're gonna play it, okay? Coming on a lunch break soon. All right, Shorty, you do your thing, buddy. Hey, don't worry. I'll make sure we give it a big shout-out. I'll give you big shout-outs in the VOD if you ever want to watch it, buddy. All right, open up. I need to play 10th degree black belt right now. And I'm going to. Um, I don't remember which one I even have it in. All right, we got to go to the abyss for a second. Emulators. Oh, for the love of Pete, I don't even have this emulator on here. Fine. What is playing in the background? I still have my Xbox. Oh, that's right. Xbox is still going. Like, why am I hearing punk rock in the background? When I'm supposed to be hearing smooth jams. All right, hold on. Let me add a scene here. I have to make a scene. Fine. We'll see if this... If this botches me up, everyone refresh. I'll be back. What I gotta do... I gotta, I gotta make a scene from scratch while I'm doing a show live. Game. You guys can hear it. It's rad as frick. I'm telling you, it's rad as frick in the background. Main. All right, then. And I will add a window capture. Um... Uh, game. Uh, window capture. Game two, fine, whatever. Dan, no, it's not worth it, Dan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch his kissable lips in just one second. All right, hold on. I got nothing on the screen. All I can do is hear him. He's rascaling me like crazy. Center horizontally, yes. Now we got business over here in this scene. Emulator. Add the scene I just created. Dan. God damn, Dan. I will, I will frick. God damn it. This guy's rascaling me so hard right now. All right, all right, all right. All right, boom. And now, everyone. No! Where did he go? Where the hell did Dan go? Did I banish him finally? No! Not while I'm playing 10th degree Dan. Not while I'm playing this rad as frick game. Oh, of course I have to enter in all my buttons again. Of course. Why would we let Rad just play the game after he set all his buttons the other night? Oh, it's still in there? Hell yeah. Now obviously I'm gonna be Mickey, because she find his frick. I might have to play as Rip after this. All right, I don't need the tunes playing right now. I wasted everyone. We had it all in the 80s and the early 90s and we gave it up. We gave it up for low-rise jeans like a bunch of goons. Jesus Christ. I'm out of my mind, and Mick Jagger over here is getting his fanny handed to him. All right, hold on. I don't even know if you guys can see this. Let's move that over there. Don't, hey, don't hit Miki while she's doing uh, chatting with her friends on the internet. Peace and love. Art, Art's sco scooting out here. All right, good to see Art. Thanks for bringing in uh, John. It was nice to see him again. Ash, he punched me right in my air juggled fanny. Literally. I was air juggling in the air. That is assault, brother. I'm gonna get the boner police on you. And then where will you be? Alright, all the love 
What did they say? Panache of a 2D fighter. Yeah, it actually plays pretty well. Good lord, I beat him into oblivion. Uh, you're out of here, Art. I'll keep run a stream running. I uh, have reasonable boundaries. Uh, I have to set reasonable boundaries if I don't get adequate rest. My nipple hairs get all straight and lazy. Yeah, you don't. You need curly nipple hairs. All right. Thanks for coming in, Art. That's why we have to crimp them. All right. This is actually pretty damn fun. I can't. Money cannot buy the honor which is bestowed tonight. Oh man, I miss fighting game. You guys remember just how many fighting games there were in the early days? All right. A leotard is much different article of clothing than the jeans. Society reached too high to the sun and came crashing back down to reality. Yeah, we went way too high with those leotards. You guys remember 80s aerobics gear? It's like they they had it on lockdown. You know what it was? They just it was like giving us technology that's too good. Like we can't give them that. They'll never be dependent on us again. Here, give them something really awful, then they'll really be dependent on us. You guys remember when UGG boots came out? Like, all right, give them something that's so ugly, we call them UGG. Let me reverse that, I'm out of my mind. Like, all right, give them the jeans that just, uncomplimentary to the female form, let's just do that. I mean, I don't even know what happens with men. They, they do the same thing with men, but. Here's your baggy Justin Bieber pants, sir. I didn't order these. Well, it's too bad. You got to wear them anyway. I don't want tapered pants. Well, you're getting tapered pants now, and that's the way of things. Oh, I'm actually wearing tapered pants right now, and they're just too goddamn tapered. I feel like I'm a, I'm like a ballerina. Is there a word for ballerina? A male ballerina? Cause that's what I feel like with these pants on. Now that I live in Alberta, I need to wear I need to wear pants. I never wanted to be this guy. I wanted to be shorts all year round, and then look at me now. No. Oh, he punched me right in the face. What am I doing? Guys, it's like I'm a pro player at this game. Wait, I don't have the beeper set properly. No one's gonna know what game we're playing. Oh, for the love of Pete. He got one free shot there. And it eats me up inside, you know? Rad pro tip for streaming, no pants on stream. All right, yeah, comfort is king, right? This is not amped freestyle snowboarding on Xbox. Man, that was crazy. I can't believe we can play Xbox games now. I don't think Next Issue has much Xbox games because they're not out yet, but they're just doing like a special feature here. Uh, so there's a lot of Xbox games today. All right, now what is this called? 10th degree in the arcade. All right. What am I mashing for? Are we in the middle mashing our balls off? Oh, well, a crap lot of good it did me. What am I mashing for? What am I mashing for if I'm literally filling up the meter here? God damn it, that did a crap load of damage to me. I was ahead of the. God damn it. Oh, clean and true punch in the face. I can't believe we let that one get away from us. What the hell is this guy's problem? All right, well, he's truly called upon the hard rain now. Come on, we gotta go. All right, I gotta unleash the power. Can you believe I'm not unleashing the power as we speak? All right, this guy's got one strategy and it's bogus. I just keep jumping sideways. You're not the only one that can jump sideways. Can I do that too? No, I can't. Frickin' nine hit combos, no problem. What is he doing to me? All right, wait, is this guy the final boss or what the frick? All right, this is why the game didn't make it, frickin' Atari. Your a-hole Max here is way overpowered. Or no, his name's Toa. I thought his name was Max. All right, fine. I know what the problem is. We weren't being ripped. God damn it. See, the problem here is she's like a grapple character. Now I'm really hosed. Alright, don't make me be Toa versus Toa. This is baloney, sir. It's a baloney sandwich. Alright, here we go. That'll stop him. It'll kick right to the big toe. Ah, 
Uh, for those that are wondering, it said that this game was supposed to come out in 1998. Come on, you gotta finish it, girl. Hell yeah. The same is so obscure, I've never heard of it. That's because technically it never came out. Tenth Degree uh, is a prototype. And GamePro has that, I don't know if you were looking Insomniac, but they had a cool article. The games that didn't come out, but that were sometimes almost finished. Alright, here's the ticket, man. Rip is out of her mind. She's kicking everyone in the toe. That's the secret! Super underutilized, I know, <laughs> the toe kick. Actually, the toe stomp is a real move. Oh, frick, here we go. I gave him a goddamn German suplex. And give him a backhand right across his face, Ric Flair style. Woo! Woo! Nice of them to get subtle breast jigglage in there. But Sung, I didn't know there was another girl character. All right, fine. Fight. Hey, cat fight. Hey, Rick how well. All right, her toes are oblivious. I. Are ab All right, I can't. I can't kick her in the toes, guys. Rad playing rare games. I love playing rare games. Usually stupid rare games. Oh god, she gave me the triple hitter. She blocked my toe kick, shorty! But you know what she didn't block? My Ric Flair backhand slap. There we go. Oh, and I finally got a super move and it just got whiffed 100%. Nice counter. I don't know how I did it, but... It seems like a pretty complicated game. Like, it has a lot going on. Uh oh, and I'm getting the hard rain. I'm kicking people in the face. Hell yeah. Brad, do you explain why the game wasn't released? I did. I read, uh, let me, uh, for those wondering, let's refresh ourselves, and then we'll finish this fight, and then we'll move on. Tenth Degree is a, all right, let me open this up. Tenth Degree by Atari for Arcade, not released in October uh, 1998. It was finished, though, apparently. Now, the hype was at the, the best of both worlds. It's a 2D fighting game that has 3D uh, aesthetic. Um... But what happened was, the market visibility in 1998 was a banner year for fighting games. So we had Tekken 3, we had Mortal Kombat 4, Soul Calibur, Rival Schools, Street Fighter Alpha 3, Pocket Fighter for some reason. A lot of fighting games came out. Like I said, we used to play non-stop fighting games on the show, and then, you know, Atari's coming out with theirs like, Oh man, and then we have to put them out, put the arcade machines out there. No one's gonna play this goddamn crap. Ah, shelf it. Ah, just shelf it. Like, but we... We got Rip and we got Miki. Shelf it? For real? Yeah, shelf it. Shelf the goddamn game. Oh, what do I care? Oh, God. All right, it doesn't work. She's too good. Unleash the power, goddamn it, girl. Oh, frick. Oh, God, it's a close fight here. I missed my grab move. Oh, grab her, grab her, grab her. All right, I think Rip has met her match today. All right. We're through the looking glass here. Hey, come on. Block. Why would I ever do that? Oh, God. This character's too good for me. Look, if I can't do toe kicks, what am I supposed to do? All right, I found it. Nope, we lost it. We found it and lost it. How come every character in this game has a move sideways move that they're exploiting like crazy, except for me? Hell yeah. I don't know if you saw, but I just did a super combo. Sung. Oh man, we pulled it back together and we are coming on hard and heavy. Kick in the face. Hell yeah. Rip wins. The hearts and minds of all of us fighting game freaks. All right, Fei Hung. I don't know if you realize this, but I'm out of my mind. All right, well, apparently so is Fei Hung. What? God damn it! I don't feel like Rip is a better character, but I get more results with her for some reason. This is definitely Mortal Kombat uh, inspired music. Trying to do the sick grab I just learned how to do. Hell yeah. Jesus Christ! Hey, Hung, go easy on me, bud. 
All right, hold on. Can I fall off the match? Fall off the... No, I guess not. I'm out of options here, everybody. Double kick in this song. It's out of control. All right, that feels good. It feels like a good stopping point. We don't need to play this game forever. No one's heard of it. No one cares about it. But I just wanted to make sure it got its due. You know what I mean? I mean, it does play a little choppy. It's not a perfectly flawless rip there. That's arcade. We haven't done an arcade game in a long time. Feels good. Feels like home. You know what I mean? Uh, speaking of home. Welcome to the VIP, everyone. We're having a great time. We're drinking Diet Pepsi, Captain Freeze. We're slugging them back, frankly. We got jammed up, shorty. Uh, where's the Game Pro magazine? Do I not have it on the screen? Uh, there we go. Why don't we just read this over here for a second? And then let's have a great time. Let's enjoy each other's company. Eh? Eh. They have a couple other cool games here. NBA Shootout 99 didn't come out. X-Men Mutant Wars I couldn't find. Mini Racers on the N64 did come out. Now, if I want to get the perfect trifecta of having one of every goddamn console imaginable on this episode of the show, I might have to play this Mini Racers. I don't want it. Is there any other N64 games that I can scoot into? Jesus Christ, I don't know if there's ever any more N64 games. Oh, there's still Dr. Mario and Mario Party 3. Uh, I don't know if there's a lot more. Wow, N64 is dead and in the coffin. I'm just looking ahead, and I don't see it on the next two issues after this. Wow. Dark. It's getting dark for Nintendo, everybody. Wow. I think there's like a total of seven games. It looks like they tried. They tried, yeah, Insomniac. That does seem like a quality outing. And it, uh, it actually plays fairly well, if, especially if I knew what I was doing. I bet there was more I could uh, I could have done more. All right. Um... What's Blink saying here? I think there's like seven total games. Are you guys talking about Tony Hawk games? Did I miss that already? It's just a blind. Yeah, it's not It's not one I want to beat start to finish. There's like seven total games like Tony Hawk 2 and 3. Oh, left. Okay, finally dead. Yep. Dead. Dead and done. This Tattoo Assassins game I almost wanted to play, but ah, uh, we can't. It's too stupid. Uh, we could play it, but we've already played an arcade game. We've got, we've met our quota. I don't think we played any PS2 games yet. We got a lot to still go here. Uh, guys, humor me with this. We'll play five minutes of Mini Racers. You know what it is? It's basically N64 trying to do Super Sprint, which was a killer game. And then, and then we can move on, all right? But we got to get all these, uh, this will be the most prolific episode ever. When you look at the list, Halo, and then Mini Racers. All right. Goodbye, N64. The first party games are pretty good for N64, but uh, it definitely was not the one to spend your $300 on if you only had $300. Well, maybe, well, maybe if you were going to go way in on some of the games on it, like I'm only going to play Smash or I'm only going to play Zelda, and that'll be it. Or Mario 64 is pretty good too. But a lot of the third party games were stinky. Not very good for renting. If you had an N60, if you liked renting games, N64 was not the console for you. A lot of stinkers. The games were also expensive. That's right. Remember it being $199 at one point at uh, Toys R Us. So that's cheap. Uh, play more Shrek, says Devin. <laughs> Don't test me, Devin. I'll bury this stream right now. All right, we got the Mini Racers Japan prototype only. Now it says down here, remote control car race. Right, this was the hype. Uh, the remote, and it's really hard to read this, everyone, but I'll read it for you. I will be your eyes. Remote control car racing with the N64's visual flair, multiplayer support, and tracks included a basketball court, uh, backyard dirt tracks, and also others. Uh, think Micro Machines with a Nitro Boost and NES Classic RC Pro M. Reborn. I prefer um, Super Sprint, but whatever. The games, this is what happened though. The game's developers, uh, Looking Glass Technologies, went out of business. Looking Glass was also responsible for the excellent first person stealth action thief series on the PC. And Mini Racers was just another le uh, lamentable loss tied to the company's passing. Wow, I didn't know, I didn't even read that before. 
Um, so they make Thief, and then in 2000, last year, in the, you know, in this, in this show, we're doing May 2001, last year, uh, I always find this weird, so how did they get the prototype? Prototype might have been scooting around. Alright. Alright, wait, I just grabbed the Duke like I was gonna use that in this game. That's not gonna work. No, there's only one controller fit for playing N64 games. And it's this one right here, goddammit. Alright. Mini racers, please. Lock it up. Chalk it up. Lock it up. Run that content. Get the runs. Alright. We're through the looking glass here, everyone. All right, here we go. You see, they should have continued making Thief and not this garbage. This is probably what cost them everything, right, Shorty? Well, I don't know. These tunes are pretty... Uh, Shorty, you want to change your mind now? Sorry, this is probably something you're used to seeing now, Shorty Straw. The freaking controller menu in... Uh, Watch Dingle. RetroArch. I mean, my actual N64, which I've modded to look just like RetroArch. Dun, dun, dun. Start it up. I'm going Grand Prix all the way, guys. I lied to you. We're going end to end on this game. Start to finish. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Wait, I don't have the thing fixed. Mini racers! N64. Hell yeah. Alright, let's go... I don't want to go to Tropical Paradise. Do I have to go to Tropical Paradise? Fine. If I have to, I'll go to Tropical Paradise. Ready, set, go! What? No, goddammit. I meant Turbo Juice, not this garbage. Alright, my thumbstick's not working, so we gotta fix that. Alright, how about this? Reset the controls to default. Alright, well, what if I did this? D-pad up. No, it doesn't even do anything. It doesn't even do anything anymore. Reset all the default controls. Fine. Bing, bing. I wonder why some buttons would work, but not the actual thing that controls your guy. It was working last night, everybody! Unreleased for having the freshest OST. They're like, we couldn't handle it, man. It was too intense. Ding, ding, doo, doo, doo. What if I just did this? And psyched you out. No, they won't allow it. Fine, do I have to use a Xbox 360 controller? I don't want to do that. I want to live the dream, the way it was meant to be lived. You know, I don't... What I don't lament is that I will... I'll never have to do this stuff again. Good. So last night, it wasn't working, and I was like, Oh, I, all I had to do was hit uh, reset default controls, and it worked perfectly fine. Not today. Oh, this is going to cost me big time. Don't you move to the next button. Don't you move to the next button. All right, every button is now F1. Which is really stupid for retro art. So for those that are new to this program, man, N64 used to just rascal me so bad. For no reason! I didn't deserve that! So the D-pad works just fine, but they won't let me use that in this game. Alright, fine. I have to use a 360 controller. I don't want to do that, but that's what... This is the dark future we live in now. I have an N64 controller, but I'm not allowed to use it. Forbidden. Apparently just nothing works anymore. Alright, well, I think my dream of having full... What? This works just fine. Down, left, right. Alright, hold on. Hold on, everyone. No one but Rad would be this deranged for playing this game. But you know what? We gotta do our due diligence or else what's the point? Found, 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 Oh, wait a second. <laughs> now I know what the problem is, everyone. Now I know what the problem is. It's a bee sting. It's a bee sting, everyone. Reset the default controls. Why? Because there's another feature over here that we have to dink around with. Alright, uh, back we go. Analog dead zone, analog sensitivity. I turned the dead zone all the way off because it was just so fricked up. That didn't do it either. Well, I was able to steer with the 360 controller very, very lightly. 
What about this? Analog sensitivity. Well, this might be the last time I ever get to actually try and troubleshoot this, so I will enjoy every last second of this. This wasn't meant to be lived. The dream was not meant to be lived. Touch scale, uh, touch screen coordinates, input axis threshold, uh, right? And then let's try one last time with the 360 controller. It's the kind of thing. I think it's slowly steering me, but yeah. Why doesn't it work? It doesn't make any sense. All right, they held it. Get the frick off my screen. We tried. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it up on the big board. We heard the music. That counts for me. I tested it last night. You know how fricked up the show is where you can test things and then it doesn't work, just does not work the next day? I also did manage to find this virtual hamster, Virtua hamster, but I won't make us all play that because it is clearly just a tech demo. I just think that's funny. Hold on a second, everyone. The bane of streaming. Yeah, but the, the goddamn. That N64 has done it to me more than anyone else. The PlayStation version of this game is literally just an open world RPG that's done pretty well. This game is charming as frick is what I said in my notes. Charming as frick. Jack it up on the big board! You had it for PC and Tomniac, you just won me over. Now I'm off the hook. I just only want to play the This game seemed so unusually good to me. Like, fine, I think I have to play it. And now that's how you know I tested it, because no one in their right mind would be like, I should probably test that Lego game out. Yeah. I don't know how to get very far in it, but it's called Lego The Brickster's Revenge. Might as well just be called The Frickster's Revenge. Hey, May 2001, am I right? I don't make the rules here. Lego. What's it even called? Lego Island 2. Now, I, one thing I noticed, too, is the animation that the Lego guy has is exactly the animation that, um, what's his name? The main character in the Lego movies has. Lego Island 2. Brickster's Revenge. Yes. Alright, we don't need two songs on. What the hell is his name? Ethan? Joel? What the hell do they call him in that? Alright, uh, gameplay please. PlayStation 1 please. Game time. Up on the screen. Any second now, there it goes. Let's read a little bit of the backstory for you guys. It's massive, even wilder brickster chasing. Island hopping adventure in this amazing sequel to the original best-selling Lego Island. The brickster's been cooking up a new dastardly plan. Uh, that puts Lego Island back in danger. As Pepper, only you can keep Lego Island from being destroyed. Use your sharp reflexes, quick thinking skills, uh, to guide him through to those uh, next world's tougher challenges. To recover the stolen Constructopedia and capture the Brickster once more. I haven't seen the Lego movie. You haven't? It's actually pretty good, but I didn't see it until I had a kid. What the hell is the main character's name? Chris Pratt does the voice. The Brickster! Alright. Yeah, there's hard and heavy skateboard action in this game. Alright, start a new game. Damn it, Devin. Thank you, God damn it. There's only so much room in here anymore. And you know what? Paul Hogan and Elijah Wood in Flipper get front billing in my brain. Imagine living this way. Knock me over and call me deconstructed. If it isn't Pepper, this uh, camera angle should give you no confidence in the game. But don't worry, everyone. I've got good news, and I've got. I found I had no idea what I was doing because I skipped this while I was playing Which it last time. Would you like to hear first? RPG action. I'm all ears. Is that us? The good citizens of Lego Island are donating your new home. Yes, each citizen will contribute a sturdy new Lego brick. But first, you must deliver. These delicious pizzas from Papa. That sounds like blackmail. People of Lego Island. Oh, by the way, we were talking in the chat the other day if Canada has a Papa John's or not. What? We have a Papa John's in my hometown. I mean, I gotta go get a Papa John. I'm on it. That sounds like 
avoid look at this look at this walking animation Emmett in the Lego movie did this exact walking animation and notice you can have the hit into the wall sound effect that's charming and did you guys expect it to have just tip to taint whoopsies uh sick skateboard action I know you did all right here we go no don't do it Papa John's is not good oh I thought it was good All right, look, I can't lose with these moves. Two cartwheels? Are you out of your mind, Emmett? Freaking mutes. Freaking Brickster tip tops, or whatever it said. Nice fish. Thunderclap. Ha ha ha, moon on a stick, bro. I don't think this is part of the game, but you just get out of your mind. All right, quit the mini game. I wanted to show you guys that mini game, and I did. Papa John's is not good, only for good memes. Wow, so it's bad? Well, what is what is Domino's? Is Domino's good? Because this town I live in now is definitely a pizza town. We're not a burger town. There's like no shortage of pizza places here. There's like 12 pizza places. One, two, it's right out of the Lego movie. Where the hell is my skateboard? Here you go. Guys, are you telling, we all blew it if we didn't play this game. This is pretty fresh. Hey bro, you need a pizza bro? <laughs> Okay. All right, just throw it at her face. Hello, Mrs. Post. Yours is the top box. Margarita, right? Am I about to put my pizza Sorry, in her? Can't stay in chat. In her pizzas will get cold. Mailbox? Oh, I mustn't keep you then. I will get Ed to deliver your brick parcel later. Give the Brickolinis my regards and do tell them to pop round again soon. I have that. You will do that for me, won't you, Pepper? Will do, Mrs. Post. He's a good kid. Now eat a goddamn pizza! Get out of my face! Take it back, he's not a good kid, because you know what? He freaking steals helicopters. Let's go for a ride, bros! Ah, ha, ha. Oh no! Little Timmy stole a goddamn helicopter! Ah, I'm out of my mind! Have a pizza! Did you guys see it going this way? Be honest. Let's just see how big the damn world map is. Oh man, we got a party with this guy. Deliver the pizza to receive bricks for your new house, Peppa. I don't know how to land the damn helicopter. That's the problem here, sir. Let's go ahead and land it in the ocean. Oh man, you got a party with this guy. All right, what button is land? L1, R1, L2, triangle, square. No, squares for some reason go backwards. X's go forwards. I want to deliver the pizza, sir. Triangle. Can I get out of the helicopter? All right, maybe I have to be on a helipad. All right, well, no one said they had the best... Okay, here we go. Helicopter physics in the biz. Damn, this guy is losing his mind over in this house. Listen to that bass. Frick. This is charming as hell. All right, now, uh... Insomniac's coming here. Don't do it, only for the memes. Domino's is very good for the price. Especially the deep dish pan pizza. I don't like deep dish because the crust gets all fricked up, but maybe I haven't had enough of it. Domino's has been good lately. All right, I got to talk to this guy, see what he's up to. What's even... Oh, frick, I don't want to splat him in the face, first of all. Hello, Rhoda. It's Pepper sneaking What's even crazier is the side. chicken wings at Domino's are super good, too. So how did you... Do you guys ever go, like, just local brand? Not so good, Pepper. She shaved her head. Can I not go in the house and party my balls off? Because that's all I want to do, girl. Alright, she whiffed it. Alright, well, obviously I didn't want to play this whole game for you guys, but I did want to show this to you. Because this game is out there, and no one's talking about it. And I think it's, like, proto-Lego movie quality. Alright! Goddamn. We're moving a mile a minute here, everybody. You don't stop to smell the roses sometimes, you might really regret it on your deathbed. I could go for some pizza right now. You guys ever have a pizza that didn't have enough tomato sauce on it though? That that will almost traumatize you. You're like It's just dry as frick! It's dry! It's a dry pizza! Ah! Ah! Local chicken wings aren't too good here. But Domino's runs them uh, through the uh, pizza oven, so they're baked. I like that. A little crispy action, I dig it. What the hell is this? Oh! 
Shorty, are you around? I know Shorty likes himself some PC games. And we have ourselves a PC game right here, right now. I don't know how I got this to work, though. I got it working, and I got it streaming the other day, and I have no idea how I did that. So why don't I just try and fiddle with that? Hey, it can't be as hard as N64 games, am I right? It's crazy how long... Yeah, I, I, you mentioned that the other day, and that's why that kind of put it... It put a pin in it saying, Rad, people have heard of this game before. You might want to try and get it working. So I purchased it off GOG with some of those excellent uh, producer bucks you guys have floated my way. And uh, we're going to see if we can get this game going. Now, I can't promise I'll get very far in it. In fact, I probably won't even get out of the first world. PC for the freaking win! I do like this stuff, Shorty. FPSs? I'm on board. I like FPSs. But, uh... Isometric RPGs I have a I have a problem with. I can't I can't compete at them. Well, let's see if I can get this going here, everyone. Wish me luck. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. I don't even remember where I opened it from. This is gonna be a frick fest. Confirmed. We got good tunes and good friends though. Alright? PC had way cheaper release prices. Well that's good because it cost an arm and a leg to get a PC. And maintain it. Or was that not the case back in 2001? Rad isometric is where it's at. Hey, my... Uh, the problem is that you can't let me kill the quest giver. If I can kill the quest giver, I'm never going to get through the game. Never in a million years. Oh, man, now he's dead and I can't beat the game? Damn it. All right, Rad's stalling because he doesn't remember where he put the link. These things happen. Where the hell? What is it even called? Win MA. All right, yeah, it's in a stupid folder. I gotta go to downloads. This is where I put stuff that I just don't care about. And for some reason, that's where Win. Uh, what's it called? Not that. Win DX Wind. All right, open it up. Do I still no. I don't even have it. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Alt Enter lets you lets you do what I need to do in this game. It's one of the rare games where you can just hit Alt Enter. Everyone on the internet always says, just hit Alt Enter, it'll go windowed, and then you can stream it. Never. That never works except for this game. Norn 3 Nipple Crimp. Man. Fallout 2 immediately punt the elder in the groin. All right, you're gonna have to leave, sir. You're gonna have to leave the game. Turn the game off. Yeah, we'll give you the credits. Game over, buddy, you did it. Your future, you played it the way you wanted to play it, right? Well, you played yourself right out of a fun 80-hour experience. I hope it's worth your $29.99. Hmm. All right, I gotta open up GOG, apparently. And then I gotta order some GOG, like Riker did. GOG! I gotta open up GOG Galaxy! Hey. I gotta shave my beard this part down a bit. Who does that? And I can't wait to play Fallout 2. How far are you off from that, Jordy Straw? song is out of control. Is this... I can't see what song it is. Alright, all games... No, installed games. The only games I have installed right now are Blade Runner, Clive Barker's Undying, Diablo 1, Hexen 2, and Medal of Honor Allied Assault War Chest. Let's find that somewhat funny. Alright, here we go. We're gonna test this out now, everyone. Uh, it's great. It's full screening already, and I can't turn it off. All right. Alt, enter. Smarten up. Smarten up. I said smarten up. All right. Alt, enter is no longer working. I was promised alt, enter would work. And now this, now no. Uh, War prune juice, better than GOG. Fight me. All right, I'm going to have to close this. I gotta turn the music off before I start freaking around with this. I can't turn it off. Well, once the game starts up. All right, now why is Alt Enter not working this time? Have you tried Display Capture? I could Display Capture, but that's poor man's solution. Honestly, I had it working the other day. I don't know why it would be like now. No. All right, change driver. Sixteen bit. Sixteen. Huh? Maybe I just have to get into the game and then try and do Alt Enter. We're gonna try that. Someone teach Rad how to use... No, Insomniac, I did have it. It doesn't work properly. It still doesn't work properly. It opens up in a tiny little window on the top of my screen that I can't get my mouse out of, and then it auto-closes after. 
skepticism. Yes. Little did I you know have to get I in the game before you can hit alt enter. Good Gull, lord, everyone. The man with endless occult oh, knowledge. All right. Before I knew it, people all over the world paid me to investigate all kinds of weird things. This button? As long as they paid me, I'd look into it. Hey, Rad knows a thing I'm or two about how to frick around, all right? The more I saw, the more I believe there are forces. That's why if I'm fricking around control. with DX Wind and it's not working, you know it's fricking It's not explainable in any human terms. Yeah, there's way too many terms. Uh, tabs. Have you guys seen the tabs in DX Win? The weird and wild stuff you can do in that thing? For me to be able to get a game to work and have it to go through all those tabs would be impossible. special unit whose job it was to I built the PC in 2008 from scratch with second-hand parts uh, that far outperformed any console for $500. Well, that's fair. New commanding officer, Jeremiah Covenant. All right, Jeremiah, get frick. We're in and we're ready to rock. That is a sensitive mouse, though. Oh, my lordy. Can I make it less sensitive? Oh, I'll take some mouse smoothing, please. Mouse deceleration. All right, maybe that is helpful. All right, back in the action. All right, you guys are just going to have to deal with the glitchiest mouse ever. You know what I do like? You can blast these goddamn rats. Are you supposed to be doing that though? Yeah, hell yeah. What else are you supposed to do? Stuck. Smash these guys' face with an iron? I hope so. Now they're gone. I had to display all of Kiss Psycho Circus, but it worked. All right, click the pine cone. Shorty hates everything. This game is so damn hard too. All right, well, I'm probably not going to get very far, especially if it's hard. Lord. All right, it's not very nice to just sneak up on a guy with You're a point of gun right now. Eh. All right. Watch out, buddy. And it is stormy as frick out here. We really shouldn't be outside, sir. And eh, probably shouldn't open that up. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can shoot them. Damn it. All right, in we go. I'm Patrick shocked this Young. game has uh, a window Jeremy mode. Has. Yeah, so I don't know why Alt Enter worked on this one, but it did. The letter said it was most urgent. All right, this could freak me out. Oh God, don't do it, Rad. I did though. He's been quite anxious to see you. We've all been quite worried. Will it work if I go back in? Risky business, Rad. Get in there. Hell yeah, it worked. And I'll show you to quarters. Give me a six-inch chuck. You guys are rascals. Skeleton crew of servants now. Jeremiah let go of everyone else. I pointed a gun in the face of the servant outside. To clean. He didn't even he didn't even flinch. Rad in future set up the DX win. DX win and then export the settings and send it to me. And I'll see if I can help. Thank you, Shorty Straw. You're doing a large work, Shorty Straw. Because yeah, I look up way too much stuff. You guys have looked at the tabs in DX Win, right? I hope you can help him. You know what I gotta do if the game's gonna be that fricked up? I gotta open up a chat over here. And then open it. Yeah. I'm doing no work at the moment. Oh, he's ready. Ready and willing. Alright, my mouse is. Oh, dear lord, he shoot him in the penis! I have to move the mouse so slowly just so it doesn't give you guys a headache. There it is! Penis shot! God, no, this is not the way of things. Patrick, you made it. At your service, Jeremiah. Right, Sorry for the delay, but up. I've been abroad. What happened to you? The only thing it in DX Win you need to do is set the window size on the first step. Guys, friend. try it with this game. Tell me if it's it works. Because it worked time. fine for Allied Assault. And I was like, oh, I'm getting the hang of this. And then everything I did in Allied Assault did not work in this from game. The war only to find my entire estate in disarray. This is an amazing Brother game so far, so short. disappeared first, and then my sister Bethany. My declining health Bethany. is a result of an old war. And unfortunately... The All right, skip it. You think I'm sitting here for this hot... Uh, uh, Storyline action? Hell no! I'm here to blast fools in the face. Won't budge. All right, well, it doesn't get doesn't blast open. Jammed. All right, now this is where I get hosed. I probably should have listened to that guy more because now I have no idea what Won't I'm supposed budge. to do. <gasps> All right, 
Here we go. Uh, here we go. Can I not blast these guys in the penis? What is going on? Alright, he got lucky. He's the luckiest ghost in the world. His penis remains intact. And look at those graphics. Try that on consoles. Well, the thing is, Shorty Straw, there was like, the thing I like about consoles is like, you all had the same specs to work with, so sometimes if a good graphics game came out, it was because it was really, really well put together, but on PC it's like, well, I don't know, it kind of, like they all kind of look, I don't know, a little, I don't know how to describe it, but me looking at that, for some reason doesn't look as good a graphics as like Devil May Cry 2, even though technically it's probably higher resolution. The damn lamps don't explode when you shoot them, Shorty Straw. I'm a simple man. I'm not asking for much. I'm just asking for some RPG mechanics. All right. Jammed. All right, OG Xbox came came close to PC ports. OG Xbox, that Blood Wake was super good graphics. It looked exactly like uh, Just Cause 2, only on the Xbox. V Rep, goddamn, getting here, buddy. Good to see you. Playing little PC games here with the most sensitive mouse in the world. Forgive me, everybody. I'm lucky I even got it running. All right, blast his face with an iron. There it is. Right in the penis. What kind of world is it where you can't shoot ghosts in the penis? You can only see as the bonds of flesh are broken. Well, apparently, ghost mode doesn't do anything either, and you can't turn it off. What about this? I need this. Next time a ghost scoots in here, I'm just gonna give him one of these. And who's in here? Alright, I gained a health pack. Oh, here we go. I choked. Now you guys know I choked. Alright, uh, everyone moves around like Casper in this. It's goddamn Casper the friendly a-holes. Alright, that's one big meth rock there, buddy. Oh, man, I got a big one here. Right, sounds like baddies. And that's not what you do. Don't point your fingers at them. Shoot them with a gun. Oh, God, they're finally, they're coming after me with a vengeance. Alright, I'm, I'm choking, dudes. Mouse is making it really hard to shoot these guys, I swear. I know how to play first person shooters, I swear. What is all this? God damn it. Uh, this game looks complicated. Alright, well, the game does have broken glass mechanics. That I can get down with. Oh no. It's a lady. Oh, no, that ain't, that ain't a pretty lady no more. Oh god! That actually made me jump for some reason. I have nothing invested in this. Why would that make me jump? I know why Shorty Straw says Because PC games are the best in the biz. Good sound design. So far, the sound design tonight's been pretty on point. I blasted him. I don't know how many bullets I even have. Mark, do you guys see that? Get him a body bag. God damn you, I'm sure we got him a body bag. I like the shattering glass. Yeah, that's a nice touch. All right, uh, what does it say? Bustin', bustin' makes me feel good. I'm afraid of no Child. ghost. Bum 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 Trying real hard to make this mouth mouse smooth for you guys. Oh, now that's how you ace it. What's going on here? I'm trying to look in all the doors for JRPG mechanics, and you're getting your ass handed to you by these little a holes. Jammed. Oh, how dare you! 
those grimpin makes me feel good. What was the name? What are those? Young Street knows what's up. They're called Howlers. And Throw the Hadouken. Seen one before tonight. I've Hadouken for years. I had my son on the trampoline those the other day, and I was saying like, friend. "Hey, bud, check this out. It's called a Shoryuken." Shoryuken. He's like, "I want to try it." Little four-year-old baby boy Rad did a bunch of Shoryukens on the trampoline, and it was awesome. More sinister. Like how Young Street's like, "Man, that joke was so good. I'm gonna go do it on YouTube as well." Something. Grimpin makes me feel good. You see, there was this aisle of standing stones. Hey, unless you're gonna tell me exactly what to do next, a-hole, shut your yapper. I'm out here to blast guys. He dropped a scroll. Oh, he's, oh God! You mustn't read from the book. It'll freak you up. All right. What do I care? I got bullets on the table right here. All right. Go. Hi. A Shinra you can next. I hope he has it. Super special. Kill him. Have you noticed anything strange going on? No, nope, everything's been pretty fine to me. Was broken into last night doing the I get eternal darkness vibes from this, says uh, Young Street Where's over on YouTube. Room? Just We're also streaming on YouTube, everyone. Go it's check it out. Quite a mess. Oddest frick. Seems normal. Like, buddy, you're busted. <laughs> Don't kill the quest giver. Too bad. I already got your quest. Alright, well, at least the game lets me. God damn it. <laughs> Apparently. Alright, you better watch it, buddy. Just get behind me or else you're gonna get it blasted in the fanny again. Jammed. Jammed. I have to go into my mouse settings and just. Lower my mouse sensitivity on my actual machine. Is this as sensitive as frick? So sensitive it's gonna start crying. Jammed. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Try it again. Maybe it was just a mistake. Where the hell am I going? Who the hell designed this house? Jammed. Down the hallway we go. I have it at like a regular normal like 800 or something like it's whatever it's not even whatever the mouse that I have here it can scroll all the way up I'm like 10% of the way up It's not that high I swear Who designed the hider in this house? Oh she's lucky I'll blast you both into oblivion if you don't start uh, stop freaking around Sick mirror graphics All right, watch yourself, girl. I'm a man on a mission. I've lost my mind, clearly. Oops, and you didn't need to finger point at me. What kind of weird painting is this? Does it look normal when I'm not in ghost mode? I need to know what this mode even does. Insomniac, okay, well, you're the one who's played this, right? All right, ghost mode lets me see fricked up versions of paintings so far. And that's it. All right. If you have a button that cycles through sensitivity, that's a ticket. I do, but... It, this is as low as my sensitivity goes. I guess I could go like this. All right, fine. Let's let's see if this breaks the stream. Especially if it's bothering you guys. If it's bothering you guys, I'll fix it. All right, all right, all right. Launched uh, G Hub. Yes, please. Oh, and stream canceled. Do you want to launch G Hub, sir? I would love to launch G Hub. Sick as frick. Sensitivity. I have it at 700, which is approximately, it literally is 10% across. All right, why don't I do, I don't need 1,200, so this one's going down to uh, 100. Now we'll scroll down one. That is slow as frick. Oh, my God. I can't even, yeah, I can't. Fine, we'll do one at half seas. 750. And one more way down at 50. All right. Uh, all right. And up a bit just to get back in the game. Is this how you PC guys live? Where you constantly go up and down with your mouse sensitivities. You guys are out of your mind. You guys realize you're out of your goddamn mind. All right, let's see if that actually fixes my game. Yeah, it does fix it somewhat. Let's go down even further. Oh, look at this. All right, this is better. We can live like this. 
All right, Master Chief is uh, crying to get this much attention. Smash his face with an iron. Little health. I have accrued four backpacks of health so far. I don't think I've used a single one. Time for a bath. There's no shower head or uh, faucet. Farah or otherwise. All right, buddy, how do I talk to you? What? God damn it. T for talk? R for talk? F? E? I better watch out. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him the business here. You better watch out, buddy. All right, this does nothing either. Oh, oh, what is this? All right, I mustn't read from the book. That's what they say. Go to hell. All right, look at all the paintings until you find one that's super scary. That's what the game's trying to do. All right, well, that was a bust. Is this some kind of bust? I need a key. Okay. And this is the one that was locked earlier. Bunch. All right. I'm getting hosed here, everybody. Hosed! Now I can see why the game takes so long. You have no idea where you're going ever. All right, we're gonna we're gonna lock it up. Not that I'm having a bad time. I just don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. I know I've skipped all the dialogue so far, but that's my prerogative. All right. How dare you? Uh... What the frick is? Oh, Jesus Christ. Watch out, buddy. I'm going to shot your pee-pee off. All right, what's going on over here? No, it does nothing. It helps me zero. Effectively zero. I thought maybe the right, the finger thing will do something here. They killed her. And they ripped her face off. Oh, God, you savage animals. Like he's flipping them off. Oh god, this is bad. Alright, here's what we gotta do. Be gone, demon! Demon be gone! That's like my shield. Kinda. Smashed him. So I have to keep switching between this and attack? I don't know if that feels right. Love tracking down to 400 DPI, which is optimal for retro. Okay, that's good to know. Hey, well, how do you guys know all this crazy crap? I get you, buddy. Want me to put you out of your misery? All right, you're safe. It's just a scratch wound. What are you doing? I'm out of my mind. That does look good, Shorty. Hey, Shorty. Oh God, Shorty. Where the hell am I going? And here we go. Won't budge. Won't even budge one bit. No, won't even budge one bit. Guys, I can't believe we got PC games going here. You realize how crazy? Oh god, that's gonna hurt my fanny. All right, here we go. Come on. Who's the dead man? All right, sharpshooter. Right in the penis. What's in this painting? Nothing. Well, that's not normal. What the frick is going on around here? Looks like a Cannibal Corpse album. Bunch of normal people here. Nothing weird to see. Hey. Give me the key. Oh my god. Give me a goddamn key! I was just trying to shoot her in the penis. Yeah, I like first person shooters. Feels good. It feels good. And if it Won't feels good, punch. do it. All right, last room, everyone. Then we're going to move on. Won't budge. Won't goddamn budge. It's going to give me three health. Is that what's going on here? All right, no health. Now what the hell's going on here? That's the one. Won't budge. Won't even goddamn budge. It's 
is why Desi keeps telling me to sh uh, penis shoot. Exactly. Little known fact. The only way to stop the paranormal or the normal. What the hell is this lady's problem? Is that the door to the gardens? Yes, it is. However, I don't have the key. I lent it to the maid. I believe right here, she's Fanny in her this big. room this today. Big. It's, it's located in the east wing of the this house. Big. The penis is the superior target. Follow will tell you otherwise. Or we'll tell you the Thanks. exact same thing. I appreciate your help. All right, now get the hell out of my face, lady. All right, that, that might be it, everyone. I said get out of the way, lady. All right, here's how we end this. Ah! 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 I let her live. Everyone, let it be known. Let it be known that I let that nice old lady live. All right, he tender. He tender, get in here. More pain from my testicle shots. Yeah, oh, God, he got me right in... Hey, I only shot one, not both. I let you live. All right, hey, welcome in, Heat Ender. Heat Ender? Uh, I don't know if you know what we're doing here, but we're playing through games from May 19... Or 2001. God, I keep wanting to say 1990. We started in 1995, two years ago, basically, and now we're at 2001. May. And guess what? The Xbox just came out. We just finished playing a bunch of Xbox games on a modded Xbox. And now here I am playing a PC game, which is rare for me, because they're hard to get working. All right, get that. I need my... DPI back up. Yeah, here we go. Let's get the tunes going here because I will not party without tunes. All right, Lou saying, all right, it's time for bed. Hey, thanks for sticking around, Lou. Appreciate you being in here. It's nice to see Lurker Lou. Lurker Lou, everybody. We need you streaming again, Lou. The world needs it. If you can swing it. I know it's hard to stream. Anyways, get some sleep, Lou. All right, busy as a bee. Uh, how do I get all this energy? Whoa, meth. You remember that meth commercial back in the day? Meth, mm, meth. Wait, was that what it was? It was like the girl that did meth and then she was like cleaning her house all night. I don't remember how the commercial went, but now that doesn't sound right. Have I just been ad-libbing wrong the whole time? All right, well, you know Shorty Straw's been playing Freedom Force for the last 20 years. They showed that in Canada? Was that actually a commercial then? I'm right? Oh, man, I'm out of my mind. Hey, time to play Freedom Force again from start to finish. On easy difficulty this time. Sick. <laughs> Young, I trigger Rad's brain. Myth, mm, myth. All right, someone showed me that PSA on tape when I was an intern at a theater. He said, look, Young, we feel like you're at risk. You're an at-risk teen. Watch this video and get back to us. All right. All right. Meth is a serious problem in the U.S. West Coast. I think there's meth a problem almost everywhere, isn't it? No ice in paradise. That's what Dog the Bounty wife, uh, Bounder Hunter's wife said. I want to be where all the action is. <laughs> I can't believe Jig's got that one. Where all the action is. I like that that is what the show has devolved to. To me just humming, haphazardly humming songs for my chat and them trying to guess what show it's from. Uh, Tom and Jerry Kids, 1990? Nailed it! Now guess what, everyone? We got to get in this goddamn car and drive to my grandma's house because we got a Game Boy Advance here. It's just coming out next month. June. All right, I got a special advance copy. My mom got it for me, the freaking a-hole. Can't believe she's trying to be so nice to me and get me a Game Boy Advance. Well, frick her. Frick parents, man. Ha 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 And frick homework, brah. <laughs> oh, God. Up late with Rad in his official Twitter page. I need to change that because it's not up late with Rad anymore. Now it's just Radland. We had to simplify. Simplify, man. Oh, Grandma Cam, a.k.a. Reverse Tank Piloting Seat. You wish, Yonk Street. I fixed it up. Don't worry. Now my mom's not driving backwards. At least she's not a deranged lunatic. She's only a regular lunatic. Not in real life, but in Radland. Deranged lunatic. According to pre prepubescent rad, anyways. All those hormones. I played Game Boy Wars... Game Boy Wars Advance for probably 25 minutes last night that I shouldn't have spent playing it. It was fun as frick. Uh, Rad's a bad kid. Maybe he could chill out with some dope, man. Hey, hey kid, you want to buy some dope? I was in the producer's chat last night. I was telling an anecdote about how when I was in grade two, a guy actually came up to me at the playground at recess and said, hey, kid, you want to buy some dope? What the hell are you talking about? I don't even know what dope is, buddy. Sounds like candy. Sure, lock it up, buddy. You got any dope with you, bud? So I told the teacher because it didn't feel right. And then we had a whole school assembly about it, like, a week later. We're going to play some F-Zero on Game Boy Advance. That's what we're going to do, everyone. And then maybe, if I like you, 
We'll play Game Boy Wars Advance. I don't know. I'm sure it won't be the last time they talk about it in the magazine, but holy frick, it's fun. Like, freaking punching Holyfield in the face. In Evander Holyfield. Holyfield, uh, real deal boxing. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Should you use the running man bobsled scene as the grandma background? Wow, just scooting full speed. Did they ever show a back, like, camera facing backward shot? I don't think so. That was the hard part. F Zero music incoming. Yeah, I don't know what the the engine, the sound engine on the Game Boy Advance was. It sounds like they're using samples, but yeah, some of the guitar samples are pretty choice. I like that they had no shame. Like rocket, rocket, rocket ship, rocking it in the rocket ship. Let's go. All right, now we gotta open up this folder because I obviously my Game Boy Advance is uh, in a, f a folder, a file folder that I keep under my desk. I love this pin the message feature. What is pin the message feature? Are you exercising mod privileges? Pin the message. Is there a message pin somewhere? You should use the running man bobsled scene. <laughs> okay. That is pretty good. All right, shorty. Exercising his might with um, finesse, with elegance and sophistication. All right, Game Boy Advance. Well, I don't even know if the Game Boy Advance is going to work anymore because the controllers are 100% boned. RetroArch just hates letting you use controllers. So it's not called F0 straight up. It's called F0 maximum velocity, bruh. We're going to get maximum velocity right now while I drive to my grandma's house. Because that is the only time you should be playing Game Boy Advance games. Correct? Correct me if I'm wrong. I was led to believe this. And now I will believe it until my death. Game Boy Advance. Mom, eyes on the road with the frick. Damn it! I'm playing games back here, frick! Guitar samples! Sick! Nah. Not that you'd care, frick! Eh. F0. Maximum velocity. Mom! Like you care, Mom! Eh. GBA? Fine, we'll go to Grandma's house. What do I care? I'm gonna play some games in the car. I'm not gonna talk to you, Mom. Alright. See if it works, for, for God's sakes. Fine, get A back. What do I care? Grand Prix, what do I care, Mom? Frick. Alright, I don't like this hot violet action. You meet your top speed and then never go any faster? Frick, no. Alright, here we go. Come on. Up and down. I want to always be going faster. Hell yeah, fireball. All right. Driving time. Have we not played a racing game yet in this episode? That seems like it's blasphemy. Let's get going in the drive to our grandma's house. The drive for our lives, really. Stretch circuit. Now, I like what this game has is yaw steering. More games need yaw steering. Yaw! It's y'all, not you all. Y'all! All right, hey, buddy, you're gonna have to pick up the pace here. All right, fireball is slow as frick. This was a mistake. Uh, he was going so slow that I thought the button was broken. <laughs> fireball is not the choice. <laughs> I didn't even get to one sick guitar riff. Before I blew up? No, no, we won't be retrying that. Fireball is the worst character in the game. Confirmed. Hot Violet is the one for me. Woo! I always believed in Hot Violet. Jackie Chan, Yaw Steering, Yong Street gets it. <laughs> yaw! Not, not you all, it's y'all. Now, I never realized this in the original uh, F-Zero, but apparently we're above the ground. Look at that, it's parallaxing. See the cityscape below us? What the frick? All right, well, the button doesn't do anything ever. Maybe that's the problem. I got some Jackie Chan, Yaw Steering here. It's a way to let you do sharper turns, too, because you can yaw turn in the direction you're going, and it kind of just helps you out from skidding too much. And skid marks in your underwear. See, yaw is where you go left and right, for those that aren't flight simulator junkies. Not that I am. Well, I'm not uh, filling myself with confidence right now. I'm solidly in third place. I need all the HP I can get, because I'm boning this one up big time. 
I don't know why they let you jump there. It only seems like it could hurt you in the long run. You know, hurt your feelings. God damn it, I can't do that without boning up. Yaw it up! Who put all these generic yellow guys on the track? They're not even in the race, because I don't get any points for smashing their face with an iron. Okay, buddy, you're going to have to... All right, there's Fireball trying his best. I'm trying my best. It's really hard in this car. All right, big plays. Bigger fannies. Man, I'm boning this up so bad. It's a hard racing game. Oh, see, I yaw steered away from boning that one up. Here we go. Second place. Podium finish. Gotta want it. Oh, first place doesn't know who he's freaking with. I'm coming in hard and heavy here. Frick, no! No! Oh, God. Oh, two laps left. All right, we're good. God damn it, get the hell out of the way. I got big plays to make, didn't you hear? All right, we're going to slow this one down. Oh, he still boned it up. God damn it. Alright, that's first place, everyone. How bad do you want it, Rad? Bad enough to bone it up in another time. First place. I bet you guys thought this was a lost cause. Hell frickin' no. Lock and load those hell frickin' fire missiles. Let's go! Alright, this time, everyone. Oh, God, there's baddies on the... What am I supposed to do with all these baddies? I had it with these goddamn baddies on this goddamn plane. Here we go. Final stretch. No! No! Oh, lock it up with just enough drama to need a new pair of underwear. God damn it. V rep, get in here, buddy. Okay, so which F0 is this? Uh, it's maximum velocity, which is the GBA version. Didn't realize that they put out a GBA one. Well, how often did you have to drive to your grandma's house? I mean, that's the, the problem, frankly. All right, Stark Farm. You guys ready for another hot jam? There better be a hot jam here. I'm getting one more hot jam and then we're getting out of here. Isn't Fireball a cherished Canadian whiskey? I've never heard of that. Uh, buddy, you gotta go. I'm hitting the go button. It's just not going. I think he forgot to turn his car on at the start of the race. Damn these Fireball a-holes. I'm still not last place though. Oh god, this gets hard and heavy quick. No! And the yaw steering, it does nothing. Holy god, this is getting out of control. It's like these goddamn guitar riffs. Aced it out oh, with only minimal damage. All right, we're doing, we're looking good. We're doing it, dudes. Yacht up. Arr! All right, let's do it. Barely took any damage there. I'm, I'm zoned in. Oh god, it's gonna cost me. I can hear the damn sound effects. They're behind me, dude. No, 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 no. Man, I can't do that turn without biffing. I wrote this song. I'm clearing 420 miles an hour, kilometers an hour. How the hell did Fireball get ahead of me? I don't know what's blinking. Why is it blinking? Oh, that's that's bad. Holy God, what the, why am I going 500? What happened here? That's like a game mechanic I somehow accessed. Oh, damn a-hole knocked me into the crud again.
Well, yeah, you don't want to be going backwards. That's never going to win you any races. Final lap. I'm in trouble, dude. I got to make some huge plays. Gargantuan fanny plays. Ah. Ah. What does this thing count down? I'm stressed enough as it is. All right, the final lap, we did it right. And now fourth is gonna get cute and stay in front of me. God damn him. Freaking yellow a-hole. Ah, for the love of Pete. All right, god damn it. Love these time machine streams. It's every Sunday now. We went back to Sundays. But uh, it almost looks like an exact remake of F-Zero on SNES. Was that like a, an actual uh, course from F-Zero for SNES? I think uh, you should have splurged on the rack and rack and crimping steering. <laughs> Gotta crimp up those racks, you know what I mean? Mom! Frick! We got any more games? This is all we got? This is all you bought me? Frick homework. God damn it. Graphics are insanely similar. It's a hard game, Mom! Eyes on the road, stop watching me! All right, uh, a little song came from my Spotify anime channel called Car Wash Girl. Funny enough, very fitting BGM for this game. Right at the same time. All right, Fireball is a delicious Canadian whiskey, and Yongstreet confirms it. All right, okay, we gotta scroll down. All right. I only lost that race because of mom. All right, next one up. What are we gonna play? What are we gonna do? We got big plays to make, you know? Three o'clock. Been on for six hours and 48 minutes. Felt like we just started. Did you try Fortress Rad? Looks odd. No, it's it's not one that I'll play. I'll tell you what it is, though. Tetris pieces come falling down, and if you make solid, like, two-by-two two squares, it solidifies into, like, a castle. But I had no idea what was going on or how to make it work. I'm sure I'll play Game Boy Advance, uh, Wars Advance, at some point in the future, but for now, for now, we gotta scoot. This, oh man, this Kuro Kuro Kirin is actually pretty fresh. Castle Rad? Uh, Portal Runner for the GBA. I played it, actually. <laughs> I tested it, and my notes are as follows, Insomniac. Portal Runner, Portal Runner for Game Boy Color. Better than it should be, but not one to play. So there you go, you can sleep easy knowing at least 3DO got their Game Boy Color game right. Alright, goddammit, if you guys don't see Kuro Kuro Kirin right now, no one's ever gonna know what the hell it is and no one's ever gonna play it. The Mask and Woody Woodpecker! High quality content! The Mask is coming out, Stanley Ipkiss is back and ready for Maniacal Madness, more Maniacal Madness, as the green skinned goofball, The Mask, for the Game Boy Color. In this game, your goal will be to obtain the woman of your dreams by fighting off her fiancé and his dubious pals with the help of powerful and personality-altering mask. With your help of the... Okay, a powerful... Okay. Masks are merely a symbolic... I don't remember what Ben Stein said. All right, uh, you'll use a... You'll pull out a full array of cartoony weapons to accomplish this from giant boxing glove to stinky... Stinky piece of cheese with, or when the mask jumps into a store, uh, stores this spring. Smoking. I don't think we'll be playing that game, but, you know, we had to read it. Stinky cheese! Yeah, the best weapon I've ever heard. The Castle Rad, the home of the surfer. That's where he lives, damn it. Alright, I'm gonna just quickly load up Cure, 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 because I'm not gonna be good at it, but I just want you guys to see, this is like a good example of when Nintendo is, is right. We were right to be so quirky and unflinching and unwavering. We were right, damn it. Were you, though? Fine. Fine, Nintendo. God damn it. Ah, uh, Miyamoto's my favorite. Frick him. Frick this guy. Uh, Grandma's house, let's go. 
Back on the road, Mom. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on, Mom. I'm probably not filling you with confidence yet. Let me tell you guys, this is actually a pretty creative uh, puzzle game. And Red is not a puzzler. But they get just enough twitch reflexes here that I'm like, all right, all right, all right. Oh! Well, we got close, everyone. Uh, what was it again? Kuru, Kuru, Kirin. All right, these tunes, all right. Kirin. All right, just get in there, Rad. Get in there and play the game. There we go. Lock it up, everybody. How do you play this game, Rad? You just move this shape through all these obstacles. And try and do it faster than that ghost machine. Alright. Damn it. 69mega.com is back in action over on YouTube. God damn it. Did you guys, if anyone's watching who is now a mod on YouTube, do you guys figure out how to frick them up? Goru! Wreck Friday Bundaroo! Oh god. Go for it. No mistakes, no mercy. I took a biff there. And they gave me a three second punishment for that. God damn them. Look how sad that bird is. Alright, go. There's no time. I ain't got time to frick around. Get up there, buddy. Oh, oh, damn it. I got six seconds added to my score now just because I'm impatient. I'm not even going to give me a star for that. Give me a slap in the face. Shorty, the fricksters are up. Do you know do you know what to do over on YouTube when they get hot and heavy? Do you just right click them and say ban forever or what? Go! Oh, I got a freaking punishment. I'm getting punished for, for just wanting to live the dream. No. Go. Hey, we locked it up. <laughs> I did it. Alright, Shorty. The man. Shorty the man straw. We're playing the bangers here, Shorty, and 69 Mega is coming after me. Yeah. Just jealous of all the fun I'm having. Whoops, that's clearly not the way in. How do I get in? How the hell did he get in? He's dead. I hope you're happy. Your halogen light is dead. How the hell do you get through this? Let me see what he does. I'm gonna steal his bit. What the hell? Oh, it bounces me the other way. All right. Man, duck stick is top tier. All right, this time. Oh boy, I want this game so I can can get better at reading Japanese. This is the one to do it. These tunes are happening. This might end up on the playlist, actually. Jesus Christ. The hell, I changed my color. What did it even do? I'm changing color nonstop. Oh, that was I was on pace for a new record there and I boned it up. I bet the speed run for this game is actually insane. There we go. Oh, for the love of Pete. This is literally what happens when I help people move. I hope you don't mind having a thing hit your wall because that's all I do. Alright, we'll try this one again, then we're moving on. Yeah. Alright. Hey, Red, you wanna help me move? Only if you want a bunch of dents in your wall. Ah, oh, for the love of God. And they should, professional movers should just play this game. It's your final exam. How are you gonna move this couch down these stairs? I don't know. I got wavy arms. This is going to bone me up big time. What, what the hell did that even do for me? Oh, for God's sakes. 41 seconds. It's double. How can I be so good at bobsledding and so awful at this? I got to tell you, you're driving to Grandma's house. You could definitely kill a whole drive to Grandma's house playing this game. All right, one more. Go. Yes. Gotta want it. All right, here we go. No, oh, we... History favors the bold, and I am not being bold enough. 
Oh god, be bold. Oh god damn. Oh god, I'm not bold enough. Be bold. Oh, I, oh, I get health back for that. All right, that makes sense. Oh god. Oh man, I'm getting so. Oh frick, I spoke too soon. Oh god, no. No. Oh, Those are not the vibes that I want to end that one on, but you know what? We gotta do, we gotta do all time whiffs. Oh, frick. Chalk it up on the big board, Shorty. Another all time whiff. I don't know why this one's in there, but hell, I need to pick me up. All right. Let's move on. Rumble Racing. We don't even need to play that. Driver B. Uh, MSR. Okay, we did play that one already. Red Faction. We played it, buddy. Giants. Citizen Kabuto. Um. We don't need to play this right now, but we will play this in the future. I cannot believe YouTube is so bad. Why? What did YouTube do? All right. Uh, but yes, YouTube Live has little to no moderation tools for mods. This is laughable. YouTube is pretty far off from Twitch on these things. All right. I don't know why I'm getting harassed so much on YouTube, but it seems like they come straight after me. They probably just go after low streamers like he only has two followers or two people watching. Get him. You got to get him. Duck stick is top tier. All right, we already read that one. All right, moving on. All right, for those wondering, I wrote this song for my brother and his podcast, Dingle Dude. Uh, he's got a Discord now. I don't know if I don't even know if he can share it, but he's got a Discord for his. Uh... Why this is only coming out now? Why have I played it like five times on the show so far? Um, he's got a Discord because he runs a podcast now for uh. NHL fantasy drafts and like who to pick. He's pretty goddamn knowledgeable on it too. Yeah, why would I want to play the Spider-Man game when this is the animation picture they show? They have been pushing hard on this Spider-Man game and I'm still not playing it. Nope. Not gonna do it. Alright, Project Eden. Did I even get around to playing this? Or testing it? I don't even think I did. Wow, God, we still don't have... We haven't tested it yet. All right, I don't think I can play that one yet, but we will play it. It looks good as frick. Am I right? Is that the PS2 Spider-Man, uh, like from the movie? No, this looks like, uh, like more based on the actual cartoon or something. Because there's C Chameleon something or whatever his name is. All right, uh, after successful superhero stomp fests on the PlayStation and N64, Marvel's famous web slinger is now battling evil across New York skyline on the Dreamcast port. A uh, port. Oh god. YT is better for content creation and the creator. Yeah, the live stream still needs some work apparently. PS2 Dreamcast is the most is one mostly based on the cartoon. Right. Okay. Oh, here we have Gauntlet Legacy. God, I I only got that on my PS2 like five seconds before the stream went live, so I haven't played that one yet. Maybe we'll wait on that. The Floygan Brothers. Oh, that's awful. I didn't even bother testing Ooga Booga. Come on. The PSX and the N64 game and the Dreamcast. PSX and N64 game and the Dreamcast. This game is... This game is dope on them all. Ooga Booga! Ring of Red is like a sim. Like a mech sim. Ew. Can you guys believe we played Green Rogue on both the PlayStation and the PlayStation 2? How else would we know? I think this is a little suspect. They're giving Sarge's Heroes on PlayStation 2 a 4 out of 5 in fun, and a 4.5 in graphics. I guess at the time it did have pretty good graphics, but I guess they can't really say A compared to Blood Wake, which is coming out soon. They did tend to like Sarge's Heroes, which is a bit of a frick fest. It is nowhere near a 3.5, but then they're like, hey, we gotta bring that street cred back. Yeah, but Green Rogue, though, that one, that one's only a 2.5 out of fun. Yeah, all right. DDR coming out on the PlayStation. Only $29. What? All that hot copyrighted music? Brad, I dropped a tip on auto filter for YouTube. I can't believe I can't add blocked terms to YouTube. It's got me baffled. You're out of here, Blink. Hey, thanks for coming and stop uh, sticking around for so much, Blink. Go get those world records and PBs, buddy. And then get a PB and J sandwich, obviously. 
What do you mean? You drop the tip on auto filter for you. Oh, like, I don't know what that means. Like, you drop them a tip or you drop me a tip? Or you drop me a tip. I dropped info on the charity on disc. Discord mod chat. All right, Shorty, get in that Discord mod chat, buddy. All right. We played Point Blank 3 last week. It was fun as frick. Guys, if you if you ha have never played it, check it out. Check it out or check the VOD, whatever. Whoa, look at they really hated this one. 1.5 in graphics for the uh, uh, World War Final Front. There was just way too many of these Army Men games. Now, another Army Men, another Army Men, another goddamn Army Men. They're rotten with these Army Men games. All right, now, this Toy Story Racer is being reviewed here, so it's our last chance to actually play the game, but it is actually a good goddamn game. We're already seven hours in. Point Blank was so good. Yeah, I had a lot of fun playing that. I'd play that again off stream. I would do it. Guys, we're going to play this Toy Story Racer, but only because it is, quite frankly, if I'm being frank, the best kart racer I've played in, like, ten kart racers. Which is pretty rare. You know, they actually upped the ante. The last good one I played was Woody Woodpecker Racing. And it was actually alright. In an already saturated genre, the Toy Story crew attempts to come alive with its own version of a kart racer. But don't expect any of the thrilling rides from the Toy Story movies. Uh, you'll just be playing a mediocre racer. Take control of any of the ten Toy Story characters. Well, how dare you not mention that it's actually competently made. My notes say, uh, surprisingly good kart racer. Best in, best in a while. Got the hiccups. Been talking too much. <sighs> All right, what are we missing here? There's a couple of PlayStation 2 games on the horizon, and then we're done. We're wrapping this episode up. All right, let's blast through this game point blank. Blast it in the face. Toy Story Racer. This guy didn't be a champion. Well, not how I heard. I thought the song was going to go. Is Army Man World War an FPS? No, it's still behind the character Dump Fest. Oh, it's under Disney? Yeah, Disney. It's Disney Pixar Toy Story Racer. Oh my. How dare they? PS1. Rotating head goes away. Alright, Disney Pixar. Toy Story Racer on the PS1. And they're probably going to get me with copyrighted music here. Come on. Bring it on, buddy. Game time. All right, Activision wanted a piece of this one. Why do I not have my stream labels open? Yeah, my Bingo. Oh, but the thing isn't open. Okay, why don't I do that? Because I was filming stuff and I needed to get everything off my screen. Um, Alright, we'll leave those off for now. Gotta fix that apparently. God damn it, gotta fix everything. For the love of God. Alright, skip it. Get me in the game, coach. Coach, I'm ready. Um, there's a damn chat. Boom, boom. Was playing a little choppy. I hope that's not a sign of things to come. There we go. Mr. Potato Head is a registered trademark. Wait, I don't want this open anymore. Get that off my screen. Oh. Hey, Dan! Not now, buddy! Dan's got issues. He's got another issue. Five issues. And just look at the screen for a second. What the hell do you think they're telling me to do? Is Triangle New Game? Sixty nine mega is the bot's user tag and not a message. Goddamn! Oh yeah, they YouTube just brought in a new feature where they're using. Um, Goddamn! This game's loud as hell. A new feature. I don't remember what it's called, but yeah, they're using tags now. All right, turn it down, buddy. Freaking monkeys in a barrel getting out of their mind. It's just one player up. Let's be. Oh man, you know. Up and let's hit it. Not okay. Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger, Universe Protection Unit. You're mocking me, aren't you? Oh, I'm going to get in trouble for even playing those. All right, let's get in there. Space Race, go. All right, best kart racer in a while. Let's see if my 
Let's see if I'm accurate. Look, he's losing his mind in here. Alright, I got the eight ball. You don't know who you're freaking with. Come on, stay with it. Come on, Buzz. You gotta want it, buddy. How do I shoot this thing? Alright, get the damn eight ball out of here. He stole my freaking hot power ups. Alright, get it, buddy. Ah, oh, for the love of Pete. Alright, now you freaked up, buddy. I didn't want to have to do that. You brought that on yourself. Oh, no. Oh, it doesn't seem as good as it did when I played it the other night. All right, hot power-ups. That's not gonna, it's not gonna help at all. Look at little Buzz sitting in his tiny car. And this guy's whipping it with these uh, UFO shots. Final lap, let's do it. And then maybe I'll move on. I don't need to keep playing this. Oh, I didn't sneak into the uh, shortcut inside the house. That's gonna, that's gonna keep me up at night. Oh, Buzz is clearly pulling away now. You guys ever have monkeys in a barrel? We still have them. You're a better Buzz than I am. Hell yeah. Buzz, we did it, buddy. I think you guys get it. I got some PS2 games to play. Hey, we just had to get that one in there. Because it's getting reviewed in this episode. And if it doesn't get re They're never going to talk about it again, all right? All right, get it, the, get it the hell off my screen. All right. All right, we're also running a little dry on PlayStation games. I think they're almost out as well. Oh, they had a good run in 64 and PlayStation. That was a good console war. I don't know what the next one's going to be like. I'm excited for it, though. That's I can tell you guys that with the honest truth. Oh, don't tell me this game's getting a good rating. Oh, what? Oh, no. Good Lord. Well, based on the first uh, t 25 minutes of the game... That's a hard pill to swallow. A perfect score. A perfect score. Only Musha didn't get a perfect score. Rad just hates good things. Is this actually a good game once you get back or get through all the garbage? As those cutscenes, they turn you right off. I want to play the game. Let's play the game. No, first you got to sit through 20 minutes of cutscenes, and then you have to play as a drunken conqueror who works or walks really slowly. Like, oh man. So if anything, the pacing should be. I guess they don't. They don't rate for pacing. I'm gonna pick it up, buddy. I gotta do something soon or I'm gonna lose my mind. Fives across the board. Graphics. N64 games don't look much better than this. Alright, on a scale of 1 to 5 on N64 scales or all time scale. Or at the time, all time. Uh, colorful, creative levels, wonderful character designs, and excellent lighting effects. Mean Conquer has at least a nice view to look forward to uh, during his otherwise unpleasant day. When I played it, I thought it was okay, but not fives. Okay, so this is a, only a little bit fishy, not a lot fishy. All right, sound design. Hilarious dialogue in a word, or in weird British accents, dead-on cartoon sound effects, and a kick-ass musical soundtrack filled with surprising details. All right, I, I didn't even think to listen to the music. And how the frick did they cram all this voice onto one cartridge? Now that, you can say, is a technical feat. They must have had some crazy uh, compression algorithm. All right. Uh, Rare has that control thing down. Has the control thing down since pat, that uh, down pat since one day, or day one, and Conquer's no exception. Where, uh, yeah, it didn't have bad controls, fine. Fun factor though, a brilliant, balanced, and insanely fun 3D platformer that knows, uh, knows, mere shock value doesn't, make a good game. So was the whole thing kind of a parody on all the games that were trying to be shocking? Because that can be kind of okay. Yeah, Shorty's like, hilarious dialogue. Well, not in the first 20 minutes. Maybe we're reading the run Meg, Rad. If it was hilarious uh, back then, damn it, didn't hold up yet. <laughs> I do recall, though, that people would say, like, no, have you played Conquer? I know you like all these hardcore games, but have you played Conquer? Conquer's hardcore as frick. That's why I thought he was dropping F-bombs and it was just out of his mind. 
Every time I saw a picture of him, though, it's like this normal cutesy little squirrel. The thing is, he is just a cutesy little squirrel. He's not hardcore at all. You'd see that, like, uh, Clockwork Orange image of him, you're like, oh my god, Conker's lost his mind. That's not the case at all. He's not breaking panes of glass into triangles and sticking fools with them. That's what I thought he was doing. You can see immediately, just immediately, how the reviewer only played N64 games. Yeah, who's their guy here? Star Bingo! It had multiplayer? Alright, well, I didn't see that coming. Alright, give you a little more for the package. I'm just trying to understand how this gets all fives. I guess by their rating system, pacing is not one of them. And they thought it was funny, so if you think it's funny, then I guess you, uh, you're gonna... That's a tough one. Oh, that's an ad. This is for too long. High Heat Major League Baseball. 3DO just won't go away. I wonder if highheat.com is still a website. With hot info. Now, I guess this is the one that gets away. I wanted to play Daytona just so we could see what it looked like on Dreamcast, but you know what? Eh. Nah. I thought this was going to be a sick puzzle game when I only looked at this picture, but it turns out it's just the best of pack. It didn't stop me from testing it. It's like, what the hell? Oh, God. I think Sega Swirl is at least uh, original. Hmm. Ill Bleed's a survival horror game on Dreamcast I tested out. It's it's not without its charm. I don't know what this Bang I.O. game is, but I didn't get to test it. Ill Bleed is my favorite game, says Insomniac. All right, well, it looked like it was super charming, but it was one of the ones where as soon as I played it, I'm like, I can't make it work on stream. I can't. Your Dreamcast favorite. It did look like a pretty fresh game. It does have some bad controls, but it's also some super funny dialogue. Really ridiculous dialogue. Point Blank gets its own uh, advertisement. Well, good for you, Point Blank. I only want the best for Point Blank. Uh, you know what I had to do to get my son to start peeing in the toilet was literally throw some Cheerios in the toilet and make it a game. Like, just pee in the toilet. Look at six frick. Okay, tell me if you can get all five Cheerios. All right, let me know if you get them. Close the door. Oh, God. It's PS2, and we, we don't have any pant fold graphics. Now, Triple Play is the one with pant fold graphics. Might as well just turn on the PlayStation. I don't. I don't think we're gonna get to this one, everyone. It's a baseball game. It's a baseball game with pant folds. All right. Triple play cranks out a strong PlayStation finale for a regular PlayStation. Only thirty nine bucks, man. We were paying thirty nine bucks for brand new games back then. Oh my god, we had it made in the shade. They're literally like seventy nine bucks and then more for digital. Turn my PlayStation 2 on my screen. These prices are all over the place. Yeah, there's no consistency here. Tiger Woods says, get in here, buddy. You want to play this game? No, because it doesn't have any golf wave jams. That's where you guys boned it up. You had one shot and you blew it. I need golf wave jams and I need them right now. All right, we got our regular PlayStation 2 controller ready to rock. They wanted 59 for Conquer. Well, that's the problem, too. Yeah, you got to get the goddamn cartridge, right? That's probably a special cartridge, too, because it had all that voice dialogue on it. Or spoken word dialogue. You must have got the Resident Evil 2 team on that one. How do we do this? I don't know! Alright, this F1 game is actually pretty fresh. And poor Grom's not even here. 49 bucks, though. What time we got here? 3.38. 7.15 into the show. 7 hours and 15 minutes of high-octane action. All right, why don't we just, um, how much do we got? Shorty's been so patient. I know Baldur's Gate's coming up. Why don't we skip to Baldur's Gate for our very own Shorty Straw? But I might come back and play some F1 racing because it's good as frick. Damn it, 69mega.com, all capitals. And in all caps, they're saying, Tired of being alone? We'll help you, buddy. Wet emote, smooching emote, uh, whatever frickin' emote. Wait till you see the water in Baldur's Gate. Well, you know what I noticed in Baldur's Gate was the barmaid. Oh my lord. She fine. Fine as frick. All right, let's read a bit about this because I didn't even know there was a Baldur's Gate on the PlayStation 2 and Shorty dropped a little nugget on me. said like, yeah, I hated it out of spite back in the day. So he's a PC fan and then the PC franchise that he likes a lot comes out with like this console version and I know that exact feeling that Shorty Straw had where it's like, oh, I don't, I, out of spite, I won't even play that game. I hate it. I actually, I hate its guts. I did the same thing for Nintendo for about 20 years. Didn't play a single Nintendo property for 20 years. 
All right, but they say Interplay is creating a new chapter in the Baldur's Gate series, uh, the highly acclaimed PC RPG series. Uh, this time, the PS2, including third edition Dungeons & Dragons rules. I didn't know it was associated with Dungeons & Dragons. Um, but Dark Alliance is no PC port. Mm -mm -mm. It'll be a completely new epic adventure based on the realm's world. And every element of the game is being created from the ground up for this PS2, including the breast physics, which I don't think the PC version had Shorty Straw. All right. And they were classy. I mean, her outfit is ridiculous, but the they went classy with it. They could have gone ridiculous. Ball hair's gate. Shave them off. All right, uh, completely new adventure, huh? Uh, well, based on my just initial testing of the shorty, it looked pretty good. Is this on PC now? While this venture may seem like a big risk, our first look at Dark Alliance reveals that Interplay is on the right track, buddy. Next generation RPGs, Dark Alliance's incredible graphics are the first and most notable aspect. Yes, this game has really good graphics. Realistic details throughout the world will include complex shadows and from torches, smooth rippling water effects like you mentioned, um, polygonal leaves and trees, and almost limitless variation on textures, thanks to some very complex technology you wouldn't understand. All right, sit down. Not only that, all the characters, including the NPCs and monsters, will have breast physics, uh, and they will have amazing details like a variety of clothing and weapons options with each character uh, when each character or each character will speak to you with lip sync dialogue as well. With these features added, uh, Dark Alliance won't need pre-rendered cinemas. Its story will be told to you through in-game cutscenes. That's probably one of the first times that was ever even an option. Bring on ye ale, may matey. Let's go courts and tavern winches. Some of this is actually interesting to read. The epic story of Baldur's Gate uh, of Dark Alliance will occur. All right, that we don't care about. I swear my sh pullover just keeps riding up my crack. That shouldn't be the way it goes, but it is. All right. Yep, he's finally on PC after 20 years. All right, Baldur's Gate. Ball hair's gate. Shaved ball hair's gate. All right. Theater time. Party time. No signal yet, everyone. All right, we're getting in there and we're getting out of our minds. Confirmed. I wonder what the Dark Alliance is. PS2. I don't even have a window open to see what the hell's going on here. Oh. All right, hold on, everyone. We're getting there. Hot and heavy. Memory card configuration. What slides do you want to use? Just goddamn, get me in there. I'm ready to go, coach. Just let me in. Bring on ye ale, V Rep says, and I am inclined to believe him. Who the hell's Balder and what's his problem? Alright, now we don't need to watch that. I will watch an intro cutscene, but I don't need to watch that. This is pretty pumped up, this title screen. Listen to the song. All right. I'm ready, coach. Get me in there, coach. Tutorials, get fricked. Normal, get fricked. All right, as much as I want to be this fine female character, I think I'm going to have to go with my main art, uh, human archer here. I just got to. The Xbox version probably did look better, but they aren't talking about it yet. We'll check it out when it gets there. I'll compare and contrast. One. Loading. You are weary from your travels. These are Mesmerized good as frick graphics. Look at the detail on that guy. Gate. Not only a town of I mean, his walking gate is pretty silly. And the fact that you can see the repeating texture is kind of a bummer. Fame and fortune but when you're zoomed in, pretty good. It is night. Baldur's Gate is a city, says Shorty Straw. It is it huge, like Midgar? Deserted. Look at this guy whiffs it big time. Doesn't see these two sneaksters but creeping up on him. That the night holds danger as well. They're r literally running after you, buddy. What are they wearing? Cloth shoes? Oh, they probably are. Oh, they clobber him good. Rad is entering immersion mode. I'm entering the, the freaking Baldur's Gate zone. Easy pickings. Hey, Karn. 
Indeed. Let's this see what our little ambush has won us. These voices are all out of Cartoon Network and stuff. Who goes there? Who goes there? Disney's after school Let's special. Watch. Let's get out of here. Yes, but take the gold. Leave the rest for the watch. A-holes. Yeah, my gold. They took my gold. Look at the shiny little halberds here. Damnable thieves. They grow bolder with each passing day. The biggest city on Still the Sword Coast. One. Yeah, and Baldur's like Gate all they did was is like Vancouver. With some possessions. Easy, easy there. Feels like I'm watching Gargoyles. That's quite a blow you took. Those thieves that attacked made off with your possessions. But at least you're alive. I swear that's Brooklyn. They're becoming more bold with each passing day. You already said that, sir. You'd best stay off the streets after the sun sets. It's not safe out here. All right. You could seek shelter in the Elf Song Tavern. It's close enough. It's very close. Aye, more than enough cutthroats there. Could be one of them would even know how to find those that attack you. I didn't know it was a city, Shorty. That sounds interesting to me. Drawn something by something very cool voice. about the city, then, hey? You come to the Elf Song Tavern. There she is, is the girl of my NPC's dreams. Filled with a motley assortment of patrons. Looks like she fell right out of a Jessica Simpson music video. Trophies. Although not there, the lower eyes. The haunting voice is all around you, and the patrons ah. are silent ah. as the song washes over them. I like this one narrator action. One, <laughs> Look at these guys, bunch of stim junkies in here listening to this song. Beautiful song, isn't it? I've heard her sing a hundred times, and each time it still moves me. <laughs> Alright, it's beautiful, but where's the voice coming from? It's the spirit of an elven woman. She haunts this tavern, singing once every couple of nights. Uh, why did she sing? No one truly knows. Her spirit was here when I first bought this tavern. So Some it's cursed. She sings for a lost mm -hmm. love, a soldier who died defending Baldur's Gate. They say she sings in the hope he will hear her voice and return home. Still, no, honestly, where's it coming from? That is. That is well, literally a haunted tavern, tavern, lady. What can I get you? Oh, it's that thing holding. Uh, hanging over the fireplace. Stuffed beholder, a small version of the species, I'm told. Not that I've seen many of them. One of my regulars, Ethan, found it in the cellar. Huh. I never got far enough in any D and D incarnation to fight a beholder. Won't beholders just frick you up right away? They're also called eye tyrants, if that name's any more familiar to you. Mm -mm. Beholders are beasts that float above the ground and can cast terrible spells from their eyes. Evil things. I wouldn't want to meet one, and neither would you. Foreshadowing. I see. All right. Well, look, I came here because uh, I was attacked in the street. Some guy clubbed me in the back of the head with a billy club. They a mail away billy club. And I'm looking to find him. I could smash their face with an iron. Hmm. Sounds like members of that new thieves. Oh, damn, Shorty Straw. You're about. high level. You're lucky to be alive. Word is they're responsible for the murder of two city watchmen and the disappearance of several thieves from the old guild. Hmm. I got it, a body bag. <laughs> Just a big round sack. Got it! Body bag! Alright. Do you know where I can find this Thieves' Guild? Eh? Well, no one knows where their guild hall is. Still, if you're determined to find them, try the sewers. Why the sewers? I'll wager they've been using them to move around. Are you pranking me, girl? You're just gonna get me go in the sewer, get a bunch of pee and poo on me? Is that what you want? Freaking cancelled! You're cancelled, lady! Exactly. Alright, how do I get in the sewers? There's a gate to the sewers in the cellar of this tavern. A Baldur's Gate? I locked it up a long time ago, before the Guild War began. Give me the key, girlfriend! And can I use the gate from you? Hmm? Well, there's a problem with that. What? Insomniac. Actually, she fine. maybe we can help each other out. All right, I'm listening. What do you mean? Well, we've had to lock up the cellar because of the horde of rats that... This is Jennifer Hale? Oh my god, that's awesome. Clear them out for me, and I'll give you the key to the sewer. You got a bunch of pee and poo covered rats, and you want me to go down there and get covered in pee and poo. What do you say? You're not even gonna pay me? God damn. It's the a deal. The cellar's locked, so you'll need to get the key from Ethan over in the corner there. Ethan, the freaking weirdo that found the 
beholder body. Let me bring this up for you. I thought you'd like it. Ethan's one of our regulars. He usually fetches wine from the cellar for me, but uh, he hasn't been able to go down there since the rats appeared. You mean the same cellar that's covered in pee and poo? That's where you keep your wine? Oh man, I'm gonna shut this place down. Gordon Ramsay's gonna come in here and shut this goddamn place down. All right, uh, when do they start appearing? I'll go speak to him. Fine, I'll talk Only about the rats. Only this past week. If those <laughs> are using the sewers to move around Baldur's Gate. I'm ready to frick these rats up. You guys know it. And apparently I'm an archer, so I'm gonna go down there with the... All right, I'll go get the key from Ethan and see about taking care of the rats then, fine. Luck be with you, and watch those rats. Some of them can be vicious when backed in a corner. They have diseases, untold diseases. Okay, all right, Ethan, I smart enough. I can't do that here. I can't do that here. I can't do, I that, can't here. do that here. What button talks to I Ethan? I can't do that here. I can't do that here. It's not X. I can't do that here. Not circle. I can't do that here. Not triangle. I can't do that here. Up. No. Oh, here's the macros. Oh god. I can't do that here. I can't do that here. I can't do that here. Talk to Ethan is square. Welcome, Jesus Christ. friend. I saw you come in. First, Not Ethan. Where do I get a hat like that, buddy? You look I'm gorgeous. For you. All right. Alith, the bartender, said you had a key to the cellar. I hear you're the only one who found the stuff that stuffed beholder. It was already stuffed. Now that's interesting. What's going on here, Ethan? I I did. I'm sure there are other things lying around down there. What Elf is going on in the sewer? Sheltered many thieves and cutthroats over the years. That's probably why there's that gate to the sewers down there. The same first they mission you get in Bard's Tale. Holes in the cellar. It's a good industry standard. I found the beholder in one of them in a secret door behind some barrels in the far corner of the. Cellar. Secret door down there. Hot and heavy tips right there. The singing me out feels like mosquitoes in my ear. Singing me out. Better animations than modern RPGs. This is super impressive. They didn't lie at all. I'm Yeah, I'm telling you, I wouldn't normally play this game, but once I tested it, I just got as far as talking to the barmaid. I'm like, this game looks quality as hell. All right, I'll keep an eye out for them. Farewell, Ethan. Well, no, I'm still talking to Ethan. Welcome, friend. Welcome, friend. I haven't seen you in a long time. Just a bump on the head you've got there. Yeah, well, it's Something not the top of my head. It's the back of my head. They tried to kill me. I do. We locked the door to the cellar once the rats started. Are those the keys, Ethan? Don't make me smash you, buddy. Just give me the keys. For something. Alice asked me to take care of the cavern's rat problem. I need to go into the cellar. I need to get into the sewer gate down the cellar, but I need your key first. Let's see if I can just put on a little of the old Nornrad charm for this guy. Hey, come on, Ethan. Come on. You and me, buddy. I told you I liked your hat. It looks awesome, buddy. You're looking great. You're looking cut. Have you been losing weight? You've been working out, buddy? The gate to the sewers. What do you want to get to that rusty thing for? It's been sealed for years. I got flu in my eyes. It's my business. Mind your own business, all right? I need that key to the cellar. I was robbed down the streets by a number. Ethan? He fine. <laughs> hey, fine as frick. Ethan, where did you get that hat, buddy? I want one. Hat pals. All right, do I just get out of my mind? Mind your own business, Ethan. For your sake. I hope you're not planning to go after those thieves that attacked you. No. Why, how do you know about that, Ethan? Are you one of them? I overheard your conversation with Aleth. Oh, well, we were only two feet away. You've met them once and escaped with Best you. hat on the Sword Coast. Don't test your luck twice. Uh, that's up to me, okay, Ethan? You want a piece of what they got? Or what they're gonna get? I have to find them. They stole every last coin from me, and I aim to get what they stole back. Oh, man. Well... Better hit the town and find that hat store. Going down there. Priority one. Maybe the rats will. Rats don't concern me. Just give me the goddamn key. All right then. All right. Hey, I didn't warn you. Hey. Here's the key. Stick to, to hat uh, fashion. All right, buddy. That's where you excel, big time, buddy. Looking great. Before you go. Don't worry about these rats, right? All right, Ethan, you lovely bastard. But it might do you some good. Before I go, Aleth told me that you were the one that found that stuff. I already asked him that. All right, I'll be careful. Thanks for the key and the knife. Rusty dagger. Ethan, why are you carrying a rusty dagger with you? This animation is good as... Goddamn, look at this. Um, I can't do that here. I will do whatever I damn well please. Uh, equip the knife. Okay. This game is looking very high quality. Oh, 
man. Look at all this crap. Toughness. Max it out. Alright. Oh, shorty. Oh, shorty, look how slow I can walk. Oh, shorty, it was meant to be. Alright, let's talk to these stim junkies. Alright, let's stab these stim junkies. What do you want? This guy does not know where to buy his hat. No to spare, so don't think your begging will make me part with a single copper. Not a beggar, all right? I got clubbed on the back of the head. Now we got 18 sex dot X Y Z. Jesus Christ! You crimped it. <laughs> That's good. Uh, not a single crimper here. I'm getting bombarded by rascals over on the ya or YouTube chat. No one's even watching over there. I'm still getting bombarded. We're, you wait for it, buddy. We're going to get the rascals over there eventually. Do you know anything about the thieves here in Baldur's Gate? No, I don't need that. Guys, just let me in the sewer. Where the hell is the sewer entrance? I'm ready to go smash some wrath. Back here. Open the door. Alrighty. Oh, that? That's just Dumper singing his guts out like usual. Singing his little heart out. There we go! Dumper, I didn't tell you to break all my barrels! Yeah, what the hell am I supposed to do down here otherwise? Looking for hidden doors. Ethan told me about hidden doors. What am I supposed to do? Recall potions are very useful. They will teleport you back to the hub of any act. And you can use them again to return to the location you recalled from. Recall potions are used through the pause menu. I noticed that. I was like, recall? Total recall or otherwise? Where do you save the game, though? Whoopsies. What the hell did I do? I hit square and then suddenly it's loading. All right, back down the hole you go, buddy. Dumper Crimper is the same uh, in the year. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a ladder. That's why I got it. Oh, man, I'm just stealing everything she got. A lesser rejuve potion. Can't even handle a full rejuve. Oh, here we go. Save it up. I might want to come back to this game. You don't know. You don't know me. All right, this is how long it takes to open your memory card when it's 128 meg. I had a whole piece of dust in my throat. I can't play games like this. Look at I have to smash everything just to make sure I don't miss any hot JRPG action. Now, Shorty, if you're still here, was the music known for being pretty good in Baldur's Gate? Because this sounds pretty good. All right, let him in. Get frick! Right, the damn plague rat just took a bite out of me. I don't even get to collect any rat meat. What the hell's going on here? Here we go. Pick up the arrows, buddy. Snipe him! Ah, oh, you got me. There's no Z-targeting. What am I supposed to do? Wait, can I rotate the camera? That would be insane if I could. Because it already looks good graphics. That's why I think it would be insane. You can rotate the camera with the right thumbstick. Oh my god, this game's winning me over big time. What the hell was my problem? I didn't play this game back in the day. Good as, good as all hell. I don't know what I'm picking up, but I'm getting loot galore down here. He went down there and broke every single one of my pots. I was out of my mind at the time. Oh, there's those hot water graphics we were learning about. Can I see some light reflections in there? No. All right. Goddamn, it delivered. A rusty sword? Hell, goddamn yes. All right, let me uh, equip this said sword. Bingo, bango, bongo. I don't have a bow, though. I'm an archer with no bow. When do I go up levels here? It's a targeting line, making aiming easier. I'm sure I missed something in the tutorial. This has more ambient music. What was the music just for uh, acid bass nonstop in the uh, PC version? I'm carrying like four rejuve potions here. It's like having four bottles of balls. 
Am I playing it like you're supposed to play it, Shorty? Alright, let me at him. Sword time. Oh god, get the hell out of my face. You want a piece of what he got? This rat took advantage of me. He saw I was too busy smashing barrels. Oh, hello. Oh, here we go. This is where we separate the men from the boys, everyone. Get ready and go. Arrgh! Oh, I'm getting swarmed, dudes. This was a reju potion. Oh, God, no. All right, Jesus, Louises. Oh, that was not as many as I thought. All right, uh, you can use potions quickly when not in the inventory by pressing R2 for healing and L2 for rejuvenation. What, are they separate? I wouldn't have gone in here so hot and heavy if I thought rejuvenation was not healing. All right, well, what is rejuvenation? Oh, it's for magic. Oh, I don't need that. I'm a lowly archer. I don't know any spells. All right, heal up. Getting arrows, but I got no bow. Oh, they probably stole it from me, those a-holes. Alright, here we go. Rats be damned. One at a time through the door, please. Smashed him. Smashed him. Smashed him. Yo, where's Rad's bow? That's what I want to know. Okay, who uses a whole chest like that for just four gold pieces? to go have a chat with Aleth about her haphazard uh, chest usage. Whoa, there's a jump button, Shorty! Shorty, God damn it! was there a jump button in the uh, PC version? Shorty, I'm jumping, dude! Alright, let's see if I collected a bow yet. I thought I picked up something big. Well, can I equip these even though I have no bow? Is that allowed? Uh, I have them equipped, it's just not doing anything for me. What happens if I just take all my clothes off? Whoa! That is the way to play. <laughs> I'm out of my mind! Hey! Dumper, where'd your clothes go? I took them off in a fit of passion here, fighting all these damn rats. Right here, his fanny, his fanny was goddamn pants. humongous at the time. Stuffing his pants full of paper towel. I don't even have pants, I can't even stuff them with the goddamn paper towel. The snake man broke into my bar. He broke every one of my pottery pl plant pots. I don't know what you call them. Vases. All right. Wait till Aleth gets a load of this. Get frick. Ow. 15 rats remain. All right. I think I'm on a rat killing spree here. I can't wait till the next cutscene in this outfit. That rat's just trying to get away. Not on my watch, buddy. All the rats are dead. Rat doesn't do pot, that's right. I stole all her rubies, though. That wasn't part of the deal! You want a piece of what they got? Right. What? Oops, I didn't need to use that. Oh, here we go. Open the door and get out of your mind, buddy. There you go. Smashed it. He broke every one of my barrels in his underwear. There's definitely going to be a king rat down here. Hey, I'm not wearing anything much different than a female in these games would be doing. Oh no, the rats bit my clothing off. Get Frick! I've collected about 12 healing potions down here. I'm going to put her out of business. Get out of hand now. This game's oddly addicting, everybody. Alright, you ready? You ready, everybody? Let's go. Okay. Alright, one big giant rat left. And then it's Aleph time. 
Rat quest complete. Oh, I love beating rat quest. It's like police quest, it's a little different. First you have to strip down to your underwear. Leather underwear, then just go on a killing spree. A rat killing spree. I was deranged at the time. I didn't, I, all I saw were rats. I just went up to the tavern and just started swinging my sword around. Return to the tavern to receive a reward from Aleth, as well as the key to the sewers. If you found a recall potion, use that now by selecting the recall in the start menu. All right, I think I have. Maybe there's one in this. No. Hell yeah, wooden shield. Yeah, it's better. Shoes? Why would I need those? This next cutscene is going to be off the chain, everybody. It sounds like there's some weirdos down here. Should I be alarmed, Aleth? Does it actually keep track of what time it is in the morning for me? How the hell does it know what time it is? It is literally 4.06 a.m. What? How does the PlayStation know what time it is? It keeps track of that for all time? That is crazy. Not even the right year. It's got the wrong year. Overwrite the game? Yeah, we're ready. The Rat King is just Bill Gates in a Speedo and a crowd made out of teeth. Oh, Jesus. The PS2 has an internal clock battery. Wouldn't it be dead by now? I guess not. That's pretty awesome. Alright, recall potion. Recall, recall, recall. Oh, I gotta use in the menu, right. Like they said. Oops, I just dropped it. Thank frick, they let me pick it back up. Alright, not that menu. Start menu. Alright, got one, one mustache hair going straight up the nose. You wouldn't know unless you went into the settings. Alright, well, I... I don't do that that often. All right, Aleth. Aleth, girl. I got all the rats for you. Aleth, you want to talk over here? You're back. Damn it. Did you see Ethan down there? In the cellar? No, I didn't see him. He followed you down there not long ago, and I fear he may have gotten lost in the cellar. Or worse, he may have wandered into the sewers. I tried to stop him. Was he the weirdo making deranged noises? Don't worry, Aleth. If I'd seen a naked man down there, I would have told you. I've taken care of the rat, so he probably just got lost. I'll find him. Thank you. Uh, but before you go, please take these coins. In oh, okay. Goddamn girl, you know what and you're doing. As promised, here's the key to the sewer gate. Be All careful right. down there. There are bound to be worse things than sewer rats in those times. There could be naked, greased up barbarians. I'll be careful. Thanks, Alice. Damn, it's on there. She foined. Insomnia, you know what's up. Brad should clean his consoles regardless. I, well, I don't know. They've been sitting in pristine boxes for the last 20 years. Probably still fricked up. Granted. But there was no dust in there. I didn't see a single speck. Youngster, you're not going big enough. What the hell's wrong with you? You got a sewer door key. And you also got 75 gold coins. God damn it. I sh maybe I should tell her I broke every one of her barrels and stole all the coins and potions down there. Eh, we won't be telling her that. And 200 XP. Hell yeah. All right. Talk to me, girlfriend. Ah, oh, it makes me disappear again. Did you see Ethan down there? This big! No, and I would never ever... All right. Hold on. I can't do that here. I can't take my clothes off here. It's too late, sir. You already did. One point left. All right. What can I do? All toughness all the time. Intestinal fortitude. This feature increases your health regeneration rate. <laughs> That'll just help me dump out solid tubular logs. That's what I need. Dodge. This feat improves your armor class by one point. Deflect missiles, toughness, willpower. I might need some. Which gives you five plus mana. Increase your mana regeneration. Intestinal fortitude. That's what we want. We got such strong intestines. And done. I believe this game uh, got a PC remaster last just last year. Wow. All right. Uh, have you seen Ethan? All right. Who cares? Lordimer, a hole. Exit the town. Stark ass nude. I don't as of yet know where this uh, sewer is. <laughs> I can't do that here. I, I can't do that here. Apparently, I can't do, do anything. Is it behind the tavern. Do I have to go down into the sewers again? Why would they let me come out here in the rain in my skivvies? 
All right, well, we won't keep playing. I just want to drink in the city a bit. And let them drink in my manly, manly bud. Will you crimp, Sir Dumper? I will crimp, madam. I can't do that here. Was this little icon here when I'm being spotted? A lot of people see you, sir. You are pretty uh, conspicuous right now. I can't do that here. I can't, I can't just enter here. someone's house right here. This looks like the Oblivion I wished I'd played instead of actual Oblivion. Oh, here we go. Little jank action here. Onto these boxes and behind the house. Here we go. Ah, won't let me jank it up. Come on, you guys know I'm the king of jank. Oh, come on. All right, the game's made of quality. Can't be janked. We've determined it can't be janked. I'm saying I can't do that here while being nude. I can't do anything here. They don't let me do anything in this goddamn town. I'm trying to get out of my mind here. I can't do anything. What the hell? Where the hell are the stairs? I can't even get up the stairs. Can't even walk upstairs in this town. God damn it. Oh, there's the sewer, isn't it? What am I looking at? This is too dark on my screen to even see what's going on. All right, man. head on down and see what we can do. Uh, was there a sewer key down here? A sewer door that I missed? Lady Aleth, where the hell is the sewer door? I quite liked Oblivion. The OG console port sucked, if my memory serves. Yes, you played it on PC, which was probably the optimal optimal version. I played it on console, which was not an optimal version. You can go back to the gar and recall, or go to the bar and recall, you can go back to where you were. Don't I need another recall potion for it? Don't I need to go to those brain butchers? So once I, oh good lord, I dropped it. Just recall again. Alright. Here's the room I was in. Was there a locked door, though? Uh, oh, maybe there is. Over here. Oh, okay. There was a locked door. Hey, we're, we're doing it, everyone. Ah, what the frick is this thing? They probably thought the same thing. Ah, why is there a naked man down here? Oh, they're goddamn kobolds, aren't they? Man, D&D &D loves their kobolds. Are you level one, buddy? Better fight some kobolds! No, I don't want to fight any more kobolds. Surprise! Party time! Wait, which button is blocked? I don't even know which button is blocked. There we go. Water graphics. You weren't kidding. These look super high-tech at the time. Nothing even comes close to what this looks like. You dirty rat! You don't ever crimp me! Mmm! That must be Dumper's favorite. A rusty longsword. Isn't that what I already have? That's what I call my Johnson. Oh, I got a rusty longsword now. Oh, man. We're just upgrading. Natural male enhancement, everybody. Only a matter of time before it becomes a longsword. All right. Hey, canceled. What are you talking about? Rusty, I got to clean it. Oh, it's Cobalt City here. All right. Watch this sick maneuver here. Get him through the door one at a time. Easy does it. Lord, I'm out of my mind. I'm a kobold killing machine. That was awesome. Oh, there's still one frickster here. Good thing I have intestinal fortitude. I'm going to wake up feeling fresh as a daisy. Oh, damn. What is this? Okay, does no one in this town have a clean, fresh... Freshly washed weapon. Alright, who needs shields? I'm not blocking. I'm just getting out of my minds, dudes. Alright, on the door. Let's go. You're dead, Kobold. Wow, this thing is nowhere near as good as my sword. Oh, I target these a-holes. I didn't know there'd be giant spiders down here. Oh, this is a mistake. I'm healing, dudes. 
Oh, I got poisoned. I got poisoned so quick. Go to hell! Oh, this is a nightmare. Ignite him up! Ignite him up! God damn it, ignite them up! Ah, frick! God damn it, go to hell! Why did it say ignite for a second there? Oops, well, alright. <laughs> ignite? Why don't you just bash it with your axe? With that, everyone, I think we've done our do. What the hell is this? All right, hold on. Let's see if there's anything fresh in here. One gold coin. That's even worse than before. All right, do I have anything to do with my bow and arrow yet? I got 120 arrows. That's like 50 pounds of arrows. All right, fine. I'll put the gloves on. Now that is a hot look. I can't do that here. I can't put the clothes on here. I'd love to, but I can't. I'm saving the game. I can't do that here. All right, this generation was solved. The next one has some issues. Oh no, they boned it up. We're saving it because I'm enjoying that game. Maybe one day in the future, Rad will play that again. The Naked Warrior. It's a naked run. Yeah, it's a new uh, category for speed run. Baldur's Gate, game of the month. We did it. We locked it up. All right, let's see. We're real late in this episode, 7.53. We gotta make some big plays here, everyone. We gotta finish this goddamn magazine. And how else are we gonna do that? PlayStation, come on, you gotta close. PlayStation, close. Get the frick. Come on. Get the frick out of here. I don't know what the PlayStation's doing. I don't know what the hell it's doing. Do I literally have to go to this thing here and say, PlayStation, close? Why can I still hear you, PlayStation? It's gonna make me hard shut it up. And we'll have to do this. In the cold, in the cold, in the cold, cold, black abyss. Black abyss. Black abyss. And we'll have to do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. There, there. It's done, it's done. <laughs> She's like, he's in a screen that has nothing on it. That's my chance, buddy. <coughs> Young Street, you rascal. Oh, you're a rascal, buddy. All right, let's get the tunes going. Let's wrap up this GD magazine. That was fun as frick. I haven't played a role player's realm game on this show in a while. Legend of Alan Dar. I don't think we'll play that one, man, because there's no way in hell it's as good as Baldur's Gate. And I'm pretty impressed by that, Shorty Straw. Baldur's Gate just won me over with that game. That one. In the future, when you get time, do a Radland revisit. Or like a yearly review. Go back to the games that needed to be played more. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. Robert De Niro. Uh. Robert De Niro plays. Best of Rad Radland Volume 1. Now on TDK 90 Min Cassette. Be a TDK in here. What the hell? I got all these goddamn tapes and no TDKs. Oh man, it was so goddamn worth it. So goddamn worth it. Boom! I'll probably do it like this. All right, you did it. TDK. Hey, I like closing the loops on these shows, all right? We got no loose ends. They're all a contained piece of history. And then TDK's like, what game should we make? Game? What was the game they made? Were they the ones that made that fighting, Shrek fighting game? Ah, <laughs> oh, that is hot. That is hot as Shrek.
Everything wrapped itself up, Yong Street. And the Dark Alliance games are on sale on Steam still today. I'm like, I'm doing the Lord's work, everybody. The God of Baldur's Gate. Because now everyone who will just watch that is probably like, that did seem kind of fresh. I'd play that. What is it, $10? Mm, I'd pay that. The game, and don't forget to play it in your underwear, everyone. Why would you play it in clothes? You saw me smashing fools. You don't need clothes in that game. They're a goddamn affectation. Naked as the day you were born. Let's go. Penis slider all the way up. Baldur's Gate. Hell yeah. Same producers as the Shrek GBA uh, produced this very show. It, was that Shrek GBA or was that Shrek GBC? Game Boy Color. I can't remember. TDK getting a big shout out this episode. Good for them. Fantasy Star Online. Uh, Freaking pro strats here. I don't see Dumperbot anywhere. The game is music. I'm going to get the soundtrack for this and just jam it hard. A game with the music so good that you will play it just because you're baffled by how good the music is every time you go to a new screen. Don't get pedantic now, Rad. What? Oh. I don't want someone to be like, I gotta get that hot GBA game. No, it's even stupider than that. We played a fighting game for Shrek on the GBC. The Game Boy Color. We didn't even play the Game Boy Advance version. Rad's out of his mind tonight. We've played... Guys, let's just take a recap on this episode. GBC. GBA. PlayStation 1. PlayStation 2. Dreamcast. Arcade PC. What the hell? Where else are you gonna get all that hot content in one place? Tell your friends, all right? The Shrekening. Hot cowbell action. Where are you gonna get hot cowbell action? And N64. <laughs> Don't forget about that hot N64 game we played. Eh? Eh? All right. Mini Racers. We got to hear the funky title screen. That was about it. Uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day is, Fur Day is better than this game, according to GamePro. Conker's Bad Fur Day, Bad Fur Day, is in a rare group of games now. Five across the board in GamePro. Hot. This game is hot. Shorty knows what's up. Alright, they've run out of content here. Alright, here's a bunch of stuff with Onimusha. God damn it. I played all these games, and I beat them all. All right, SWAT Pro's telling us some hot strats here, and we'll need those hot strats for later. Fantasy Star Online, extra costumes and hidden artwork. Hell yeah. Uh-huh. I like how they're just going back in time. Hey, do you want to know some hot strats for Altered Beast? Yes. Oh, it's Sega Smash Pack volume. All right. I'll give him a little, a little break on that, but not for Forsaken on N64. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater's got some hot jams here. What do they got? Perfect balance. Mega Man X 3. Okay, we did play that one recently. Razor Freestyle Scooter unlock all characters in all levels. Hell yeah. My son still asks, asks to play Razor Scooter. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. The DVD on PS2 unlock extended special edition. Guys. What is this? What, what the hell is this? Isn't that the... Carol Co. Oh, and I thought that said OCP. All right, at the main menu, press Select Special Edition, then select Play Special Edition. When the film begins, press Select. So this is literally playing T2 on your PlayStation 2. If you've entered the... Uh, okay, when the... Huh? Choose Go to Title, then... Remember Easter eggs on DVD menus? God, they tried so hard back then. And I miss it. If you entered the code correctly, the extended special edition of Terminator 2 will play, including Chapter 78, never-before-seen sequence of an elderly Sarah Connor in Earth's future. Yeah, have you guys ever clicked that and looked at that? It's an awful ending. A blade on Game Boy Color. Shorty, you could have used these codes, man. View ending sequence. You just want to see that hot ending. Just go to it right now. Enter that hot password now. DVD menu Easter eggs, the beginning of the end for Game Pro. Yeah, like, what are we... What? God damn it, what do they need us for? All right, we're going to start giving you SWAT Pro for DVD menus. No, I see what you mean now. All right, next one up. Spawn on GBC. We never even played it. I don't even know what the hell it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot of Game Boy Color games here, including wacky races. All right. Uh, the Bouncer, still the number one rented game two months in a row, I think. And Onimusha, number one rented in three months in a row. 
and Oni's third. What is going on here? This is exactly what last month's uh, rentals were. Weirdos on PlayStation are still like, driver, man, I can't get enough driver. I need it in my life, in my vein. Nintendo 64 conquers Bad Fur Day coming out on top with Pokemon Stadium 2. We played them both. Paper Mario, I haven't played on stream yet. Dr. Mario 64, we haven't played on stream yet, but we may. Keep your eyes peeling, everybody. We may. Passwords, never. GamePro provides nothing but the most sober video game reviews. Sobering and chilling. Playing actual DVDs killed so many disc drives uh, more than anything. Yes, it did. Mine melted because I used to watch every episode of Star Trek Next Generation. I own the whole series on Blu-ray. Or not Blu-ray, DVD. And I would watch the special features, too. Aiden Chronicles got 10. A 10 spot on N64? Well, that's how you can. That's how you know. They're like, Don't worry, man. Miyamoto's coming with those JRPGs. He'll make it here, right? Oh, Jesus, no. Aiden Chronicles is all we get. And then Paper Mario, because you get... Only Nintendo shoved down your face. More Nintendo, more Nintendo. God damn. This is kind of an interesting feature. I don't know if a lot of magazines do this, but index of advertisers. This index index is provided as an additional service. The publisher does not assume liability for the errors or omissions due to last minute changes. All right. So you got down here Kraft Foods probably saying, hey, buddy, you got to eat those corn nuts. Eat those corn nuts, buddy. They don't break your teeth. Come on. And then notice always 3DOs coming in hot and heavy. 3DOs spent all their money on advertising. Like, hey, it worked for Perfect Weapon. Right? A PlayStation game that was advertised like eight issues in a row till I eventually rented it and was hyped about it. And it was awesome. All right. GamePro was oddly in love with Nintendo. Codebreaker, Six Frick, Rogue Spear. I don't think we ever played that one. Maybe we will play it next issue. And that's it and that's all. I wash my hands of it. This episode in the bag. Now, Shorty, I would do some uh, Nagano Winter Olympics, but good lord, I'm eight hours in. I can't do Nagano Winter Olympics right now. I can't even get the speed correct, so I need to practice my speed. Can't do it. Rogue Spear. Uh -huh. Let me turn off my PlayStation. Let me turn off my Xbox. Ah, uh, that feels good. Wait, that PlayStation didn't turn off. How long do you have to hold the button down? A long time, as it turns out. All right. Frick. And we don't have a closer tonight. Usually we do closers, but on an eight-hour episode, you guys got a boatload of content. Now, hopefully, all you rascals have learned that I ain't fricking around. But you know what I never do? Let me go to this shot. This is what we're actually sitting in right now. With the old Uplate with Rad logo. Oh, man. That's another episode. In the bag. I had a great time. I loved having all you guys here. And you guys know damn well I'm serious as frick. I'm serious as a heart attack. I ain't fricking around. This club ain't fricking around. I need any of you that aren't there right now. Probably just regulars in here right now. But you know what? We're going back to it. Discord, buddy. Get on over there. Because that's the hub. I'm bringing Patreon to over to YouTube. We're going to get the YouTubers just going. Don't you worry. We're on YouTube right now. But only freaking sex.69 mega69 is following me over there. Uh, but we're going to get regular people following. And they're going to be scooting into the Discord soon too. And you guys will be the ambassadors of the show. Um, Saturday nights, everyone. Get on over there to the producer's review. We're having a great time in there. You guys don't even realize. Uh, for the start of the show, we watch the trailers live on a private stream so I don't get copy striked into oblivion. And we sometimes play a lot of goofy clips uh, as they come up. Like Tino. Hell yeah. Best synth, synth line around. You know what I mean? Okay. Another one in the bag. Uh, uh, closing thoughts. Anyone? Any questions? Last questions. I think we did it. If I'm missing anything. You let me know. We wrapped it up with that TDK. God damn it. That's the closer. God damn. That 69, Mega 69 still going after me on YouTube. Oh my God. I'll shield you all on Twitch from it as long as I can, but this is the wave of the future. We got to go both. We got to go to both because it's actually really handy to just have it on YouTube after this. God, they don't just go once. They give you like five. It helps me in the algorithm anyways. All right. For the those wondering, I do have a YouTube channel that ordinarily is not bombarded with 69mega.com uh, spam. Uh, if you guys head on over there, follow it up. Give it a, uh, what is it, a like. Like the videos. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's not that hard. Done. And then old Rad smiles his balls off. Every time you click subscribe on my YouTube channel, I just smile my balls off for somewhere, some reason somewhere in the real world. All right? Miyamoto does the same thing, but only when children cry playing his video games. So, I, you know... 
I'm the benevolent one here. All right, all I'm asking is for a small click, a click. Eh. All right. well, you have to do it. I and then what? The people on YouTube who've watched this whole thing for eight hours are supposed to be like, you know what? I will click on it. Thank you, Rad, for letting me know. All right, but I do have edited content over there as well. I do also have a TikTok which also has edited content down into tiny little bite-sized pieces, and it's vertical for some reason. But I haven't done a lot of those lately. Rad's got some music coming up, everyone. I'm supposed to be making some NES music, goddammit. it, hard and heavy soon. Uh, which may interfere with this show's uh, smooth running uh, nature. We'll see. I don't want to make the same mistake I did last time where I'm like, this show is the most important thing. We're never missing an episode, man. Um, but you know damn well, uh, if I can't do a show, for all you rascals that are subbed up uh, on Twitch or eventually get subbed up on uh, Patreon or YouTube, I'll do something special for you guys offline. Hell yeah. Like, I might even just hook up a VCR and then we'll watch as a as a family Billy Bad on VHS. Now that is hot content. Rated R though. All right, so ask your parents first. All right, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble watching Billy Bad. All right, just make sure it's in there. Billy Bad by York Home Video. God damn it! I don't freak around. It's all about balance, dude. Well, what was it? His name was uh, Door something Door. It was the guy. It was the raid that Lurker Lou found the show from. Uh, but I asked, he has a pretty big show, and so after he raided, I asked him, like, hey, I got any advice for, like, a new stream? He's like, you gotta be consistent, man. You gotta be consistent. Like, all right. Then I never missed an episode for a year and a half straight. I don't think that necessarily did anything to help me, but, you know, you get early on, you get those ideas in your head. You're like, I gotta go. I gotta do this stuff. Uh, Pete Dorr. Yeah, that's right. Uh, he raided me way back in the day while I was playing Slam Dragon, and I remember that's where Lurker Lou got, uh... Fred couples out of his mind for the first time. Um, yeah, Pete Dorr. Man, if only I could get my show in front of like those audiences. Like, if anyone who watches Angry Video Game Nerd would just watch the show for five seconds and be like, "Oh, I get it. That's funny. Let's get in there." But how do you get in front of those people without spamming, right? And I don't want to spam. What's the solution, everyone? I don't know. Brainstorm. Come back. Hit me with those info uh, suggestions over on the Discord. Well, it helped get the show uh, rolling. Yeah, being consistent, well, especially during COVID, right? I was like, I was like a rock during COVID. Never miss an episode. In fact, let's get three shows a week going. I'll never miss a single one. We didn't for like a year and a half straight. We never missed a single episode. Console Cold War, freaking Pokemon, uh, whatever the hell it was. Do like 69 Mega. Ah, eh, Pete's super cool. Yeah. I, he'd never heard of Slam Dragon before, so I busted him on that one. He's like, I never heard of this game before, and I heard of every game. I own every game as well because he's he needs the uh, he's a collector. Spam the chat of someone else's show. Hey, buddy, get over here on that. that wouldn't that just be like, mm -mm. that guy boned it up. Boned it up bad. All right. Well, we have to do something. At the end of the show, you raid someone up, all right? And that's what we're going to do now. We're going to see who's available. Who the hell is available? Wow, if you go to YouTube right now, the chat is just, it's Yong Street and Darren Patterson. And some shorty straw, and then nonstop 69 mega just getting out of their freaking mind. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, we're still figuring it out. We're still figuring it out, everybody. Let me get over to Twitch. Eight hour stream. Are you guys out of your mind? Some of you guys have been watching the whole time, too. We did it together, though. That's how you make a good stream. Back to Twitch. Let's find someone to raid. Check the mod chat on how to rid yourself of 16 my Yeah, I'm gonna blast them into oblivion. Out the airlock. Straight out the airlock. Uh, where am I? I should go to Twitch first. Uh, what is going on here? Alright, hold on. Let me, uh, first let's get the hell out of here. Uh, space station, closing down. Nightclub, closing down. VIP, you're cut off, everyone. That was your last die, Pepsi caffeine free. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for watching. You guys are great at chatting. Helps me really get through the whole damn thing. And we archived the whole damn thing. It's archived for history and all time. May 2001. I can't believe it. Uh, what the hell am I doing? I need to go outro time. Outro time, everyone. Let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. All right. I got out just in time, everyone. Oh, for the love of Pete. Now, while we're on this screen, let me find someone to raid. Huge goddamn play. Good 
Oh man, I'm gonna raid Zosty! If he's actually playing. He says he's not playing, but is he actually live? Oh damn, did you guys just freaking Barbarian Handshake? Hell yeah, I heard it in the back of my... Alright, Zosty's not... What is he doing? Not live, playing a retrospective playlist, mostly old as... Super Metroid World Record. Sweet Jams, be back more for story time next time. Oh, is it a... I don't know if it's a rerun, though. Well, the chat doesn't seem to be going. Zosty's awesome. No, we won't do Zosty. Abby's going hard and heavy. Maybe we'll get Abby down to our mind. Yeah, that would be nice. Abby was here earlier. We're going to go get Abby out of our mind. Now, Abby is playing Midnight Barcade. Fighters and beat em ups. That's my jams. Loves me some fighters and beat em ups. All right, let's see where Abby's at in her in the fighting game. Uh, this isn't even fighting. Abby is playing a Wheel of Fortune. Hell yes. Alright, that's a done deal. Abby, that's a done deal. Another friend of the show. Abby getting Wheel of Fortune up. And Vanna is looking extra fine in this game. Hell yeah. Intended for a mature audience. Don't freak around over there. Alright. Scoot on over everyone away. Are we... Oh, yeah, the, the club is getting out of there. We're getting out of here, too. Oh, no, it froze on me. No, it didn't. Okay, we're good. The club is just very slowly getting out of there. All right, we're not even going to scoot off in time. Oh, scoot. Get going. We ain't got time for this whole animation. Scoot! All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Another great stream. Shorty Straw and the rest of chat. You guys are all part of this. Uh, and we're getting out of our minds one stream at a time. No. Nope. Oh god, no! Ah! Hyper overdrive. Engage. Dan, I'll see you in hell, buddy! Get the hell out of here! I'll be waiting at the station. In hell! God damn it, Dan. Alright, we'll go see Abby. Alright, let's do it now. Scootin'. Five, four, three, two, one, scootin'! And you rascals, get the hell out of here. Stop streaming.